Blocks Roots has eight mythical fruits in the entire game. And I have spent a lot of time mastering these fruits to see which one is actually better. Well, let me tell you, there is no best fruit. Maybe there's a strongest one, but every single mythical fruit has its unique abilities. And that's what I did in this video. I put all the eight mythical fruits in this video, how I master these, and you can actually see how different they are from each other. Okay, guys, grab some popcorn, grab a drink, and enjoy this banger video. All right, guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we are becoming a control master, right? Yes. We are about to control the whole game, all right? That's all I know for now. And guys, in the last video, I actually mastered a blizzard fruit. And shockingly, this fruit is actually amazing. If you guys have never tried that fruit, you should probably try it, all right? It is amazing for PvP, and I actually want to buy it for Robux now. It is that good. It's amazing because all the abilities you have, you don't really have to aim, all right? You guys know, like, fighting styles, you have to, like, really aim and hit your abilities. But with blizzard fruit, you spawn storms and tornadoes and you just damage and eliminate your enemies so yes it's an amazing fruit all right but you guys saw the title all right you guys saw the thumbnail the fruit that we're awakening today is gonna be obviously the control fruit oh my bro look at this fruit over here it looks so good it looks so tasty bro i want to eat this now but i can't all right i can't i can't eat it i can't eat it no no here, stop 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 i can't eat it not like the last time blizzard fruit because i had to re-eat the fruit whenever i was traveling and killing the boss okay here we got the control fruit 2.5 5,000 Robux pro. Like, why do they make it so expensive? Like, why? Can't you just make it like a thousand? Like, that would be fair. But as you can see, there's an ability that's 350 mastery. Oh my god. All right, that's gonna be a little bit of grinding. But yeah, we have to actually buy this fruit. And also, I've seen you guys requesting this fruit a lot, all right? So you guys really wanna see this. Well, I got you guys. And there is star. Look at that cool emoji. Yeah, you ready? You ready to roll a fruit? Because we actually need to gather control for okay? Uh, what? Where did he go? Wait, was he... What? Where do you even go? Okay. Anyway, let's go over here and raw fruit, all right? Come on, come on, come on. Raw fruit at the same time. Come on. All right. Three, two, one, and... Oh, come on. I'm not even ready. What the? I'm not even ready. Come on. Oh, uh, what? At least it's not a kilo fruit because, oh, kilo virus is finally gone, all right? Anyway, let's go over here and let's see how much Robux... Okay, well, we already checked actually, kind of. Okay, it's out of stock, obviously, all right? Why would it be on stock? Like, such a high fruit. Hey, guys, here you guys go. 2,500 Robux. I know this is gonna hurt, okay? I don't know. I don't know why I'm, like, complaining, okay? Let's go just go and buy it, all right? There you go. Control 2.5k. And there you guys go. We got control activated. Yo, I got a free dough fruit. What do you mean you got a free dough fruit? You don't... Wait, you got... What the... What is that? That's not dough fruits. Isn't that like spike fruit? Yeah, this is like, what is this? That's free dough. I mean, yeah, I, I guess. Yeah. Uh, yeah, <laughs> sure. All right, guys, as you can see, control. We got mastery one and we got two abilities unlocked. Wait, I've never seen a fruit with two abilities unlocked at first. That is really weird. Wait, let's go over here and let's go and try these abilities because what the? Wait, we got control area and levitate. Wait, levitate? We can like levitate? above the ground wait i wanted to press this one first but i can't wait i can't press x for like it doesn't do anything is it bugged am i lagging or something uh all right let's just go and press z i guess then what the wait wait does it do damage what's what's going on uh wait oh maybe now i can press x hold on what the what what, what did i do wait i could press it but what what the wait wait what? Whoa, bro, what was that? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Wait, why is it green? Wait, the icon changed to green? Wait, oh, if I control the area around me, it turns green. Look at that. Wait, that's insane. I've never seen that before. You can throw rocks? Yeah, I don't know how I did that. Hold on, hold on. X, do I press on you? Uh, wait. Oh, if I hold it, I can... What? Wait, I can hold a rock and then throw it on stuff. Bro, what? All right, this is insane. But what if I go outside of the levitating area or something? Uh, can I still do it? Oh, I can't do it anymore. Wait, I can't do it. So I gotta go back in the area and then from the area, I can throw a rock. Wait. <laughs> what? Yo, guys, I've never seen such a sick fruit before. Wait, this is really interesting. This is actually sick. But wait, wait, can I get a tree? Wait, can I get this tree? Can I actually... Yo, no. Wh what? We just slice this tree up and wait, can we throw the tree at star? Hold on, can, can I do it? Oh my god, bro! All right, now I get why this fruit is called control. I can literally control things. That is insane. But guys, we have still three more abilities to unlock, all right? And we have to get 150 mastery for this one. So yeah, you guys already know where we're gonna go, right? We're gonna go all right over here to ice cream because I'm pretty sure K Queen is already waiting. Aha, this is really free dough? Wait, what do you mean free dough? Wait, oh my god, what the? 
What the? What the? Okay, that's actually kind of like dog food. All right, guys, but now it's time to defeat this K Queen, all right? K Queen, you're about to die, right? Come here. All right, there you go. Let's do a little bit of that. Oh my god. But guys, I want to see what I can do against K Queen with only control. What if I just do this? Let's grab a rock. Okay. Wait. Oh my god. What the? What the? All right, let's grab a rock. Can I throw it? Oh, I can't even throw it. What? What if I do it above her? Uh. Oh, uh, where is the rock? All right, guys, K Queen is super low, right? It's super, super low. Let's see if we can still do, like, the levitate over here. Oh, we can. Okay, I just hit her. Okay, hold on. Let me, let me try it again. Let me try it again. Okay, come on. Right here. And let's go. All right, we got it. And now we should get all the way up to, like, 160 mastery. And there you guys go. 154 mastery, okay? And we just unlocked Echo Knife. All right, let's go and try this one. All right, so I'm not really sure. Do I, do I control area again? Or wait, wait, let's try. All right, so Echo Knife. Can I just use it? Let's see. I can't use it. Wait, what? So that means I can only use abilities in the levitating or control area, right? Interesting. Okay. But can someone just flee the area and I can't do even... Do okay. Anyway, okay. Let's go and try this Echo Knife, right? Three, two, one, and... Uh, wait. It spawned a sword? Uh, okay. Uh... Oh my god. What the... Yo. Yo, what? 5.6 thousand damage for just one ability? All right, this fruit is insane. Wait a minute, wait, wait. Let's check out the sword. Yo, check this sword. I have never seen a sword before. Is this like a secret sword or something? Anyway, let's go try it one more time. Yo, I'm slicing, I'm slicing, and boom. Oh my god. That was insane. And look at that damage, though. All right, now I get it. You get a really big payoff if you hit someone within your control area. Now I'm even more excited for the next ability. The next one I'm unlocking is teleport. But guys, this one is 250 mastery, bro. All right, we'll have to kill okay, Queen a bunch of times. So come here, come here, come here. Let's go. Prepare for battle, right? You're about to die like 10 times in a row or like 20 or like 30. Wait, let me try my new ability on K Queen. Come on. Yo, I'm slicing. Oh my god. Okay, I love control already, okay? I, I, this is not like the most broken fruit, but this is so cool. I can just grab someone like that. Oh, okay, wait. That missed? Wait, what? That didn't make sense. Wait, let's go try it again. Oh my god. Bro, look at that. We're slicing and boom. And all right, now let's go and get this boss out of here. Come on, come on. A few more dice. Is, wait, what? Wait, she blocked it or something? Wait, you guys seen that? She she blocked it or something. I don't know what happened, but slice, 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 and boom. A rock stone on your head, maybe? Uh, okay, that hit the wall. All right, guys, look at K-Queen, one HP, all right? All we have to do is just slice. Come on. Oh, I forgot. There you go. And slice, 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 slice. And boom. Uh, okay. Yeah. She, she's not dead. Okay. What the? I can't even see the HP anymore. All right. All right. And now you should be dead. And there you go. Oh my. I love this ability, bro. I literally love it. And we got up to 194. Okay. Yeah. Uh, a bit more times. So guys, I'll be back whenever I'm, you know, 250 mastery. Come on. Maybe a rock stone. And there you go. Another one. I right, guess. Come on. Next boss. Next boss. Come on. That should be enough, right? Come on. Come on. Come on. And, all right, no. Maybe a rock on their head. Uh, that didn't hit, all right. Maybe another one. Come on. Bro. Okay, guys, the rocks doesn't seem to hit. So when I summon a rock, it, it just hits the roof. I just go echo knife again. Come on. And slice, 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 slice. Bam. Let's go. All right, 239, which isn't even bad. Let's people transform while we're at it. And let's get the next one. And this should be the last one. Come on. Oh, my God. Bro, 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 bro. Okay, come on. Last one. Slice, 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 slice. And you're done. Okay. Okay, I guess you aren't done, but now you should be. Come on. And boom. Come on. New skill available. Finally, guys. Let's go. Took me a bit, all right? All right, guys. We're gonna try teleport, right? We just unlocked this thing, and it's not gonna be like portal, is it? Uh, yeah, I don't think so, okay? But okay, let's go on. Levitate ability. There you go. And source ready. Three, two, one. And go. What the? Wait, I'm behind you now. What? Wait, what? Oh, I guess it's like a teleport, right? In the area, right? So, yo, why am I facing your side? Wait, wait that's pretty interesting. So, if I want to do echo knife behind him, right? Wait, can I do all the way? No, way, wait, wait, wait. Can I go all the way right here and go all the way over here? Come on. Yo, wait, that is sick. And then I can do this. Oh, uh, I missed. Guys, look what we can do, okay? Star is right there, okay? And now we can just do that. Sneak attack. Let's go. Anyone even has suspected. And there goes 6,000 damage. That's insane, bro. And now we only need to unlock Gamma Rush, okay? This is 3,000. 
50 mastery, bro. It's like so much. It's like one of the most mastery you have to get. I'll see you guys whenever I get it. All right, big mom, you're about to die once. No, no, not once, not twice, not three times, maybe like 10 times before I get this 300 mastery. I'm not even joking, okay? But come here, slice, 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 and boom. All right, guys, it's gonna be one of the last ones. Come on, one HP cake queen, all right? Come here, come here. Slice them up. Uh, all right, there you go. Slice them, slice them, slice them, and boom. Come on. Oh my god, one more, one more. Right, this should be it. Come on, guys. And K Quid, you're about to die. Say goodbye. 347. No. Bro, almost. We need three more mastery. Can we do it with the enemies outside? Maybe? Wait, can I get two enemies? Wait, wait. Okay, we control the area and then we do this. Can we get them. Oh, we got them both. What the? Yo. And you control, grab the three. I couldn't grab that tree, okay? Boom. On your head. Grab this guy over here. Come on. Slice, 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 slice and boom. Bada beam, bada boom. And throw this one on his head. There you go. Yeah, you didn't expect that, did you? <laughs> hey, where's the guy? Um, oh, right here. Boom. Slice, 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 slice and you're dead. Alright, guys, it's time to get the ability within style, okay? Gamma rush. Let's see. Alright, we got an NPC right over here. And we slice, 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 and you're dead. Boom, new skill available. And we unlocked Gamma Rush ability for 350. Bro, this took me like 10 K Queens. I'm not even lying. I'm not even lying. 10 K Queens. I was respawning upon respawning, but we finally got it, right? That's all what matters. And Star is saying there's a free dough for that sea castle. Well, there is a fruit spawn, so I probably should check it out. All right, we're not sailing. We're not walking. We're using a portal fruit, okay? Yeah. And let's see. He says there's a free dough fruit. Yeah, I don't believe him, to be honest. All right, fruit is right there. Um, yeah. Is that a dough fruit? Is that a dough fruit? Is that a dough? It's not a dough fruit. There's a spike fruit, dummy. What the? What do you mean? That's a dough fruit. That's literally a spike fruit. Yeah, let me let me grab that and yeah, let me go do this. There we go. Yeah, that's <laughs> yo, he's going behind it. What bro, you're about to die. Yo, he really wants that spike fruit, I guess. But guys, we need to try this last ability, which is gamma rush. Alright, so I'm pretty sure we need to still do this one, control area. And then all we have to do is oh wait oh we have another sword right now it's green now all right let's go yo uh yo what is happening what what the what the 6.3 yo uh that just erased your health what we just one ability what okay control might be really good i don't know what okay wait wait. i need to enable south score over here okay and if we do that we get 15 percent extra damage. All right, we have the power scarf and now we should do even more damage. Now, I want to test Echo Knife and Gamma Rush at the same time. I don't know if I can do that, but let's go and try it. Come on. Can I? Okay, I can't do it at the same time. But let's go and do this one first. 6,000 and let's do this one now. Come here. You can't run away. And then he's locked. He's completely locked. He can't walk. Look at this. He can't walk. Come on. How much damage? Boom. Yo. And that took him all the way to 10% health. Okay, okay, this is insane. Yo, that is insane. Bro, this ability is... Okay, this might be one of the craziest abilities. Like, I know Spider Fruit has a really high damage ability. But bro, just take a look at this, okay? I don't want to kill him. Uh, yeah. Is the last one going to hit him? I, I think... Okay, it's more than half. So let's try it right now. Come on. And boom. Yo. Bro, look at this. What is even happening? What is he... Okay, I'm... I'm literally destroying everything in the area. And there he goes. Bro. Okay, control fruit might be one of the craziest fruit. But the thing is, how are you gonna hit people when they're running away? Like, I can just run away, right? And then I have to, like, spawn the control area again and again. And he's, if he's running away with, like, mink or something, I cannot catch him. Look at that. I can't catch him. So, yeah, guys, let me know what you guys think about control fruit. W or L, right? I think it's a W interesting fruit, but I hope it gets a rework, okay? Everybody's talking about a rework in the next update, but we'll see about that, all right? All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Block Shroot video. We're gonna be checking out another fruit, okay? And in the last video, we actually mastered control fruit. And I seen you guys comment, there's actually something special about this fruit. I thought it wasn't that good because of the range being really, really small. But you guys told me that you can make this range bigger somehow like okay so apparently you gotta like hold the ability down so i'm just tapping it right so that's it right that's it take a look and now once we hold it in bro it's so much bigger like it's twice as big and yeah now i see why this fruit is so good guys imagine this i need to go all the way up there right and we have an ability teleport oh look how big this range is okay look at this look at this 
Look at this. Bro, I can go all the way over here. And this is just amazing. Like, I can teleport all over this area. Like, now I get it, all right? Now I get it. Imagine you're being hunted in the area. You can just teleport over there. And you can just keep running. Because the ability reloads so quickly. Like, nobody's gonna be able to get you. Anyway, guys, enough talking about control fruit. Because in today's video, we're gonna be mastering a fruit that's very interesting. I've actually never had this fruit. Like most of the fruits. But in today's video, we're mastering the spirit fruit. And bro, look at this fruit. Oh my, what the? It has a face. And it's one side, like, kind of ice. And then the other side is, like, dark reddish. It's like an angel and a demon. So, yeah, I don't know what to expect from this fruit. But we're gonna eat it in today's video and see what it is, all right? Oh, we're not gonna eat it, okay? But first, we're gonna try... Wait, what is... What is up with you, Star? What? Why are you a skeleton? Bro, I ate the skomoji fruit. Which fruit do you mean? Wait, let me check, let me check. Okay. Oh, you ate the revive fruit. Oh my god, bro. Look what happened to me. Yeah, I see. You died, and now you're a skeleton. Is that how it works? I guess so. But, hey, come on, fruit. Maybe you actually get a fruit now, okay? Come on, can we do a back-to-back, -back, the two-time back-to-back champion by rolling another mythical fruit? It already happened with dough fruit, but come on, please. Those are one of the worst fruits. Okay, that's... Okay, it's never gonna happen, bro. We are not becoming the two-time, I guess, huh? But anyway, let's go and buy this fruit, okay? And as you can see, right here it is, okay? It's below control, and it has the same mastery, bruh. Guys, that is so much. Why do you make me do this uh, i mean i guess i'll do it for you guys so i'm expecting some likes okay like the video and subscribe and i need to spend robux to buy this fruit oh, come on you know what guys i guess i'll do it all right and there you guys go permanent spirit activated but wait what is happening why am i what are these balls floating around me what is this i have a blue ball and a like a demonish ball uh star do you even know what this is like what is this are these my pets or something can they do anything can they attack you yeah i got pets exactly uh, i mean can they attack you come here wait if I grab spirit, look at that. We have spirits and it's charging up something. What is happening? It says spirits eight and it's still moving. Bro, I've never seen something like this. Wait, what is this? And it caps at nine, as you can see. Um, He says you can M1. Wait, really? Wait, this is such an interesting fruit already. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, wait, so I can M1, okay. Uh, Wait, what did I do? Uh, what is that? A star? I guess I just spawned something. In. I don't, I have no clue what it's doing, okay? It doesn't do any damage. Let's just go again. Uh, what? Yo. Oh, what? What is that? The frog is attacking you. The magical frog with like mushrooms on it. Oh, and if you spawn it, your spirits go down. So look at that. Now I've ate. Once it's at the end, it reloads my spirits. That's actually really interesting. I wonder what this fruit is gonna bring us, okay? But first, let's go and try this first ability, okay? Frost, fire, grass. All right, three, two, one, and go. Oh. Oh, what was that? Did I froze you? Wait, wait, let me try that again. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so we do this, and then I kind of... I freeze you up or something? It does 3.6k damage, so it's pretty good damage. You froze me. Oh, I froze you? Okay, that's pretty good, I guess. But how hard is it to hit? Like, you can do this? I guess you can, like, quite easily hit that. That is not bad for the first ability. I kind of like that. Oh, wait, guys, I already know. This is a cold spirit, right? It's like a stormy spirit, and that's why I froze him, right? Maybe the next ability is gonna be from the demon spirit. Well, I kind of don't know, okay? So let's go and get the second ability, which is 150 mastery. All right, guys, we gotta go to K-Queen because, obviously, we need some mastery, right? And this is the only place we're gonna get that because there's no other way into getting that. But, guys, wait, can I just spam M1? Like, what if I spam it? What if I just spam it? Oh, wait. Um, oh. Oh, so the red part only does damage, I'm guessing? These piggies that I spawned in didn't do much, and I spawned them whenever it was just blue. Oh, so everything I spawned in, which is red, is gonna, like, defend me? All right, I just spawned everything red, and let's see. Bro, what are these trees? Like, what are these ugly trees, bro? Yo, it's stunning the boss for me. That is actually kind of insane. But it doesn't last for that long. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to defeat K-Queen with just these spirits, okay? Let's see, come on. Spam, 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 And so you can just stun the boss and make it way easier to defeat. But guys, I also feel a little bit faster. What is happening? Why, why am I so much faster? Look at these dashes. These are, like, super, super fast. All right, guys. As you can see, K-Queen is all the way down to, like, 10% HP. And now I'm gonna reload some spirits and see if I can kill it with just the spirit. Is that even possible? Just to be honest, I don't know. But we're gonna try it either way, okay? Let's spawn some. Oh my god. Oh, no, no, no. We only want the red ones, okay? Red, red, red. Come on, there you go. And are you gonna kill him? No way. Come on, killer. Killer, come on. 
Come on, mushroom, do something. Frog, do. Oh my god, they despawn. Come on, we got a few more right here. Come on, there you go. Are they doing anything? Oh, it's poisoning. Is this a new gas fruit? Oh my god, we got her. That was insane. Wait, my spirit fruit killed her herself. I was just clicking around and I didn't have to do anything. And we just unlocked the next ability, which is Sky Ruler and Wrath of Raw. So let's go and try it out. All right, so first, I'm gonna do the 75 ability because this one is, I guess, lower, right? So, all right, three, two, one, and can fly. It's not that fast, but it's pretty good, actually. It doesn't do any damage, though. And why am I flying on the red ball and not the blue ball? I was expecting to fly on the angel ball, right? Because angels can fly. Well, I guess demons can also fly. That's pretty cool. But now let's go try this next one. 150. Wrath of Raw. Alright, guys. 3, 2, 1, and... Uh, that didn't even hit him. What was that? But let's go and try it again, I guess. So... What? Wait, I don't understand. Whenever I'm aiming on him, it just goes behind him. If I do it here, it just goes on the ground. Um, okay, let's go and try it again. Let's go and try it from closer distance like that. Oh, now it hit. Oh, what the? What the? Yo, 6.5k? That just erased your HP. What? All right, I have a feeling this is a really good fruit already. Like, we have an M1. We can spawn, like, a lot of these things. There you go. Attack star over here. Stun him. We can freeze him over here. And, oh. He's already dead? What? Uh, okay, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to kill you. Um, <laughs> what is this fruit? This fruit is insane. Right now, I'm even more excited about Wrath of Shoe and End of Times. And I was right. It was a demon ability. Look, it was like a, like a fire ability, right? And this one is a freezing ability. So the next one should be also a freezing ability? I guess so. Let's go and master it. So, K-Queen, come here. You're about to, uh, uh, she's not here. I need to respawn. All right, there she is. Okay, so let's try the ability on her. There you go. Freeze her up a bit. There you go. Do this. Okay, this is insane. We can already use some crazy combos on her. And we can spawn some spirits. Yeah, there you go, K-Queen. I hope you like that, all right? I hope you like being stunned like that. There you go. Now let's fight her. Come on. I wonder what these other things do. Like, oh, wait. Is it healing me? Wait. Wait, what was that? I think it was healing me or something. I right, guess look at that. Spirit just got her all the way up to like 1 HP, all right? And I'm almost dead. So I should be able to spawn some healing units like that. There you go. And I should get healed, okay? And kill her with the last ability right here. That should be it. And there you go, guys. We got her. And let's see how much magic we got, okay? We got up to 188, but we need 250. So I guess I'll see you guys then. Because the grinding part is usually kind of boring. Guys, okay, K-Queen is about to die. And I think we should get have a mastery, okay? So we do this. We do a little bit of that. And, uh, okay. Yo, what the? All right, K-Queen. You really think you can... Oh, <laughs> she died from my crows, bro. <laughs> and we unlocked just enough for the next ability. Look, 250. New skill available. And we got Wrath of Shoe. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. We unlocked a shoe ability or something. Yeah, I don't know. Let's go and try it out. Because I'm excited, right? I already really like this fruit. I don't know about you guys. What do you guys think about this fruit so far? Oh, there he is. Okay, let's go and try it out, okay? Wrath of Shoe. Okay, I'm about to send a shoe in your head, all right? Anyway, let's go and try it out, okay? Three, two, one. One. What the? Uh. What? What was that? All right, I don't know what that was, but I need to try that again, all right? So first of all, I'm holding it in, right? So what? I'm on the ball. Okay, I'm riding the ball, and then I can release it, and... What does it do? I don't understand. It does a little bit of damage. I think the X ability was way better, because look at this. If I hit the X ability... Bro, it does 6,000 instantly. 7.6. Bro, bro. That just erased his HP, bro. This C ability, the shoe one, is kinda disappointing. Am I doing something wrong, guys? I don't know, because that's pretty much all it does. Yeah, I don't know about this one. But now we need to unlock the last one, which is End of Times. Okay, I'm excited for this one, but this one is 350. So I'll see you guys in like 124 hours. Okay, I'm joking, but it's gonna take a long time, all right? So I'll be right back. Oh, but wait a minute, guys. A fruit has spawned, so I kinda wanna see what this fruit is. It's right over here, I'm pretty sure. So we're gonna try it out right here, and I haven't seen it yet. It's a chop fruit. Bro, why do I always get garbage fruits? Uh, this fruit is going to ocean, okay? Yeah, some shark will pick it up, all right? Some shark one day all right wait what if you're a shark race and you can actually pick up fruits from the sea that would be kind of interesting anyway back to grinding now guys if you usually have trouble fighting k queen just get govi4 and buddha and check what i can do with this boss i transform all i do is just do this i gather to the nearest wall and now i just dash and i just dash in the wall i just dash in the wall so my crows are getting activated and they can attack okay 
Now, you can see my HP going down, but obviously, my stats are maxed out, so I can use Soul Guitar to heal myself up, and I can just, yeah, I can just spunk at the boss pretty much. Well, I'm getting low a little bit right here, but you guys can see what I'm talking about, right? Maybe the boss will do, like, the abilities that are getting you in flames, which is very unlucky, but usually, they don't do it, right? And you can just literally spunk your K-Queen. And there you guys go, K-Queen is dead almost, and it's literally been, like, 30 seconds. Now, we switch over to Spirit, and boom, there you go, bada beam, bada boom, and she should be dead soon. One more ability or maybe two there you go come on that should be it come on what did i miss that one i guess i did and there you go we're all the way up to 292 but we need 350 so yeah be right back all right guys k queen is all the way down to like one hp come on can we like come with this come on please this all right then this and then this oh my god bro all right that's insane okay and we got all the way up to 338 which means we only need 12 more masteries so one more boss i guess and a few more npcs and we should be all gucci let's respawn one more time and come on come here king queen your time has come okay you're about to die for the last time well hopefully okay let's go do that do that and do that. All right, one of the last kills, she solo. What is she walking? Bro, what was she doing, okay? Enough of jokes. You're about to die right here, right there. And there you go, 345, okay. Can we finish it off with normal NPCs, maybe? All right, this should be the last NPC. Come on, come here, bro. I missed. And there you go, new skull baitable. Bro, finally, man. That took me at least 30 minutes. And I'm not even joking, right? I wish I was joking, okay? My Robux is hurting, okay? Anyway, we unlocked end of times, and we're about to test it, okay? It's 350 mastery, so I'm expecting a bunch of stuff. Or a really good ability, right? So three, two, one, and go. Yo. Oh my god. What the? What the? Shoo! Uh, were you full HP starters? No way, right? Guys, this last ability was insane. I don't know what that was, but we have to try it again. It looked to me that my angel and my demon created a whole beam to just destroy everything in the path. So let's just try it again, okay? All right, three, two, one, and go. Oh my, bro. What is that? explosion bro that was insane guys so the beam doesn't do that much damage but the explosion after that yeah you can see it it took like a half hp let's go and try it again okay let's see let's see let's see where is star i don't even see star anymore bro i just see eleven thousand damage and yo wait do you get stunned or no yes if you hit me i get stunned oh so do he does get stunned wait that is actually insane guys this might be one of the most annoying npcs i'm not even joking i didn't even attack you why are you walking behind me okay you know what he asked for it okay he asked for it yeah, take some of that and take some of this. There you go. But boy, spirit fruit is one of the craziest fruits, okay? I don't know why, but it just keeps getting better and better. And plus that, you have a sick demon ball and an angel ball next to you, which is actually kind of cool. Now, you can see from a distance if someone is a spirit user. All right, guys, I give this fruit a 9.5 out of 10 because this is, like, amazing, all right? All right, guys, welcome back to another Blocks Fruits video. Hey, you guys seem to really like the last video, okay? The spirit fruit video, where I mastered the spirit fruit all the way up to 350 mastery, which was a hassle, all right? I had to kill Big Mom a lot of times, all right? Too many times. But in today's video, we're gonna master another fruit, okay? This one was super sick because you get, like, balls next to you that you can, like, I guess also fly on if you guys don't know. Pretty cool. But you guys know the drill, okay? Today, we're awakening another fruit. As you guys saw the title on Tamo, we are mastering the venom fruit. Bro, just take a look at this fruit, okay? Just take a look. It moves. Like, it literally moves. Like, what? It has clouds surrounding it. This is, like, one of the coolest fruits I've ever seen in Blocks Roots. And luckily enough, I actually have two of these somehow. I don't even know how, but it's pretty cool. But we're not eating venom fruit, okay? Because I want to have it permanently, okay? And, hey, Star, you need to roll it today, okay? If you don't roll it, this demon will come for you, okay? This demon ball will send you to the moon, all right? Yeah, where you belong. All right, let's go to the Blocks Roots gacha over here and let's roll it, okay? Please, please, bless me one time and give me what i want please yo the kilo virus is back bro i swear we got it we got it again here you take it bro you take it i don't want to have that virus okay you take that i, I never want to hold a kilo again it's bad guys it's back it's not good all right anyway let's go over here and buy this fruit over here okay so if we go over here guys look at this equip equip like we have so many fruits already all right where is this thing okay so we got these and then oh here it is venom okay this one has a mastery of 300 maximum Wait, so it's gonna be easier than Spirit? Oh, thankfully. Oh my god. Thank you guys for recommending this one. Okay, there you go. And this one is 2.4k Robux. I mean, hey, whatever it takes to master fruit for you guys, I'll do it, okay? So let's go and buy this one right here. And permanent venom 
activated. Now look at that aggressive icon. Look at that beast. What even? Okay, that's the venom, I guess. And if you take a look at it, you have a furry meter as well, like the dragon fruit. Okay, so I'm guessing uh, there's a trans. Oh, there you go. Yeah, we got a transformation. And as you can see, I've mashed three once. So that means I've never even touched this fruit in my life. Okay, so as you can see, we have one ability unlocked, which is poison daggers. All right, Star, are you ready to test the poison daggers? You're about to get poisoned for life. Yo, he's poisoning me. At Yo, what, what are you doing, bro? What was that? Is that gas fruit or something? What, what even is that? Anyway, let's go and test this first ability, which is poison daggers, obviously, right? So, let's see what it does. Three, two, one, and... Oh my god. Yo, what is that? Is that some mud or something? <laughs> Bro, what? That didn't do quite a lot, but he didn't stand in it, right? Obviously, like, normal people are not gonna stand in it, but for NPC grinding, this might be really good. All right, let's go and try it again, and now stand in the poison, okay? Just stay standing, okay? Stay in the poison, okay? There you go. Let's put some poison. Let's see how much damage we can do, right? Already 4,000. 5,000, okay, and now it starts, okay, 5.2 thousand, and I didn't even hit my ability, wait, I already like this kind of, you can put poison on the ground, the initial ability does 3.2k if you hit all the daggers, and then if he stands in the poison, bro, okay, 6, 7, yeah, this is, okay, he's already, yo, 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 he's gassing me, what the, wait, it didn't even do damage, okay, <laughs> what, he also has some sort of gas, I guess, but yeah, this is actually a really good first ability, in my opinion, and it looks kind of cool, look at that, we have like a thing on the ground, some mud or something, I don't know what this is, to be. Is this a Grimace shake or something? Yeah, I don't know, guys. I think this is the Grimace fruit or something like that. But hey, let's go unlock the next ability, which is Noxious Shot or Serpent Rat. Yeah, that's the next one for 50 mash. All right, so let's go over here and kill some pirates right over here and get this next ability. All right, we got the first pirate over here, and that'll give me like at least 30, okay? 40 and 50. Let's go. Okay, so we got our next ability. All right, Star, come here because I don't know if this is a fly or moving ability. So, yo, bro is flexing leopard, guys. Oh my god. Okay, let's go and use this ability, Serpent Wrath. I don't know what this is supposed to do, but hey, let's go and try it out. Three, two, one. Oh my god. What? Yo, wait, what is this? I'm fl- What is that trial behind me? Is it doing damage? Wait, is it doing damage? Oh my god. Okay, so this is the fly- Oh, it does. Wait. Wait, that's insane. So that means I can just go up to an NPC and just surround him and do infinite damage? This reminds me of one kind of warm game. Um, If you know what I'm talking about, comment down below. But this pirate is about to die. Let's see if we can kill him with his poison. And there you go. All right, I actually really like this fly ability. It does damage. It just looks really amazing. I'm like, bro. It's a venom flying. Yeah, I really like this already. Oh, if you release it, it explodes and it does poison damage. Now, if these were the two abilities, what are these other three? Bro, I'm excited. All right, so we got two NPCs right here. Let's see if we can kill him with our poison. Die. Okay, let's see. Wait, it's not hidden. Okay, come on. Get that one. And there you go. Okay, I think one more. Yo, look at my eyes, guys. Wait, it looks like my eyes are glowing, but that was just my V3 ability. That looked kind of weird. Ah, uh, look at him. He's gonna get poisoned. <laughs> And there you guys go, new skill available. And we just unlocked the Noxious Shot. Okay, that's 100 mastery. Wait, why are you low star? Did I hit you by accident? Um, yeah, I didn't mean to, right? It's time to test the Noxious Shot. 100 mastery. Let's see what it does, okay? Three, two, one. Oh my god, okay? Okay, yo, okay, it does a lot of poison damage. What? Oh, so it does initial poison damage, and this is extra poison damage. Okay, bro, okay, yeah. <laughs> if he stands in it, yeah, that is actually insane. Imagine if you have a stun ability, and you stun them in the poison. It's moving my screen, wait. Really? What do you see on your screen? Is it moving? Okay, that's weird. I want to see it on myself, but obviously I can. Like I'm dizzy. Oh, okay, okay. I can make people dizzy. I like this fruit already. Let's go and try it one more time. All right, so we summon a huge poison venomous ball and then we send it. And bro, look at that. 9.2k and then it disappears. Okay, venom is so cool. No way. It does a lot of damage. So I guess it's really good for grinding. Imagine if you like want to kill some NPCs like these. There you go. And all you do is just put some venom on the ground and you lure them into your poison look at that it is just free damage yeah <laughs> look at that i can't wait to test these abilities on big mom and we arrived at ice cream island this is where oh yo, what the okay we are definitely not welcome here but big mom i gotta do what i gotta do yo okay yo chill right you do a little bit of poison okay you want to be poisoned okay i got some new abilities okay i hope you like these all right let's do some poison daggers come on do you like that one yeah do you like that one she's getting poisoned all the way okay i really like this fruit a little bit more maybe there you go walk on the poison wait but can i do damage with this one i really want to do damage with this one. All right, 1k, 3k, 5k. Okay, it's working. It's working. Okay, it's working. It's working. 50. 
And she combats me. So you can't do it infinitely. Anyway, jokes are over, Big Mom. You're about to die. And there you go. Cake Queen, 1 HP. Are you ready to die? Through my poisonous bullets. There you go. Come on. Okay. And now she gotta walk in the poison. Is she gonna die through the poison? Oh, yo. <laughs> she died through the poison. Oh, my God. Don't embarrass yourself like that, okay? She just walked into my poison. And we got 167. So that means we didn't unlock anything. Okay. We, we didn't. Okay. We need 200 for the next one. All right, guys. Cake Queen is once again low. And yeah, you already know what I'm about to do. Okay. Yeah, you missed. Get this poison. Boom. There you go, walk in the poison. Yo, he's poisoning. Yo, Star, what are you doing with her? Don't gas her up like that. Come on, it's my job to do that. Come on, there you go. And you're dead. Come on, please. Give me to 200, please. And we got to 201. Perfect. And we unlock the new ability, Toxic Fog. Okay, let's go and try that out. All right, guys, we're about to try it out. Three, two, one, and... Okay. Boom. Yo, yo. Now I'm guessing him. What the... What is this? Uh... All right, it just stays. Yo, mine is much bigger. And wait, how much damage did I do? Was it like... I didn't see. Um, not really much. All right, all right. I need to try that again. But I can actually walk with this. So look at this. It's to my body. So I can walk. This is really nice because I can just keep moving while I'm doing damage. This is amazing. And I can use my other abilities while doing the move. So this is really good. All right, let's try to use Toxic Fog with Soul Guitar, okay? We're gonna do this. And we're gonna do this. So he gets stunned, and he has to stay in the fog, right? There you go. You can't really see anything, but yeah. All right, the NPC had to have walked in, but I'm pretty sure I did like 6k that Yo, no way. Look how much damage I did. What the? He's almost dead. And the job is done. This ability is pretty nice because you can walk with it. I like this one. But now, guys, it's time to unlock the full transformation. And yes, guys, I'm talking about transformation mastery 300, okay? We're about to transform. I'm just expecting it's like dragons. So let's abuse K-Queen a bit more times and we can actually try our new ability. All right, K-Queen is low. All we have to do is this. Do a little bit of that. Poison and boom. Yeah, you're gonna be dead in no time, okay? Look at this. Ultimate with poison. She's walking over poison and I'm poisoning. Dude, I love this one, okay? Let's put some more poison on the ground and you're dead. Dude, I love Venom, okay? This is the ultimate poison fruit. Alright, K-Queen is once again low. Let's see how much mastery now it give me. I have 220, right? So let's see. Give me at least like a bit, alright? Let's give some poison. There you go. Do a little bit of the... Yo, yo, yo. Okay, do a little bit of poison on that. There you go. And now you should be dead. Come on. Bro, you're like 10 HP. Come on. Come on. Isn't she dying? Die. There you go. And I got up with 20 mastery. Okay, that gave me 20. So that means I gotta kill her like three more times. All right, let's do it. Yo, guys, I just found out about something. If you use Toxic Fog, this one, you can transform into this one and you can still have the ability, bro. That is insane. Imagine if you use that in a battle. That must be OP. All right, do a little bit of this. And have you chosen your last words yet? Well, I don't think so, okay? It's too late. It's too late already. Oh, yo. Okay, let's do that. And you should be dead after I... Do a little bit of that. Okay, bruh, bruh, bruh. <laughs> and she died to the poison again. Okay. It just never gets old. And there he has to go. I killed her one more time. And we only need four more mastery. And there he has to go. New skill available. Last ability unlocked. And guys, this is no ordinary ability, okay? This is the transformation. All right. We're about to see the fully unleashed Venom. And yeah, guys. I've actually never seen this, all right? Maybe once a picture, but never in game, all right? So we're about to see. First, let's get this fruit that has spawned, okay? It's 1,000 meters away. Let's see. Let me uh, taste the area quick. I already know where it is, okay? It should be at third to a mountain. Yeah. <laughs> How did I know? I'm just too smart for this, guys. Okay, let's go over here. I already know where the fruit spawn is, okay? I've done this too many times. And it's a dark fruit. Okay. Oh, I really like dark fruit. Oh. Uh, I guess Star stole it. Bro, he's so fast with that leopard. Okay, leopard must be the most fastest fruit. I might have to master that one one day. But Star, are you ready to see the fully unleashed venom? I want to see it. Yeah, that's what I thought, okay? Your leopard is not gonna make a chance to this one, okay? All right, ready? Come on, three, two, one. Oh my god, bro. What the? I'm a monster, bro. What the? Yo, look how small you are. Hey, transform into your leopard. This is sick. Whoa, yeah, bro. What? I'm literally so huge, bro. Look at this leopard. Look how small you are. Let me let me do some abilities, okay? Oh, wait. The abilities are way different. Wait. 
What was that? It's splattered all around. Uh, that was weird. Wait a minute. So that means all the abilities are different from when you're not transformed? Wait, I'm almost as big as Awakened Buddha? Bro, this transformation is sick. I don't even need Buddha to be as big. And now it's time for you to die. All right, guys. Now it's time to try every new ability we have to see the damage. But bro, this transformation is so sick. All right, Star, are you ready to test these abilities? Let's go, okay? That was the first one. Okay, where is he? I can't even... Yo, 4,000? Okay, yeah, he's tapping on it, right? The initial one was 4,000, and he's literally dying. Bro, get out of poison, bro. You're dying. 9,000. Okay, buddy. That's just insane. All right, guys, but that was poison daggers. Now we're gonna try noxious shot, right? Let's see if this one is any different, okay? In the transformation, okay? All right, I have the... Whoa, what the... I'm holding the ball, okay? And send it. Okay, pretty nice, I guess. I think the poison things are big... Bro, you're literally dying. Get out of here. Get out of there, man. You're... Bro, he's 1 HP. My screen is dizzy. <laughs> I'm making him dizzy. <laughs> That's actually funny, okay? All right, now, guys, we're trying Toxic Fog, right? That, that was, like, the surrounding area that does damage, okay? I want to see how this is, okay? Toxic Fog, okay? Come on. Bro, what? What is happening? Uh, wait. What? What are NPCs doing here? Get, get me out of here. Yo, uh, what was that? I just summoned a Venom Storm. Okay, that was insane. Let's get rid of these NPCs first. Die. Come on. To the Venomous powers. Boom. Okay, uh, you're dead. All right, guys. But let's transform again because I want to see what this toxic, like, storm was. And, bro, look at the aura. Bro, it looks so sick in the night. What the? Oh, wait. I can dash with Venom? Uh, that looks really goofy. What the? <laughs> All right. Anyway, let's go and try this toxic fog, all right? Let's see. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I tap it, right? If I hold it, what the bro? I just summoned a venomous storm and it's attacking star. I don't know what it's not really attacking every time, which is kind of weird. I'm not really sure what it does. Now, let's go and try to tap it, okay? Let's see if I tap it. Okay, the same thing happens, okay? So there's a cloud that just rains venom. That's a sick ability, right? All right, but we haven't tried a fly ability yet. Serpent Rat, okay? Let's go and try that one right now. Let's see if it changed, okay? Three, two, one, and. Oh my god, it's much bigger. And what is that? All right, let's try it one more time. Yo, that looks insane. I have never seen this before. Can I do damage? Come on. Why can't I do... Wait, I'm not doing damage anymore? Huh? And when I let go, it explodes. And then it poisons star. Yo, uh, six, seven thousand... Bro, bro, I wasn't expecting this from Venom. Okay, this might be the best transformation. I'm not even gonna lie. Compared to Dragon, guys, this is much better. I'm not even gonna lie, okay? Now, guys, that was it for this video, okay? This was the Venom transformation. All right, guys, if you have seen the last video, you know that we have awakened the almighty Venom fruit. Have you guys seen that the Venom fruit is one of the best looking fruits, okay? If you tell me wrong, I mean, I don't know what, just go watch the video after this, okay? Because the Venom is just the best transformation in the whole of Bloxers, okay? And will I find a better fruit than Venom? Venom. I mean, a better looking one, a better damage one. I don't know, to be honest. But guys, in today's video, we're gonna master another mythical fruit. I said in the comments that this fruit is so good. You need to try it now. So I thought, hey, let's give it a chance. Let's see if it's any good. And the fruit that I'm talking about is obviously the shadow fruits. And oh my god. Oh, look at this thing over here. It's, it's like an aura and stuff like it has wings. First of all, what the? Why does it have wings? I mean, I guess we'll find out in a second. But this is a shadow fruit, okay? This is the fruit we're gonna be mastering to today. So guys, grab a drink, grab some popcorn, and let's get to the banger video. All right, boys, if we haven't seen the last video, look at this, look at this, look at this. You have Venom over here. If you transform, bro, just look at this, okay? This looks insane. If you see this in the distance, okay, you're gonna be scared, okay? I'm not gonna spoil too much, okay? I'm not gonna use abilities, but yeah, you should watch the video and see for yourself. Let's get out of this, and let's go and get this Shadow Fruit going. But first of all, a hey, Star is back with it again, okay? Star, hey, today we're gonna do the Shadow Fruit, okay? So as every single episode, we're gonna roll a fruit, okay? Maybe today is gonna be our lucky day, okay? Maybe today, maybe today, come on, please. It's a mythical fruit, so I don't know. I don't think we're gonna get it. Come on. And I close enough. Oh, we got the same fruit. Is the game trying to tell us something? Why did we get a dark fruit? It kind of does look like a shadow fruit. It's it's dark. I mean, I guess. All right, let's go over here to the block fruit dealer. And we're gonna go and... Oh, it's right here. Oh, it's above Venom. I didn't even know. Okay, so it has 100, 203. Okay, so it's the same mastery as Venom. That's all right. That's all right. I mean, it's not too much. And it's 2.4 thousand Robux, guys. Yeah, I hope it's worth the Robux, okay? You guys have been saying it's good, so I believe in you guys, all right? So it's going by, but a beam, but a boom, and permanent shadow act. What is... Wait. What is happening with my body? What? 
I have an aura. Okay, that okay. That's pretty cool. Okay. Um, and why does Sora have a shadow fruit? Wait, he also has one. Um, you have found one last week. Wait, did I give it to you? You gave it to me? Wait, really? I forgot already, to be honest with you. Alright, guys, here is the shadow fruit. And as you can see, I've also never used this fruit. Okay, mythical fruits. I just I just never ate them. Okay. I felt like it was a waste. Okay, but here we are, guys, with the shadow fruit. And as you can see, we have one ability, somber rebellion, and we also have a umbra meter. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. It, it goes up. So I'm guessing it's like the venom thing that you can transform or something. I don't know, to be honest with you, but it looks really sick. Look at me go. It looks like I'm in my own galaxy or something. Like, bro, this looks insane. Look at me standing next to these dark fruits, okay? Yeah, I'm the dark master, okay? Let's go and try this first ability right now. All right, the first ability is somber rebellion. So let's go and see what that does. Okay, I can barely see, like, bro, I can barely see anything, okay? If I zoom in, but okay, let's go and try it out. Come on. Wait, we're a ball? What the? Uh, and then... Oh my god, what? Yo, that is crazy. Wait, wait, I need to try that again, okay? Wait a minute, but can I move with it? Oh, I can't move with it, so it's like, I need to tap it, right? And then, boom! It does only 2.8k, though. That's not that much. It's a good way to bring someone in combat, but it's not that much damage, okay? Yeah. But guys, I still haven't figured out what this Umbra meter is, okay? It's full, like, it's full juiced up, but I'm not really sure what it does, right? It makes your fee move stronger? Wait, really? Wait, are uh, the fee move? Which one? The, the Corvette? Wait, this one. Oh! Oh, so I gotta wait till I unlock that one? But that's also my last move. Okay, wait. Okay, so the last move is gonna be really good, I guess. Now we need to unlock the next one, which is 100 mastery. And I think we can do that with the pirates, right? So pirates, I'm coming for you, okay? We need to unlock this next ability. This aura just makes me feel like I have more damage, HP, or whatever. But it actually doesn't do much, I don't think. So, yeah. Oh, wait, wait. We already unlocked the next one. Umbrage? Wait, what? I don't even know how to say that, okay? Umbrage? Ah, bruh. But I'm gonna try to get 100 mastery so we can try, like, two abilities at once. Okay, 83, nice. Alright guys, 96 mastery. This one should be the last one, I think. And die, bro. He didn't die. Alright, buddy, you think you can survive me? Yeah, you think so? You think so? Here, the shadow fruit powers are getting you, okay? New scavable, alright? Now we unlock the shade nest as well. But first, I need to check Umbrage or Umbrage or yeah, whatever, okay? 3, 2, 1, and go. Cho. Oh, what the? Okay, so we can fly with this, right? Okay, yeah, we can fly. And we have like crows or bats, I mean, right? Yo, what the? That looks insane. They stun me? Really? Wait, wait, that's insane though. For a fly ability, it also does like, quite a lot of damage. You already regen it, but still. And if you guys don't know, Go V4 actually gives you crow if you like dash around people if you're in your transformation. So I wonder if I can get crows and bats to attack people. Bro, that would be insane. All right, let's go try this fly ability one more time and yo. It does a lot of damage, by the way. What the? Look at the damage. It's already at 4,000. It's already like, bro, I'm stunning him. Oh, and it did 6k. Okay, bruh. That is actually insane. What? For a fly ability? Like, um, okay. All right, all right, let's go do the next one. Shade and Nest, okay? Three, two, one, and... All right, we charge up, and... What was that? Did I push you backwards or something? What, what was that? Okay, let's go and try that one more time, but then zoomed out, okay? Like that? What is that? It's like an aura with bats, and it just pushes Star back. I like this already, okay? It did like 4,000 damage, so it does already pretty good damage. Now we need to unlock the next two abilities, which are pretty much the last ones, okay? Nightmare Leech and Corvus Torment. Now you guys already know where we gotta go. There you go. We're at Ice Cream Village or Island or whatever, okay? And you guys already know what we're doing here, okay? We're hunting somebody down. A pirate that has been sitting here for ages, okay? And she's not here. I bet she's eating ice cream downstairs or something like that. Oh, that there she is. All right, all right, all right. Are you ready to taste a bit of this shadow power? Okay, I have some shadow crows, okay? Or like bats, I guess. There you go. How much damage can we do? Bro, she's confused. Oh my, she, he, wait, she's not even attacking me. Wait, wait, 10,000 damage and she didn't even attack me? Wait, that's insane though. Some of that. Okay, this is insane, bro. What the, she can't do anything about it though. Like she can't do, she's getting stunned like crazy. And it reloads really quickly, bro. Okay, she can't do anything about this. Yo, this is crazy. And Cake Queen is 1 HP. And as you can see, we can just finish her off with this pretty much. Okay, maybe not. Maybe with this. And with the bats. Come on, bats, attack, attack. Okay, Cake Queen has to die, right? Die! There you go. All right, let's go. Okay, we had 103 mastery. Let's see how much we can get. And we got up to 169. Okay. All right, now we need like 30 more, okay? So let's go and spawn another one in. And hopefully then we have enough. And Cake Queen is low again, okay? My shadow is about to get you. Come on. All right, there you go. 
little bit of this, okay? And now to finish you off my bats, okay? Come on, come on. You're getting stunned, bro. She can't do anything. Look at this. She cannot do anything. And she's dead. Okay, that's just overpowered, okay? And we reach 200 mastery. And we unlock Nightmare Leech, okay? I don't know what that's supposed to do. All right, let's go try it out, okay? Nightmare Leech, three, two, one, and go. Okay, we charge up and... Okay, so that did like 3.6k damage. So I grabbed him and then I punched him, right? But the thing about this one is it's kind of like God human, right? It's good, but you probably have to aim it, right? So if you like walk around, you probably have to do this. It's kind of like a magnet. I just magneted it onto star and I punched him. Wait, that's pretty good. Wait, what if I do it like next to him or something? Let me check. Next to him. Oh my, wait. It's a magnet, and it does kind of good damage. So wait, this ability is actually kind of nice. So what if I'm just moving around, moving around? Wait, what if I fly? Can I do it in my fly ability? Imagine I'm just flying, and then I'm doing this. Boom. Sure. Okay, this is good. All right, I like this one already. So now it's time to unlock the last ability, which is Corvus Torment. And then we can see what this Umbra Meter thing does, okay? So let's go and kill Big Mom. All right, boys, Cake Queen is already low, and let's go get some bats on her head. There you go, Stunner. I Yo, wait, she can hit me? What the? Okay, come here. There's no time for jokes, okay? You're about to die. Hey, guys, I like Shadow Fruit a little bit more now because all these abilities just look amazing, bro. What the? Like, look at that. That is really, really nice. And obviously the fly ability, my favorite one. And boom, okay? We just got 228 mastery. All right, but we gotta keep pushing, okay? We gotta get another one because we need to get to 300 mastery. All right, K-Queen, come here. You're like a dead person to me already, okay? I don't even need to see you dead, all right? You're already dead to me, okay? Come here and fly ability. Yo, what the? How did you put me out of there? Okay, come here. You're gonna pay, all right? You're gonna pay for everything you have done. Because I need the mastery, okay? You've been scamming me with mastery. And there you guys go. 2.1 million XP. That's kind of good, all right? We got up to 244 mastery, but we need a bunch more K queens, right? A bunch more. All right, guys. It's time to get her again, okay? She's once again low. Let's get a shadow powers, okay? Bit of that, okay? Take that, take that, take that. Come on. Take this. Come on. Grab her up. There you go. And now fly above, and you should be dead within uh, literal seconds. Come on. Die. And she is dead. Uh, we're still not there, though, okay? We need a few more. And you you're dead, all right? 287. So I guess like one more and some NPCs. And we should unlock the last ability. Finally. Okay, right, so we need to kill K-Queen right over here, okay? Come on, come on, come on. She's right here. Come on. Okay, we got her, we got her. Come on. Chill, okay. Chill, 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 chill. Okay, there you go. Chill down, right? Calm down because you're about to die, right? There you go. She missed. And she's dead. 298. Bro, we're almost there. But not quite yet, all right? We need to finish it up with some NPCs right here. Grab this one. Grab this one. A little bit of this. A little bit of that. And a little bit of this. Come on. That should finish one of them off, okay? And now we need to just grab this one right here. And oh, one more level. Are you serious? Oh, these NPCs are strong. I don't know why they're doing so much damage. But okay, let's go and get this guy. All right, this is the one. This is the one. Come on, do this. And you're dead. A new skill available, guys. There you go. And now we only Unlocked Corvus Torment, right? Finally. So now we're gonna see what is Umbra Meter that's charging up all the time does, all right? Let's see the powers of the Shadow Fruit. All right, guys, let's see what the hype is all about, all right? Three, two, one, and... Uh... What the... Why did I transform into a ball? Uh... All right, I guess... Oh, my God. Show. Show. Uh... What? What? Uh, okay, starts dying through the NPC, bro. The NPC is stunned. Show. Sure. All right, Shadow Fruit is the most underrated fruit. I've almost never ever seen someone use Shadow Fruit, but when this Umbra Meter is full up, then you can do a lot of damage, bro. Look at that. All right, we need to try that one again, okay? This might be the best ability in a whole of Blocks Roots if it actually does damage, damage. All right, let's go and try it only on Star, okay? No NPCs that do extra damage, okay? Only Star, okay? We do this. We literally transform into a ball, bro. Look at my hands. Guys, I look like Gay Queen. Oh my, wait. Okay, no, no, I mean, I mean okay, yeah. Just use, okay. Yo, yo, four point. Okay. It just stuns them. Look at that. Bro, the bats are insane. It does 7,000. Oh, 8,000. Yo, yo. 8.2 thousand? And the Umbra Meter wasn't even filled up. I wasn't even waiting for that one. Wait, so it does like 10,000 whenever this Umbra Meter is filled up. But wait a minute, where's my aura? It. It's gone. Wait, the Umbra Meter is empty and my aura is gone. What? All right, guys, Shadow Fruit is such a weird fruit. Like, where's my... Oh, 
Yo, that is sick. I can aim wherever I want to go. Okay, I didn't even know that. Alright, guys, so for Shadow Fruit is one of the best looking and yeah, best damage fruit I've seen, okay? Even like, this is unawakened, right? This is not an awakening. You would think that's gonna be probably bad, but it's actually insane. Okay, wait. What if the Umbra Meter is at zero and you're gonna try to use the V ability? Okay, Shadow Fruit is no joke, okay? Let's gonna try it. Come on. Oh! Bro, I'm the kid of Big Mom. What? Okay, no, I mean, uh, yo, okay, let's go use it. Come on. How much damage is that gonna do, okay? So it's way smaller, right? And, bro, six thousand, six, seven thousand, yo, show. Still 7.6k. Okay, guys, Shadow Fruit, I already know what my favorite fruit is for damage, okay? This might be the best fruit for damage and bounty hunting, all right? Because you stun people with your best ability, and it does 7,000 in one go. All right, guys, I didn't expect it, but I think this one actually does more damage than Venom, okay? Venom is an overall good transformation, but for solid damage with the one ability, that's where you want to have Shadow Fruit, okay? Shadow Fruit is one of the best for damage. I don't think I'll find a better fruit than Shadow. Guys, one fruit that competes is actually the spider fruit. It does like also 7k in one ability, which is insane, okay? You guys, let me know. Shadow fruit W or L, and I'm not really sure why my aura is gone. Can you guys tell me? Because how do I get it back? It looked pretty sick, all right? All right, guys, welcome back to another Blocks Fruit video. And in today's video, we're gonna be mastering another fruit, okay? And in the last video, we did shadow fruit, as you can see, okay? We got this new Umbra meter, which I've never seen before. It was something new to learn, but this fruit overall was an amazing fruit, okay? If you guys have not seen this video, all I gotta say, shadow fruit is a under rated fruit, okay? I mean, just look at one of these abilities. Yeah, all right. I mean, that's all I'm gonna show you. And not to mention, we have this like cool galaxy thing around us, which is pretty nice, I guess. But guys, in today's video, right, we're gonna be mastering another fruit, which as you guys can see on the title, on the thumbnail, it's gonna be another mythical fruit, the gravity fruit. And oh my, okay. Yo, okay, okay, we got some rock stones flying around it. I mean, pretty nice, I guess. All right, let me switch out Shadow Fruit because, yeah, that's much better, okay? You can see, okay, it's glowy. Ooh, I like glowy stuff. I like it. This fruit looks really interesting, but I don't think I know anybody that uses this fruit. So, we'll see in today's video if my Robux is worth this fruit, okay? Gravity, I've actually never used this fruit, so, yeah. But did you guys know that this series is almost coming to an end? Yeah, after this video, we probably will have, like, two more fruits to master. But do not fear, because I will be still uploading after this series, right? Nothing's gonna change. I'm still gonna be probably daily uploading. Anyway, enough waffling. Let's go roll a fruit. And where is Star? Oh, there you are. I thought you're not gonna show up, right? You're late. But it's all good, right? It's all good. Let's go roll a fruit because we need to roll one, right? Yo, I just woke up. Bro, what do you mean you woke up? It's like 5 p.m. already. Bro. Oh, man. Okay, whatever, all right? Okay, let's roll a fruit. Okay, three, two, one, and uh, roll now. There you go. And I got the bomb fruits. Hey, you got a spring fruit. Okay, at least no kilo, okay? Kilo virus is hopefully gone, all right? Anyway, guys, we gotta go over here, and I don't think Star even knows what fruit we are, like, doing, okay? But, okay, let's go over here, and let's do gravity over here. Let's go and buy it for 2.3k Robux. I mean, it's all right, okay? That's all right. Let's go and buy it right here. It's all our Robux for, like, a simple fruit. Um, but let's go- wait, what is he eating? Okay, I just- I just bought it, okay? Redeemed, there you go. We got gravity. Did you eat the bomb fruit? Really? Okay, why did you eat bomb fruit? What? Why? I mean, it's not a terrible fruit, I guess, but okay, guys, as you can see, we have Gravity Fruit Mastery 1, and as you can see, I have only one ability, which is called the Gravity Push, okay? Bro, stop it! What are you charging up for, man? Oh, what the? All right, but guys, look at that. So we need 300 mastery to master this fruit further, okay? And then we can unlock Meteor's Rain. And what do you think you are, bro? This guy was literally flying with bomb. All right, guys, so this fruit is called Gravity, right? So can I control Gravity now or what's going on here? Can I can I fly? Can I, what can I do? Well, we're about to try it out, okay? Gravity push, okay? I'm expecting some crazy stuff because at the end of the day, it's a mythical fruit, all right? All right, let's go try it out right here and see if it's, a whoa, what the? Dude, stop bombing me already and let me try my fruit okay come on all right we got a gravity push okay let's see oh yo what is that in my hand bro i'm about to control the gravity okay come on and okay 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 so i literally pushed you okay so it's like a push ability i guess it's not bad 2.4k damage is bad though okay it's low damage and it just pushes you away oh okay dude and now you're using spiky bro yeah we know that's a better one okay but yeah gravity push isn't that interesting of an ability okay maybe from here i guess you can use it to like push people away so you can run away other than that it's pretty boring but now we gotta unlock every single other ability so let's go and kill someone we didn't kill on a while okay and oh you're already here okay yeah i guess you have minx so you're faster but how does ligma like my new ability okay let's See? Gravity push. Oh, bro, my ability cooldown is way too long. I can't even kill this guy. Okay, let's see. Come on. Now, oh, bro, he's already 1 HP and he's gonna heal up soon. Okay, there you go. Come on. And, bro, 
How is he not dead yet? It literally is healing up again. Come on. Die already, bro. It's literally impossible to kill him. It's literally impossible. I'm not even joking, guys. Look, he's healing himself up every single time. And now, come on, please. And there you go. Okay, finally, bro. He was healing himself like crazy. But how much mastery can we get? All right, let's see. 50, hopefully 100, because that's the next ability. And we did get a 100. So perfect. Let's go and try it out. All right, so we have two new abilities. Gravity Obeisance, whatever that's called, okay? And Boulder Flight. So let's go and try the fly ability first. Okay, let's see. Come on. Um, what the? Okay, this is a very slow one. Can we even do damage? Tell me we can. Bro, we can't even do damage. You're not even fast and you're not dealing damage. So yeah, this one is pretty bad. This should probably get a rework, I feel like. But okay, let's go and try the next one. Gravity Obeisance. Okay, I don't even know what that is, but let's go and try it out. Okay, three, two, one, and go. Cho. Okay. Wait, can you move? Wait. I don't think you can move. It stuns. Okay, so that means you can't move. Ooh, I already like this fruit more, okay? Because you can actually do some combos when you stun them, right? So it does a lot of damage. Look at that. It does like 3.8k. And then you can instantly do an ability after. Which is very, very nice. But now let's go unlock the next ones. Meteor Pitch and Meteor Rain, okay? Let's see what this is. Because so far, it's not looking that promising, right? And we have arrived at the place where I spent most of my time mastering fruits. And that's obviously K-Queen, all right? So K-Queen, I'm back because... I need to master another food, all right? I hope you don't mind because we need the mastery, all right? Guys, yeah, K-Queen is very low, and I was kind of confused how I'm going to kill bosses with the first ability, but luckily we got a second one, all right? So this one, yeah, it wouldn't really cut it, all right? Guys, okay, so luckily we have the second one, okay? Okay, the second one is really good. Look at this. Show. Okay, okay, be stuns, and we can do Z. There we go, combo. That did around 6k, that's not too bad, I guess, but now we need to finish it off, and there you go, all right? Let's see how much mastery. 144 we started. Let's see, come on, please. 188, okay, so we need like 12 more. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, I expected something way different from Gravity Fruit, okay? I'm not even gonna lie, okay? I thought we were gonna levitate stuff, I thought we were gonna do like controlling stuff, but I guess that's a control fruit job. But anyway, let's go and go over here. Boom, this ability is so good, okay? Yeah, it stuns them, and there you go. I guess we remove the gravity, and we stun them in our place, okay? And now we need to just wait. That's really slow cooldown, look at that. It still is reloading. I don't like the cooldown, but I guess, um, yeah, you're about to die, okay? Do this one, come on. Come on, and right after, come on. This one, she didn't die, what? I can't even see her HP anymore, okay? And you are dead, okay? New skill available, okay, let's go, okay? We unlocked Meteor Pitch, okay? I wonder what this is, okay? Let's go and try it out. All right, guys, Meteor Pitch, okay? Let's see what it does. I mean, I'm pretty excited, okay? Three, two, one, and go. What? Yo! What? Wait, so I mark an area and then a meteor comes falling from the sky. It didn't do damage damage though, so... Alright guys, that feels really hard to hit, okay? I don't know how anyone is gonna hit that because look at the cool... Like, look how... You gotta wait. Okay, I mean, it's pretty instant actually. That was pretty cool though. We summon meteors. Okay, I like this route more, okay? But guys, don't you think it would be better if you like could walk on walls like this uh, with gravity? That would make sense, right? Because it's a like gravity fruit at the end of the day, right? Like you're removing gravity. But I mean, I can walk on walls. But guys, so far abilities haven't really been that impressive, okay? I'm not even gonna lie, okay? This fruit isn't that great so far. The only ability that's fun is the stun ability. Look at that. I'm stunning. And can I do the meteor right again? Come on. On, the meteor? No, it's... Oh, wait, I did hit him. What the? I sent him flying. That is not too bad, all right? But the NPCs are back. Bro, I hate these NPCs. Go away. All right, guys, but now it's the hardest job of all, okay? Meteor's rain. 300 mastery. Oh, man. Okay, but first we need to get this fruit that has spawned, all right? The fruit detected. Hopefully it's a good one. Oh, and start already... No, okay, start teleporting me. Where is it? Oh, it is at pour down. Okay, wait, where is it? Okay, it should be right over here. Oh, it's up that mountain. I remember, okay? So once we go over here, it should be right... Over here, come on, come on. It's a diamond fruit, bruh. That is so bad, bro. Okay, it's some big boy diamond fruit, but you can have it, okay? It's a, it's a diamond, okay? It's worth a lot of money. Look, the pirates already want it, right? They're, they're running behind us. Run away, man. All right, K-Queen, K-Queen. I got a, I got a present for... Oh, yo, yo, yo. All right, she does not want it. Wait, wait. Okay, let me drop it. There yo. Yo, what the? Bro, just take it. Don't be so greedy. Like, what? I'm giving you a present, okay? Okay. You're not grateful, okay? Let me get you in this over here. Okay, there you go. You gotta remember, okay? You always gotta be grateful and humble, okay? Hey, let me get that meteor on your head. There you go. And there you go, K-Queen. How does it feel, okay? How does it feel, okay? You're low. You're in a bad situation, okay? And now you're about to die, okay? Come on. Can we one-shot her? Come on. Can we one-shot her? Come on. Come on. There you go. Meteor. And... Oh my god, almost. That was a good combo, okay? She's stunned, like, for a long time. All right, push once again. Come on. Okay, is she gonna die? Is she gonna die? Is she gonna die? 
Come on, die! Bro, she's not dying. My god, bro. Okay, okay. Now you're done. Okay, there you go. Finally. And that only gave us 20 match trees. So we gotta do this a bit more times. Alright, come here, K Queen. One more time. One more time, okay? Come here, there you go. Okay, okay, okay. And now send a meteor. Come on, send a meteor. Come on. On time. Oh my god, bro, bro, bro. Alright, come on, K Queen. You're literally 1 HP, okay? Why, why aren't you dying? I don't even see the HP anymore. What? Stop swinging your sword. Oh my god, okay. There you go. Come on, do this, do that, and you're dead, you're dead, you're dead. I'm just better, what can I say? All right, Kate Queen, come here, come here, come here. You're about to die, okay? Come on, wait, my abilities aren't working, what? Okay, there you go, there you go. Come on, come here, stun him, stun him, stun him. Meteor on your head, there you go. And now you should be dead, come on. I saw like one HP, and there you go. 292, so one more. Wait, will Longma give enough? Let's actually try that. All right, guys, Longma is about to die, I think, okay? He's lying on the ground already. He's preparing his death, okay? <laughs> Yo. All right, a few more. Come on, do this. All right, Longma, you're dead to me, okay? You're dead. Come on. Come on. Is that gonna kill you? No, I don't think so, okay? I need one more try. Oh, yo, these abilities are so annoying, to be honest, but okay. This and Meteor on your head. Come on. Is it gonna kill you? Dead. What? Wait. I didn't kill her, what? I guess nobody got mastery there. I don't know what happened. It glitched out or something. Uh, yeah, I guess we gotta do it again. All right, guys, Ligma's almost dead or yeah, well, not almost. A one HP, I think. There you go. All right, come on, come on, come on. You're dead, you're dead, you're dead, you're dead, you're dead, you're dead. Come on, combo. There you go. And maybe Meteor. Bro, she's out. Come on, one more and you're done. And exactly mastery 300. What a coincidence. Now we got a new skill available, which is Meteor Rain. So we need to try this. Oh, but pirates are waiting in the castle. Yo, yo, yo. Let's defeat this first, okay? You ain't getting my land, right? Come here, filthy pirate, okay? Come here. Where's the pirates at? I don't see any. Okay, there you go. There's one. I think that's the last one. And I just yeeted him out of the map. What the? And I think he's dead, all right? Okay, let me kill him. There you go. And boom. We got a ice fruit. That's pretty bad, all right? It's not a legendary, it's not a mythic, okay? You can have it. I don't think I even have storage for that. But guys, we need to test the last ability of gravity, and that's gonna be a wrap for gravity. And Star is eating ice for some reason. <laughs> what? Okay, okay, but for you, now we're gonna try the Meteor Strain, okay? Let's see what it does. Hopefully, it's really, really good. Because so far, the only really good ability is the X one that can stun people. But now, let's go and try it. 3, 2, 1, and go, all right? Oh my god. What? There were like a bunch of meteors that fell from the sky and it did quite a lot of damage, like 5.6k. Whenever not even every single meteor hits. So what if every single one hits? I mean, how is it even possible? Because, oh wait, I already know how, okay? So we do the V and we do X. Here you go, he's stunned. Show! Oh my god. Oh my god wait this might be the best ability in the game okay you guys i say this almost every video but this might be actually the best look he's saying what bro i stunned him he couldn't move and i just did an ability that does like so much damage yeah so much damage that's what i'm saying so what i did is first v right because the meteors knock back him so we did this and then we do this so that is insane, bro. That was like a 12,000 damage combo. And guys, as you can see, I don't have Pal Scarf on. And this gives you even more block through damage. So let's go and try it. All right, Star has his hacky on and full HP. Okay, let's go and try it. Let's go and try it. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Okay, so first uh, V and then X. Come on, come on, come on. How much damage? How much damage? Yo, what? Bro! Alright, this is literally a one-shot combo. And then after that, we can even do this. And we can even do my fighting style. So, yeah. This guy should be dead in seconds, alright? I don't know why this is so OP. This is an actual one-shot combo. If you combine it with any other single ability. And guys, I already got it, okay? This is the best combo in the game. Fruit-wise, okay? Which other fruit has a better combo, okay? Name it, alright? Today's video, I'm gonna be mastering a fruit. Not a usual fruit. This is gonna be one of the mythical fruits in Blocks fruits. And it has no awakening. Do you know which one it is? Well, okay, no awakening. That just got dough of the list. But the fruit I'm gonna be awakening today is gonna be really hyped in the next update. Because it's rumored to get a huge reward. And I wanna kind of master it before the update so I can actually play with it on the update. And show you guys every new ability. Okay, enough stalling. The fruit that we're gonna be awakening today is the dragon fruit, okay? Most of you guys probably have already guessed it. There you go. We're gonna be awakening the dragon fruit. Now, boys, this is one of the most wanted fruits in Bloxroot since it's the second on the list uh, of Bloxroot. 
games. In today's video, it's time to master it and get the powers of the dragon. All right, guys, but I didn't roll through today, so let's see if we're gonna get dragon, okay? If we actually get dragon, I, I would be surprised. So let's see, let's just roll, okay? I mean, it's always worth a shot and yeah, we got diamond, okay? Yeah, yeah, you can have it, okay? Yeah, you roll right now. Okay, please, please, you gotta get dragon. You gotta get dragon, please. Bro, that's not a dragon. That is literally a falcon fruit or something, bro. I, I don't even know what that bird is. But yeah, that's definitely not dragon, okay? He says dragon, oh my God, no dummy. That's not a dragon. What are you talking about? That's really like one of the falcon fruits. Wait, bro, dude, what the? He's eating it. Wait, what? He transformed into a dragon after eating- Bro, what? This guy is definitely trolling me. That is definitely dragon. What? How did you even do that? This guy is literally a magician or something. Now, we're gonna go over here to the block through dealer. And if we scroll all the way down- Okay, hopefully it's unstuck. Please be unstuck. Come on, come on. And... It's not unstuck. Okay, I I, I would have guessed it. Now, guys, to buy this fruit, we need 2,600 Robux. And it's one of the most expensive fruits. So, comment F because uh, this is gonna hurt, okay? Oh, no. 2,000... Bro, I'm gonna be broke after this video, okay? Oh, there you go, man. Permanent dragon unlock. All right, there you go. We have it equipped and... Ooh, it looks pretty good. Look at that icon. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. how do I transform into a dragon? Okay, how, how do I do this? Okay, come on, come on. Can I fly now? Can I... Wait, wait a minute. I only have one ability, which is heat wave beam. All right, but anyway, let's go and test this ability, okay? Star, let's go. Let's see what this even does, okay? And also, we got this fury meter over here. I don't know what this is for. It's like an extra thing. It's like a V4 awakening thing, but uh, it's, it's all good. Okay, let's go and test this first ability. All right, three to... Oh, Okay, whoa. I guess we can hold it as well, and it gives, like, a cool effect. All right, and three, two, one, and boom. Oh, my. Ooh, okay, okay. Wait, that was sick. Oh, chill, 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 chill. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the? Bro has dragon as well. Wait, can we do it from, like, far, far? Let's see from here. Let's see if this is gonna reach. Come on, please. Oh, my. Wait, that reached. That's pretty good. And wait, is it, like, powerful? Can it even reach fat, like, further away? Come on. And no, okay, so it can reach only a certain amount. That's a pretty decent first ability. Let's go and get the second one, Dragon Claw. We need 150 mastery for this. So here's the first boss, I guess, right? Is the elephant here? Uh, I don't think so. All right, guys, our first target is Ligma over here. What do you have to say to my heat wave beam? Come on. All right, come on. Goku power. Kamehame. Yo, guys, I feel like Goku right now. Oh my god. Okay, but now seriously, we gotta equip Buddha over here. That's the only way we can actually defeat it quickly. All right, that should be low enough. Let's go do this over here and... Uh, oh my god, he healed up again. Bro, this boss is so annoying. Like, come on, come on, come on. Come on. That's not even enough. Okay, hold on. Where is this? Okay, we need a few more hits over here. There you go. All right, that should be enough. Let me do this. And you're... Wait, what? Okay, come on. Now, that should be it. There you go. All right, how much mastery are we actually gonna get? Because we need 150 for the next ability. I doubt that's how much we're gonna get. Come on. 120, 130. 142. Oh, almost. What we did unlock is Dragon Flight. Okay, so I'm guessing... I think this is like a movement ability, so we don't really have to test it. Okay, let's see. Three, two, one, and... Wait, I have wings! Wait, this is actually pretty cool, because now you can, like, literally fly around, like, with wings. What other fruit has this? This is so cool. Bro, what are you flexing your dragon for, man? Like, I don't have the dragon yet. Like, I'm a small dragon yet, man. I, I can't do that. Bro, what are you doing? Bro, well, uh, come here. Oh, look at you. You're slow. Let, let, me, let me get some beam on you. There you oh my god, he dodged it. No way. Yeah, run away, bro. All right, let's go another boss so we can actually get his 150 mastery. All right, elephant, come here. Come here. Come here. Oh my, wait. He's already 1 HP. What? How did that not kill him? I guess we need to do this and you're dead. Come on. Wait. Bro, what? This guy is so strong. Look, like he has like boot arm or something. All right now, he should be dead. There you go. Okay, that's gonna give, bring us to 164. Okay, and when you unlocked Dragon Claw, time to test that one. All right, let's stand like this. Dragon Claw. Okay, three, two, one. Okay, we can grab it, I guess. My hands are on flame. Okay, and oh, it stops. What the hell? And now we release. Oh, yo, yo. What? Bro, it did 5,000 damage? Oh my, that's insane. Wait, let me try that again, because that looked crazy. Wait, so we grab him, and then we smash him, and he's on fire. And he's just burning. What the? That is so... Wait, why are you having Kilo Fruit equipped? Bro, what? Wait, this ability is crazy for PvP, because if you, like, dash around, you can do this... You could just grab someone. Wait, that is crazy. It's like a magnet. You just grab somebody and slam them. I already like dragon. I'm already like excited to see fire shower and transformation. But that one is 250 mastery. Oh my god. Okay, we gotta grind more bosses. All right, come on, K Queen. Now it's time to test the ability on you. Time to literally get destroyed, okay? Let me get my hand ready and come here. 
Let's go! Bro, what? That didn't even kill her. Oh my god, okay. Hey, 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 chill, 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 chill. Okay, let me get my laser beam. Your laser beam is nothing. And let me grab you. Let's go! Alright, let's see how much mastery that's. One. Oh, 200. Okay. We're getting close, but 50 more. Ah, so let's go and do another one. You know what? Let's respawn Big Mom because she gives a lot of mastery. Alright, Big Mom, it's time. It's time to get smashed! Let's go. Okay, come on. Laser beam. Come on. Let's go. Come on. That's gonna be 24 levels. Let's go. I guess like one more kill and we have it. You know what? Let's kill Ligma over here. Because this guy is acting really tough all the time. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Look at this guy acting tough. Bro. Bro, does he have a skull? I, I just noticed that. This guy has a skull hat. He's literally looking like this guy right here, bro. <laughs> Not even gonna lie. Look at this guy. Look at him. He came back from his dad just to die again. Come here, buddy. Why could there just be another way of getting XP? Like, why do I gotta respawn these bosses over and over again? Hopefully, in the next update, this will be fixed or something. It's not just, like, spending Robux over and over again. Which, like, free-to-play players can't really do this. Like, it's super annoying. You almost dead. Almost dead. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, no, you can't. You can't do this. You can't do this. Come on. There you go. Let's get him. Oh, my God. I just got him so good and i just got 10 mastery only 10 30 okay we need 12 more for the next level let's go kill elephant and then respawn again right, come on elephant you're about to die right here come on and the last beam there you go bro dragon is actually fun like i like these abilities and we need three more levels for the next ability so let's go do that hopefully we can get it right over here but he's forest pirates right, come on this should be it this should be it come on Get this guy, boom, and then get this guy, and did he die? Oh, he didn't even die. I think this is the last skull, I think this is the last skull, come on, and there you go, new skull available, we got a fire shower for 250 mastery, and now we're about to test it. So let's see where this star guy is at, he's not over here, is he here right here? Maybe he's just waiting in like a chair or something? No, he's not here. This guy's late for work, man, where is this guy at? Now guys, keep in mind, I'm making this video before the update. Oh, there is this guy, Ed. you're late for work, buddy. What I was trying to say is that all these abilities are gonna look different after the update. You might be seeing this video after the update and see that all these abilities are old, but that's because I'm mastering it before the update. Alright, right, let's go and test the next ability, which is Fire Shower. Okay, I wonder what that is. Okay, so we're gonna... Oh, what the? What the? What the? Yo, 5,000 damage? I didn't even aim it correctly, I think. Wait, let's go and try it again. So it doesn't hold, right? So let's just go ahead and hold it on him, I guess. Let's see. And go. Okay, wait. Okay, there you go. And how much damage is gonna do? Like 5,000, I guess. That's not bad. I see some combo potential on this. Now you try it on me. I wanna see how it looks like on me, all right? Let's see. Let's see. All right. How is it gonna look? Oh my god. Oh my bro. I just got. Bro. Bro, what? I just got stunned for like four seconds. I couldn't do anything. Wait, try to do it again. Try to do it again. All right, there you go. He fl he's flying out. What the? Uh, and then he's okay. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, what? I was trying to flash step out of there like the whole time, but it didn't work. So you can't even flash step out of there. So this ability is really good for stunning people. Like this. Pro! Come here, come here, buddy. Yeah, you're gonna get stunned right now. And you're gonna get comboed over here, buddy. Yeah, there you go, man. You better run away. Hey, come here, buddy. Let's go. And you're dead. That's a sick combo, though. Now we need to unlock the final ability, which is transformation for 350 mastery. Uh, that's gonna take a long time. I need to respawn like five bosses. Uh, wish me luck. All right, we have 342 mastery right now. It's a bit further on, and this is might be the last boss, all right? So, Big Mom, you're about to die. All right, Big Mom, you're about to die, and give me all your mastery. And oh, my. Wait, 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 I did the wrong ability. Come on. Let's see. And... Bro, bro, how did you not die? How did you not die? No, 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 wait, 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 don't kill me here, don't kill me here, okay, it's never gonna hit me like this one, and hey, man, I'm sorry to inform you, but <laughs> you're dead, and oh my god, that just gave me so much mastery that I'm 349 with literally 10, like, 1% of that, oh my god, so I guess we just need, like, one more regular NPC, and we're Gucci, you know what, I'll target you, Ice Cream Chef, let me get my god human up to works, because I didn't really use it, since you can't really use it with Buddha, but we're about to kill this guy and unlock the last ability. New skill available, and now we got transformation. Who still has Skittle on? Are you, bro? What? Where? Okay, this guy just flew away. What the? What the? All right, come here. We need to test the last, bro. Okay, we need to test the last ability. Come here, come here, come here. Oh, for real, for real. All right, so transformation. Okay, I hope it does something cool. Okay, so three, two, one. Yo! Let's go, we're a dragon now. No way, we transformed into a dragon. Oh, this looks so powerful. What the? I don't like fly, bro. Like, the, the fly is kind of clunky, though. What is that? Uh, what is that? It's already smooth or something. Wait, wait. Why am I green and he's red? Wait, how are you red? What the? Wait, how are you? Wait, let me, let me, let me heat wave you. Yo. Wait, now I wonder, are the abilities different? So let's go and try X, okay? Let's try X. Okay, we were holding X and... Oh my god. That's definitely different. What is fire shower? Okay, let's go and try fire shower now. Okay, let next ability, next ability. Three, two, one, and... Yo. 
Oh my. Oh my. Bro. What the? I was destroying the whole city with this. Oh, that's such a sick ability. I actually almost forgot that all the abilities change once you transform, which is really cool. But wait, what did Z do again? Hold on. Let me do Z. Okay, we charge up and... That's pretty much the same thing. But wait, X was different. Okay, let's, so let's see. X, okay, we hold it and then... Boom. Whoa, okay, that, that's sick. Now, I really wonder, how is this gonna be after the rework? Because this is already pretty sick. Now, Star, you gotta tell me one thing, all right? How did you get a red dragon? Why do I have a green one? I can't tell your secret information right now, buddy. You ain't keeping it a secret from me. You need to hit the bonus? What bonus is you talking about? What, is there a bonus in this game? What? What are you talking about? Come to the mansion? Uh, all right, I guess I'll bring you there. Since you don't have permanent portal. <laughs> all right, show me then. Why can't I transform? What the? Wait, what is going on? I can transform. What is... Wait. You have max fury to... Oh, wait, so this fury meter has to be max to transform into transformation. I get it now. All right, I'm getting the gist of it. There you go, transform. Now we're literally a dragon. Oh my god, this is so cool. What the heck? We're literally dragons flying around. Where where am I going? Wait, what are these rings? Huh? What, what is that? You can choose the colors here. Wait, I can choose the colors? So how do I choose it? Like click on it or something? Wait, I gotta... Oh, change dragon color to bright green. Wait a minute, I didn't know this. Wait, so if I go right here... Oh, change dragon color to bright blue. And now if I transform again... Oh, we need full fury meter. So I guess that we gotta wait a bit. And by the way, guys, this fury meter charges up automatically. So you don't really have to do anything. All right, we're about to transform. Let's see how bright blue looks. Oh my... Wait a minute. This is sick. Bro, I did not notice. Wait, can we get a red color as well? Let's see. Wait, I want a red. I want a red. I want a red dragon. Okay. Yes, bright red. Let's go. All right, now we these transform. And now we wait for this fury meter again. Bro, but there's so many colors. Look at that. We got orange purple, we got gray it seems like, golden, white, and black. Now I wonder, why can't I color other transformations like Venom or Leopard or Buddha, huh? Block suits, what you gonna say with this one, huh? Anyway, let's see. Oh my god, bro, red looks so fire. It looks like a fiery dragon. I love this one. I kind of want purple as well. So let's see if we can actually do this violet one or something. And there you go, bright violet. Dude, star, I read really that on notice. This is actually one of the sickest Easter eggs I've seen in Block suits. All right, all right how, how does the purple dragon um look? Okay, come on. Yo, oh my god, this looks so cool. All right, I can change it to any color I want. Okay, dragon is the only one that can do this. Well, yeah, I noticed kind of. Um, that's kind of weird right so only if you're a dragon you can go through these rings and change colors and they added this in every c wait really so this is not the only place i can change my colors at c1 sky but wait wait i want to test this color first okay let's see come on yo that's a br okay brown i guess it's it's pretty cool it's pretty cool like the eyes really stick out on this one i really like this nice i need to get the golden color let's see if i can actually get it come on come on and wait Wait, I can't get it. Must have 400 mastery to pick this color. Uh, what? So you're telling me that I have to level up this to mastery 400 to be able to choose golden color? Really? Wait, what is the white color then? I want the white color as well. Let's see. Come on. Wait, you must have 500 mastery? Bro. Wait, what is black then? Hold on. Oh, no, no, no. I'm falling. I'm falling. I'm falling. Hold on. All right, and black is 600 mastery. That is literally max mastery. Oh my. I'm never gonna reach that. All right, boys. The day has finally come. I'm going to be awakening the strongest fruit you can awaken. Yes, all right. No jokes. You guys probably already saw it by the title and thumbnail. We're gonna be awakening the dough fruit in today's video. Yes, I've been on a journey to awaken every single fruit in Blogs Fruits, and we're finally at the dough fruit. Well, last video, we didn't awaken a fruit. We did dragon fruit, which was amazing fruit, by the way. But to Today, we're gonna do something different. We're gonna be awakening the dough fruit, mastering all the abilities, and finally awakening it to full transformation and becoming the ultimate dough king. And the goal of today's video is to defeat Cake Prince with dough fruit so we can take his spot. But we got number one completed. We got a dough scarf, or whatever that's called, or the pal scarf. But now we need to get the fruit. So we're gonna go right over here and. Oh, what, what are these fruits on the ground here? Who even let them here? We got a quake fruit, a love fruit, I see. Okay, and a bunch of doo doo fruits. Well, it's all right. Let's go and roll fruit. Maybe we can actually get a dough fruit. Bro, if I get a dough fruit from this spin right over here, I'll... I don't know what I'll do, okay? I'll jump out of my way. What? Bro, no, I'm not scripting this. I am not... What? No, bro, 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 what? I am... Uh...
What? And you rolled a string? Bro, I'm in shock right now. I have never rolled a dough food in my life. Well, I did once. And then my PC black screened and blue screened. Yo, yeah, bro. This is so lucky. I've never had this happen to me. Oh my God. This is insane. And at the dough awakening video, like what? Like how is that? Bro, it's coming out together. I, I don't know what to say, man. But guys, since dough food is the best fruit of the game, and I literally just rolled it, which is absolutely insane. I kind of want to have it permanently. And if I go to my inventory, I already have a dough fruit. So Star, where are you? Oh, there he is. I'm pretty sure he doesn't have a dough fruit, so we're gonna just give him the dough fruit. There you go. <laughs> I don't really need it. Thanks. Well, no problem, man. Look how nice it looks on the ground. Oh my god. But now it's actually time to get it permanently. Which, bro, I still cannot believe my luck. Okay, there you go. We got a dough fruit right over here, and it costs a whopping 2,400 Robux. <sighs> oh, well, I mean, I'm gonna spend the Robux because this is one of the best fruits in the game. Alright, guys, here we go. We're buying dough fruit for 2,400 Robux after I rolled it. It feels so weird, by the way. But there you go, and there you go. Permanent uh, dough fruit redeemed. Now, if you guys want a dough fruit in your inventory, Three, make sure you guys like the video and comment down below because you'll never know if I pick someone. You know what? If this video hits 2,000 likes, I'll actually give out one permanent dough fruit just because I rolled the dough fruit. I feel so good about it. Now, there you go. We got the dough fruit in my inventory and as you can see, we got fried dough. That's the first ability. Guys, Ziolas juiced me up over here, man. I'm not even gonna lie. That was a crazy juice up. But let's go and test the first ability, fried dough, okay? We got the dough fruit. We gotta master all the abilities. After that, we have to awaken it. All right, come here, Star. Let's go and test the first ability. Yo, what is that donut flying next to you? What the? Bro, what is that? Anyway, let's go and try the first ability right now. Fried dough. Okay, so... Oh my... What the? What the? My hand just imploded and it's fl flaming hot. Okay, let's see. And we shoot it at you and it explodes. That is not bad. I like that ability. Oh, wait, wait. How much damage did it do? Let's see. Let's do it again. And 3,000. Not bad, I guess. But now we have to get the second ability, which is sticky dough. And what even is that supposed to mean? Sticky dough? What the? All right, elephant boss. You're about to die, buddy. Take some of this over here. Yo, okay. All right, elephant. You're about to die right over here. Come on. Is that gonna do enough? No. Bro, these bosses are always Soapy, but come on. No way. All right, come on. This has to be it. This has to be it. And there you go. All right, please. At least give me like 125 mastery. I know I'm being very specific here. Come on, please. Okay, there you go. 100. Okay, we just got two abilities. Okay, you gave me 128. That's more than I expected. Okay, now we got two new abilities. Let's go and test them out. All right, so we're about to test sticky dough for 100 mastery. Let's see what this ability does because I've never used it before. Okay, so three, two. Oh my god, what the? Yo, I just got Spider Man powers. What the? Okay, okay. Anyway, let's go move it and. And what? I just grabbed him and smashed him. What? But that looked really, like, outdated. I wonder what the awakened ability is gonna look like. I'm really excited for that. Wait, let's do it one more time, okay? Let's see. So I have, a, like, a lasso of strings, and I just throw it at him, and... <laughs> What the? That's pretty cool, I guess. Now the next one is a Roller Donut. 50 mastery. So let's go and try this one out. Three, two, one, and... Okay, well, I mean, I'm a rolling donut. That doesn't even look like a donut, though. What the? What, I, what even is that? Look at me spinning around there. <laughs> it's quite fun, though. I'm pretty sure after awakening, it does damage. So we're gonna awaken it. But first, we need to unlock carved dough for 200 mastery. And you already know where we're gonna go for that. Well, we're gonna kill Ligma over here and show our dough powers, okay? So Ligma, are you ready? Come here, buddy. I learned some new powers that I can destroy you. What the? What is he? Huh? This guy's using a glitch or something. Anyway, we gotta defeat this boss, okay? Let's see. All right, come here. We gotta... Grab you. Okay, we're never gonna defeat him with this. I right, come on. That should be last hit. And... What the? What the? What's happening? Okay, okay. This guy is aimbotting. Oh, come on. Okay, there you go. All right, so we started with 129 mastery, and it's gonna give me 164. So we did unlock the next one. All right, now we gotta go to Big Mom because this is literally the best balls to fight because you get the most mastery. So enable Buddha, and let's beat you up. All right, Cake Queen, you're low enough. Now let's use Sticky Dough right here, and is that gonna do enough? Oh, what the? This boss is so tanky. All right, this should be the last ability on Big Mom. There you go. Hey, you're done. There you go. Wait, how many mastery are we gonna get? 164. Five, up until 198. Are you kidding me? We need two more mastery. I guess we'll have to get that from Hydra Town because that boss is kind of easy. Guys, let me know down below. What bosses do you fight for mastery or what do you even do for mastery? Because this is really hard to level up. All right, let's see how much mastery we're going to get. Let's use this one first. Smash him on the ground and there you go. New skill available. And how many? 209. No way. What happened? What happened? Oh, you got the bow drop from the boss. Wait, how, how much percent is that? I think that's like 10% or something. All right, so we Unlocked carved dough. I don't know what this is. It's mastery 200. Let's go and test it out. All right, three, two, one, and go. All right, or wait, that's the wrong one. Okay, this one. Come on, and 
Yo, what? Wait, that just stunned him. So I did like a roller donut, this one, but this one doesn't actually damage. This one is just for movement. But carved though is the roller donut, but like a stun ability in one. That's pretty cool. Let's go and try it one more time because I want to see. Okay, so we roll and once we hit him, we actually like stun him completely. That does 4,000 damage, so pretty good. Now on to the last move, Restless Dough Barrage, and then we can awaken this fruit. A few minutes later. All right, guys, match three, 287, and let's see if we can last shot this boss right now. Oh my God. Bro, Big Mom, you're acting tough, okay? I'm about to grab you over here. Yeah, where are you going, man? Where are you going? All right, do a little bit of that. <laughs> and we have to reload because we don't have an M1 yet. All right, do a little bit of that. All right, that should be it. Wait, I don't even see the HP anymore. Yeah, it's on zero pretty much, okay? There you go. Hey! And 299. Are you serious? Are you? That, that's literally one mastery off. What? I guess we'll have to, like, kill one of these NPCs right here. The ice cream chefs, I guess. Or the non-awakened... <laughs> Whoa, what the... <laughs> what the... I was trying to say is that the non-awakened abilities are kind of weird. Weird, man. I don't know. They just feel like off. Like, they just feel like they're not complete, right? And yeah, they're kind of glitchy as well. And guys, I almost forgot. Dofrit is a loja fruit. So look, they cannot hit me. That is so good for grinding. All right, now give me your match tree because we need it. And there you go. New skill available. We just unlocked Restless Dough Barrage, okay, for 300 mastery. Time to test it out on Star. Okay, let's see. Come on. What is this gonna do? I really wonder. All right, three, two, one, and go. All right. Oh my. Yo. What the? Whoa, 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 whoa. Six thousand damage and that literally just erased his hp bar what the that is crazy i wonder what's that's gonna be awakened okay bro what is this donut flying around here what, what even is this never seen this in my life now anyway now we have unlocked every single ability and unlocked mastery 300 it's time to awaken the fruit now this is no easy job since this is not a normal awakening to be able to awaken this fruit you need to kill the doe king and then unlock the library and the library is located at the cake land and guys here's the clip of when i defeated doe king because i had to grind hours for a god chalice Once once you defeat Doking, you can unlock the library. And then you have to talk to this guy over here. And then you can buy chips for dough rates, which are really expensive. So you guys see all these mythical fruits in my inventory. Well, yeah, I'm gonna have to sacrifice each of every one of them. Well, not every single one of them, but for every single raid. I'm pretty sure I need to sacrifice a million belly fruit. So we're gonna see about that. And once you do all of that, all you have to do is just talk to this guy over here. Then choose advance. And then you have the ability to choose dough. And there you go. Would you like to trade a 1 million physical fruit for a dough special microchip or you can buy them for 1000 fragments every two hours well i would like to trade it and there you go 1000 fragments trade it in but the next trade is gonna be a 1 million fruit all right it's time to awaken though let's go now guys i've never done this raid so i don't know if it's hard or not people say it's really hard so let's see i hope buddha is just gonna be enough all right first island was easy peasy lemon squeezy when well, i just noticed we're fighting on chocolate island right now that's pretty cool i guess and that was cake island we're pretty much fighting on every island of the sea of treats pretty cool i guess oh no they're using dough abilities that's the only difference about this raid and there it is oh my god yeah they can use dough abilities which might be annoying because look at my HP. Oh my god. That might become a problem with the boss. All right, next island. What is this last island? Is this watermelon land or something? <laughs> oh, and there's the boss. Oh no, wait, 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 wait. Bro, hold on. I need to fee for awaken for this. Well, though, boss, let's see if you're actually a match for me, okay? You're not doing much. Okay. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Yo, 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 yo. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Bro, he stunned me for like 10 seconds. But luckily, go v4 is healing me up. So this is an easy job. Wait, star died. No way. Okay, I'm alone in this. Now I need to kill the boss with those. So I need to change fruits right now. Let's see. Bro, 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 what's going on? Okay, I'm, I'm literally dead. I'm literally dead. Okay, I'm literally dead. What the? What is happening? Okay, hold on. Oh, wait, we respawned. What? What's happening? Wait, you can respawn? I have never seen that in my life. Hold on. Let me, let me grab the boss. And there you go. Easy peasy. All right, now let's go to the awakening guy. Let's see. Ascension. Awaken your Z ability for 500. Of course. Let's go. We have the first ability awakened, which is a Z ability missile jab. Let's go and test it out. All right, are you ready? Three, two, one. Oh my, what? Bro, that looks sick. What? Okay, my hand is like animated or something and it's like all drippy. All right, it's time to use it. Three, two, one, and... Yo, what? I just shot into Narnia or something. Like, what even happened? Wait, let's try it from a long distance. Maybe it's like a long distance ability. Like from up here. All right, let's try it again. And... Oh, look at that hand. Okay, three, two, one, and... Bro! I can't even see the fist, but it's somehow hitting him. That is so cool. But now it's time to awaken another one and sacrifice one of my fruits. All right, I have eight quake fruits. All right, there you go. We got a quake fruit and now we're about to turn it in for a special microchip, okay? Bye-bye, quake fruit. All right, we got it. All right, guys, second raid, last island. Let's see how this goes. Last time was really close. Oh my God, what is happening? Okay, we gotta stay away from the boss. Stay away from the boss, bro. Because that guy is overpowered. Bro, stop doing this. It's so annoying. Bro, this boss might be one of the most annoying bosses ever, okay? Oh no, start that again. Okay, I need to be 
careful. I need to be careful here. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, wait. He died again. How does he die? Like, it's some of the boss is stuck. What even is ha- Oh, my God. Bro, bro. This boss is so annoying, man. Okay, let's see. Come on. I need to hit him a few more times. Bro, how is he stuck? He's literally stuck in the air. Okay, this is gonna be easy. All right, a few more. Okay, that should be enough. Bro, stop grabbing me. Come on. Let's go. We got him. Bro, this dough boss is easy peasy. I'm just literally soloing it. And now let's awaken the next ability, which is F for 2000. And I'm pretty sure F is the mobility move. So that's gonna be interesting. All right, here we are. Scorching a donut, it's called now. It, it, it was called rolling donut. Let's go and try it out, okay? So three, two, one, and... Yo! What's... I'm... Bro, I'm taking... Oh my... Yo! I... Wait, I did damage though. Wait. If I... Oh, wait. It does damage? I can't hit it though. Okay, 400. Wait. That's actually pretty... Wait. 400 if I touch him. And wait, I can... I can climb walls? Uh, what? Okay, this is one of the best movement moves ever. And it doesn't stop. It's just infinite. Now my question is, can we... <gasps> No, we can go over water. Okay, this is one of the best fruits I've ever seen. At least the best awakening. Now, I guess we can just climb back up. <laughs> what? That's so crazy. All right, this might be the best movement ability without teleporting with portal. For sure. All right, so now we have three more abilities to awaken. So let's do that. All right, trade another legendary fruit. There you go. And let's start the raid. All right, guys, so raid number three and boss number three. Hopefully, it's not going to be as annoying. The boss is so annoying. I'm telling you. All right, guys, we're about to defeat the boss. Okay, this guy was a little easier right now, actually. Okay, let's go do that. Where's this guy? Where's this guy? Okay, let's grab him. Wait, my ability is not reloaded. What's bro? All right, we're gonna grab him right here and let's go. We got him. All right, guys, it's time to awaken the third ability. Sension, do you wish to awaken your X ability for 3,000 fragments? Of course. And there you go, upgraded for 3,000. Okay, the X ability is called Pastry River now. That's pretty interesting. I'm pretty sure that was the grab ability. So let's go and test it out like this. All right, three, two, one, and... Ooh, what, the, what is this? What am I doing to the ground? Uh, I guess so. And... Yo! Wait, the boss was doing that all the time to me. That was so annoying. It stunned me every time. So I guess I can literally stun anyone I want now like this. <laughs> what? Okay, that is overpowered. And the moves look so good. Like, look at this. Bro. And guys, Rip Indra even said there's gonna be even better fruits in update 20. That's gonna be competing with the dough fruit. Wait, wasn't there a legendary fruit over here? Oh yeah, there's a quake fruit over here on the ground. So let's go and use that for our raid. Another 1 million fruit. Oh my, this hurts a little bit, I guess. All right, guys, all the hard work is done and now we're just... I just need to kill this boss over here. Which, bro, he has no chance. Look at this guy. All right, so now I gotta equip Doe Fruits and kill him with his own power. Oh my god, I missed. <laughs> okay, awaken Doe for his boss. There you go. Hey, buddy. Hey, I can do the same thing to you. Haha. <laughs> okay, buddy. You can do it twice in a row, huh? You have faster cooldown or something. Some cheats. Well, guess what? I'm gonna grab you. I'm gonna destroy you. Just like that. Oh, wait. He's not... Oh, he's not. Okay. There you go. And we earned 1,000 fragments and six minutes left. <laughs> Buddha's just too OP. What can I say? Anyway, let's go over here and awaken the sea ability for 4,000. Oh my god. We only have six. 7,000 left. Wait, do I even have enough? I don't even know. But let's go and test the ability. Oh, yeah. After this one, one more raid. And that's probably gonna be like 5,000 fragments. So it's all good, okay? Let's go and test the ability. It's called Piercing Cloth Slime. I don't even know, to be honest. Alright, so three, two, one. Uh, uh, what is that? Show! What? Bro, that ability is insane. What? Okay, wait, wait, Star, can you do it to me? I wanna see what it looks like. Because I feel like I didn't see much. Alright, are you ready? Oh my god, here comes. Oh my, bro. What? Uh. Uh. What? Alright, that's definitely overpowered. What, what, what even was that? So wait a minute, with my understanding, I can literally grab him with this ability, okay? Do that, and then right after I can do the C move, let's see. Like, bro, okay, that's just overpowered. And then I can grab him, like, then he can dash away. But then we could even grab him with this one. Or maybe we can start with this one. I don't know. I have to figure that out. Now it's time to awaken the last ability, which is a V ability. Another one million fruit. Ah, oh, rip. And there you go. Time for the final awakening. All right, guys. The only thing we have to do is kill this useless boss. Okay, yeah, you can do that, but you can't kill me. But first we have to equip, though, obviously, because otherwise we can awaken. And let's grab him real quick. There you go. Let me, let me literally grab you. Uh, okay, buddy. Yeah, sure, buddy. Sure, buddy. All right. Yeah, he has literally no cooldown. Okay, this boss is crazy. Okay, bro. What? You know what? So let's grab him, and that should be it. There you go. That boss couldn't do anything. And we got 1,000 fragments again. Six minutes left. Let's go. And we're about to awaken though, Philly, okay? Wish to awaken your tap? Uh, but wait, what is tap? What the? I guess so. Wait, ta uh, yeah, sure. What is tap? I, I guess I click? I'm not gonna click yet. I'm gonna test it out. All right, Star, come here, come here. We need to test the last ability. Well, at least, is it the last ability? Wait, no, it's not. V is still not awakened. Wait, so that means we have to do another raid? Wait, what? Anyway, let's go and test this 
path ability, I guess. Okay, so I guess we have to click, like, yo, what? And now we have two donuts floating around us, bro. I'm not hungry. Why are you following me? I don't want donuts, bro. What the? Wait, can we do it again? Can we, like, do that? Wait, 1.7k for a path ability. That's insane. And one more time. And they go away. Intro hey, hey, stop tapping me, bro. Stop. Hey, stop tapping me, man. Here, I'm gonna tap you back, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna tap you back, bro. He's losing his HP. Bro, bro, what? Oh, wait, I guess we have to do another- Wait, is this one awakened? Let's see. I don't think this is awakened version. Yeah, I guess we gotta go another raid. Wait, is this the only fruit required six raids? That is kind of interesting. All right, one more doche for a quick fruit. Is that okay? Yeah, that is. And let's go do the final raid. To fully awaken, though. Now, now this time for real. All right, guys, let's abuse this boss because he's been abusing me for way too long. Uh, we love the Buddha ability because nobody can hit me and I can just literally abuse him. And now the only thing we need to do is just literally Literally slam him on the ground. Throw a little bit of dough on him. Um, yeah, all right, buddy. All right, you're so funny, man. You're so funny. Let me... Hey, hey. That's fun, right? That's really fun, right? <laughs> well, I can do that as well, right? Wait. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Wait, wait. Hey, chill, 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 bro. Chill. All right, let's do that. And come on. That should be it. That should be it. Come on. Come on. Is that it? Okay, that's, that's definitely not it. Maybe this, please. Wait. And let's go. There you go, man. How does it feel being abused? All right, finally time to fully awaken, though. And the V ability for 5,000. Wait, do I have? Oh, my God. I have just enough. I have literally 5,082, okay? <laughs> hey, there goes all my fragments. And now I have 82. Oh, oh no. no. Wait, imagine if I didn't have enough. Then I had to do all over again? Ah, uh, hell no. All right, now it's time to test the last ability. But, guys, after that, it isn't over. So I'm on a mission to take the crown from the cake prince with the awakened, though. All right, let's see this V ability. Okay. Three, two, one, and go. Yo, yo, oh my god, that looks amazing. All right, now I know why this is the best fruit in the game, okay? You get a Z ability, which is a big fist. There you go. You get an X ability, which is literally just stunning someone and just, you know, abusing someone. You get a C ability, which is pretty much the same thing, okay? Like, like, who even wants this, man? You're stunned for like 10 seconds. And then finally, we got the V ability. Yeah, you can't escape, buddy. Yeah, you can't escape, buddy. <laughs> I've seen people abuse this fruit in PvP, and I mean, now I know why it's OP. And the crazy part is, in the update, we're gonna get even more OP fruits, which... That's scary, okay? All right, now my mission is to find a cake prince. I don't know how I'm gonna do this, but hey, let's do it. All right, let's see. And wait, the portal's already open. Wait, 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 wait. We're about to wait. What? Portal's already open. Oh, uh, wait, what? I think I teleported. What's going on? Uh, can I? Oh, there we go. Wait, we can already fight the dough. Wait, wait, wait. We're fighting it. We're fighting. Okay, wait, wait. Oh, chill, 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 chill. All right, guys, we're about to get this king. Wait, where is this guy? Okay, so he's right over here. Okay, so let's go. Wait, he's flying away. Okay. There you go, there you go. Okay, we're fighting the Doe King or the Cake Prince with his own powers, okay? Wait, where's this guy? Where's this guy? Oh, he's right over here, okay? Let's grab him. Let's go. We're fighting the Cake Prince with his own powers, bro. This is crazy. Oh my god. Alright, guys, we're about to defeat Cake Prince with his own powers. This is so cool, bro. Alright, let's do a little bit of that. Oh my god, we just got stunned. Oh, he's right here, he's right here. Let me grab him. Yo, let's go, bro. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, no, 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 no. Bro, he almost got me good. Where is he? Where is he? Okay, he's right there. There you go. Let's stun him again. And let's go grab it. Okay, okay, buddy. Okay, you're done, buddy. Yo. Let's go grab him. Let's do the last bit of HP. Okay, I grabbed him. I grabbed him. Come on. Come on. Kill him, guys. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Oh, no. One more HP. One more HP. Come on. Come on. Oh, my God. I, I got stunned. I got stunned. No, 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 no. No, no, no. And I got him. Let's go! Alright guys, welcome back to another blog fruit video. And in today's video, you guys have been waiting for this, okay? Today, we're gonna be awakening one of the five beasts in blog fruit, okay? There's five beast types in blog fruits. And today, we're mastering one of them. And this is the strongest fruit in the game. But guys, in the last video, we did a rubber fruit. And this was a fruit that has the best ability in the entire game. Like, would you expect that rubber fruit, like a rubber common fruit, has the best ability in the entire game damage wise this ability right here rush does 10,000 damage in one go and it stuns the enemy well you tell me rubber op or not <laughs> rather broken but anyway in today's blocks fruits video we are awakening a fruit that you guys all probably want and it's the leopard fruit okay look at this beast this is the best fruit in the game currently and wait a minute do i smell some dog or something huh what are you doing over here, bro? Look, I have your child in my hands, okay? I'm about to snap it in half and eat it up, okay? But anyway, guys, did you know that leopard is the best fruit as of right now? Like, this is the best, like, overall fruit. That's what it says. And Star says, uh, finally, a leopard. Yes, today is the day. Now, obviously, we're not eating any leopards today, okay? That would be horrible, right? And Star, it's time, okay? It's time to roll a fruit because today we might get the best fruit out of the game, okay? It never happened to me that I rolled a leopard. So let's roll a fruit. 
Come on. Come on. Come on. <sighs> no. Okay. That's that's bad. Okay, that's bad. Okay, you can have it. Okay, come on. What do you have? Light! Okay, guys, I've actually never rolled a leopard. Comment down below if you have rolled a leopard, because I think it's impossible. But guys, it's all good. It's all good, because we're gonna go over here, and we're gonna be buying the leopard fruit permanently, okay? That's gonna be the biggest purchase I've done in the blocks roots. Not to mention, guys, this is the biggest purchase you can do in the entire game, okay? If you guys go right over here, as you guys can see, the fruit under fire is 2.7 thousand Robux. Now, leopard is a little more expensive, okay? Look at this, 3 thousand Robux. This is the most expensive thing you can buy, okay? And as you can see, the mastery levels are pretty alright, like 300 max, that's not even too bad. But guys, today, we're gonna spend 3,000 Robux. Why? Why is it so expensive, okay? There goes three- oh. oh, we got it, man. We got it, we got it. Permanent Leopard activated. And there you go. Leopard Fruit Mastery 1, as you guys can see. So now, we gotta level this all the way up to level 300 so we can transform. Yo, I got a lantern? What do you mean a lantern, bro? What? <laughs> Bro, what? You're just holding a light fruit. Okay, I guess it's- Oh, it does give a little light. <laughs> That's quite funny. But anyway, guys, we need to level this all the way up to 300, okay? And it's not gonna be that hard, okay? But we gotta do it, okay? One of the five beast fruits, and we gotta test the first ability, Finger Revolver, okay? All right, let's see, okay? Star, are you ready, okay? Let's see what this is gonna do, okay? And if you guys are wondering where my V4 goal is, I already mastered Leopard on my main account a long time ago. So yeah, I have to do it on this one. And am I looking good? Am I looking good? Did you guys even notice? this. Anyway, we need to master this all the way up, okay? So let's go and try finger revolver, okay? Let's see. Three, two, one, and... Go. What the? What the? 4k damage? What the? What even was that? I was shooting you like crazy. Hold on a minute. What if I just tap it? Hold on. What happens if I just tap it? Okay, so I just sent one fireball, it looks like. I'm not really sure what I'm shooting, but I'm guessing I'm shooting something. Here we go, like... What even is that? And then boom, the fireball. Oh my, that looks sick. But that's only the first ability on Leopard, okay? Now we gotta go master the next one, which is Spiraling Cake, 50 Mastery. Oh yeah, wait a minute. What if I do it close? Hold on. Let's see. How much damage will it? Oh, it just does a lot of knockback and it does 4.1k. Not too bad. But you guys already know where I'm gonna go, okay? To get this 50 Mastery. We're gonna go to our best friends over here, which are always dying to us, right? The Forest Pirates. And Finger Revolver, let's see. Come on, boom. Let's go. Let's see. Is that gonna give us enough? And there you go. 50 mastery. And we just unlocked Spiral Kick. Wait, should we try it on these NPCs? I kind of want to try it on NPCs. Right, let's see. Let's see. Spiral Kick. Oh my. Wait. What is this pose I'm doing? <laughs> what? Now, pirates, die. What? What the? What was that? I don't know what that was, but let's finish this guy off and boom. And let's try it on Star because that was really weird. All right, the X ability was super strange. Hold on, let's try it, okay? Three, two, one, and <laughs> what is this goofy pose, bro? Anyway, anyway, okay, let's see. What the? Bro, that's sick. It doesn't do that much damage, but that's a sick ability to like knock back someone, right? Like, imagine you're moving around and someone is just chasing you and then you'd like, boom. Yo, what? That's such a sick ability, what? Very good for PvP, I imagine. But now we need to get the next one, which is 100 mastery after Yamaj. Okay, what is that? After image assault. Okay, I'm, I can't read, I guess. And also, guys, I look like Ronaldo. See we. All right, this should be the last one. Come on, die. And there you go. Exactly 100 and new skill available, which is after image assault, all right? Let's go and try this one. All right, let's see what this ability is gonna be, all right? I'm excited, okay? Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Oh my, what the, bro. This kind of seems like dragon abilities or something like that because it has a lot of fire and it spews and I don't know. But that is insane. And it also stunned them again. What is he do? Did he do it? Yo, let's go and try like further distance. Okay, let's try it from here. Oh my, wait, what? Okay, these abilities are pretty insane. They don't do that much damage, but yo, I feel like this is a really good ability to catch someone off guard, all right? So if someone is just standing right there, they don't expect you to attack him. And then you just, a boom. Come here, buddy. It's a really good sneak attack. I guess these abilities are nice and alright, but we gotta unlock Body Flicker and Transformation. That's where we really see the power of the Leopard. So you already know where we're gonna go. Alright, guys, we arrived at the Ice Cream Land. And you guys already know... Wait, wait. She's not here. Are you serious? She's always hiding, man. All right, I called her up and she answered, okay? There she is. She was eating some ice cream again, okay? She's always eating ice cream. But anyway, there is some of this over here, okay? I learned some new skills. Okay, queen, come here. Come here. Come here. I take some of that. There you go. A boom. I really like these abilities, okay? Take some of that as well. Boom. Okay, queen, you're all mine. You're about to die. Come on. Cake over here. There you go. Do a little bit of this. 
And all right, King Queen is low enough, I think. Okay, let's do this. Come on. Come here. You're all gonna be dead, all right? Come on. Boom. Pick her up in there. There you go. Do a little bit of this. Boom. So I don't know what's happening. Okay, there's a lot of explosions going on. There's a lot of things, but one thing is for sure, King Queen is about to die. And take some of that, and you're literally dead, all right? Let's see. How much mastery can we get? We went from exactly 100 to, again, 169, okay? So now we need, like, 31 more for body flicker. And here we are again, K Queen. We meet again, and you're again low. So, you know, okay, Ving Revolver. Kick, all right? Do this one over here. Boom, 11,000 combo over here. Okay, okay. Not too shabby. Do a little bit of that. Also use a little bit of God Human, obviously. Okay, there you go. Come on, come on, come on. Do this. Okay, there you go, there you go, there you go. Boom. Uh, wait. No! I killed her with God Human. Oh, I didn't see the HP. Bruh. All right, guys, finally, we got her all the way up to 1 HP. And now she's about to die, right? Bring her both for a boom. All right, kick her up. There you go. Boom, do this. All right, come on, come on. Finish your off, and there you go. Okay, 170, and we're gonna go up to 199, bro. It's like one NPC, all right, let's go. You're the unlucky NPC, all right? Boom, and you're dead. A new skill available. All right, guys, so we unlock the body flicker, which is a mastery 200 ability, okay? Right before transformation. All right, let's see how much damage it's gonna do, okay? Three, two, one, and... <laughs> Oh my god, I kicked him again! Wait, isn't this supposed to be the movement ability? Yeah, F is usually the movement ability, but it's not really, right? So, wait, what if I tried from that distance, like this? What the- That looks sick! Wait a minute, it bounced around a little bit. Can I do, like, can I bounce off the walls? Uh, no. That's a pretty good movement ability, okay? 2.7k damage without transformation is really good. Look at that. Oh my god. And I knock him back, so nice. But now, guys, it's time to unlock transformation and see the real power of the leopard fruit. So, big mom, prepare. Alright, guys, we get up to mastery 283, and surprisingly, leopard is really good at fighting bosses. So, look at this. I can just stun the bosses all the time, like... Bro, it's so good. Come here, gay queen. You're about to die. And with the god human, bro. She is chanceless. Is that even a word? Chanceless? Yeah, she doesn't have a chance, all right? Then revolver. Do a little bit of this. Kick you around, all right? I feel like a football player, bro. I can just kick her around and stuff like that. I mean, I guess gay queen is super, super low. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this gay queen thinking she can't do anything. But hey, King revolver. Body flick. Do this. And last one. Come on. Bro, bro. She's a... She survived that? What? There's no way, okay? Come here. And there you go. 295, okay? So one more boss. And I already know which boss we're doing, all right? Ah, there you go. Should be right over here. And there is a llama, okay? Come here, buddy. You're the last boss I need to fight to unlock my true powers of the leopard, okay? And you're gonna help with that, all right? You're gonna help with getting me the true powers, all right? So come here. Here you go. Do a little bit of that. Oh, did I miss? Oh my god, I missed. No, 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 no. Okay, come on. Do this. Do that. Yo, there we go. kick your way. Do that. Yo, the abilities are so good. I'm telling you, man. I right, literally one HP and well, wait. And there you go. You're dead. Okay, mastery 302 and new skill available. And we're gonna try it out, right? Leopard transformation, the strongest fruit in the game. And there you go. We're back in the mansion because we need to try it out. Okay, mastery 300, the best fruit in the game currently. Okay, let's see. And I already read about it. Okay, it supposedly does damage when you transform. Okay, so we're gonna stand right here and with one. What the? Wait, was that laggy or... I don't know, but look at that. We became the ultimate leopard. Now, why do I have pants on, bro? Like, what? I don't have a shirt, and then I randomly have, like, pants. Like, what? So look at that. Look, my arms, bro. I am the strongest, all right? And supposedly... Wait, what? Bald? Bro, he is bald. I mean... What other leopard has hairs? I mean, do leopard has- Oh, wait, you do have hair. Wait, oh, because you normally- Wait, that's your equipped hair. Bro, why am I bald? Haha, <laughs> bald, bro, don't make fun of me, man. Leopards that don't have hair are also really good, all right? You'd be surprised because take some of this, buddy. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Leopard versus leopard, you are not making a chance. We will do that in a second, right? First, we need to try the abilities, okay? Finger revolver didn't seem that much different. But I hear that these abilities are way different, okay? So, we're gonna try spiraling kick, okay? Three, two, one, and... Okay, so it does more damage and it's more speed, right? So 4k damage, okay. It, it goes way farther, right? Now we're trying to see ability, okay? Let's see. Okay. I guess that's... Oh, wait. Why am I... I'm on fire! What the... Bro, what? Why was I on fire? Wait a minute. I need to try it again. Let's see. Look at that. I'm on fire. And I'm speed. I have speed. Look at that. And wait a minute. The dash is also way different. Look at that. 
The dash is like super weird. And I feel so fast. I'm not even joking. Oh, wait. I can jump super high. What the? Okay, bruh. The leopard is insane. But now let's go and try body flicker. Let's see what this does. Okay, let's see. What the? Wait, was that the same? Okay, let's go and try it from a distance. Um, Like that. There we go. Let's see. Okay, you can reach it. But it does look like I have more range. Okay, so let's see. Boom. Wait, 3.3k. It does do much more damage. It did like 2.7k before. And did you know that the leopard fruit is one of the fruits used to become the fastest in the game? Yeah, and Star can actually showcase that because... Wait, where, where is he? Oh, he's right there. So as you guys can see, Star has mink, but I don't think I can... Okay, you can't see it in leopard, but he has mink, okay? And if you have mink and the pilot helmet mixed together with the mink v3 ability... And if you use them all together with the flame ability, which is this one? Yeah, this one. You'll become the fastest in the entire game. So start, do it, and let's see how faster you are, okay? Oh my, bro, bro. He's Speedy Gonzalez, bro. Bro, what is that? Oh my god, that is so fast. Yo, what the? All right, but are you ready to 1v1, okay? Leopard versus Leopard to finish this off. Duo versus Duo, okay? That versus Alive, because I'm gonna be the one alive, okay? Come here, buddy. Yeah, there you go. We're already starting, okay? Are you okay? Come here, come here, buddy. Yo, yo. Okay? Boom. No, 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 no. Yo. I think he's low already, buddy. I think he's... Oh, I got it with that. What? Okay, come on. Hey, what do you think you are? We, 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 we. We go, we go. Okay. Oh, I got him, bro. Hey, yo. I defeated Star, okay? The Leopard main with my own skills. GG. Yeah, that was a good fight, to be honest. And it's actually really nice because you can also become the fastest. Yo, what are you doing, bro? Bro, 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 bro. Yo, you forgot about the M1 move? Wait, which M1 move? There's no way this has an M1. Wait. What? Bro. What? Wait, I actually forgot that it has an M1 move. I'm not even joking. I used this rule before, but I forgot. And did you guys know that Roar instantly breaks Instinct V2? Yeah, so if Star enables Instinct V2, Observation V2, I can do three hits and then the fourth one does the Roar, right? Or wait, maybe not. Wait, where's the Roar at? Wait, there you go. This one. And now... It has disabled observation. So it's a really good move. All right, guys, we're back in the main account, as you guys can see. Because here, as you can see, I have pilot helmet. I have goal fee four. And I have all the things needed to become fast, okay? So do you want to race a bit? All right, let's see. All right, so are you ready for a race? Ming v4 versus goal v4 race, okay? Okay, three, two, one. Enable this. Do this. Come on. Come on. Where are you? Where are you? Yo. Yo. Oh, my God. Bro. Yo. What the? Uh, okay, okay, okay. As you can see, Goal V4 is almost as fast as Ming. Okay, that is just insane. It literally has God Speed. Look at this. It literally has God Pro. And not to mention, guys, we can skedaddle out of here with Blackbird, okay? Get out of here, man. Get out of here. Come on. Fast. There's a total of five rarities for swords and block shoots. There are common swords, uncommon, rare, legendary, and mythic swords. And recently, I mastered every single mythical sword in the entire game. And there's a total of five mythical swords and block shoots, okay? We got a Hell Sight, we got the Curse of Katana, True Turbo Katana, Dark Blade, and the Triple Dark Blade. And so I made a little compilation for you guys to see how I obtained these swords and how I mastered them. Because some were pretty hard to get, alright? Now, like the video, sit back, and enjoy the video. Alright, guys, this is gonna be one of my most special videos on block shoots because as you know i'm trying to become the best the strongest alive in block shoots and as you know we've literally mastered and tested out every single fruit in the entire game and most of them i have permanent okay like literally like 95 percent and also we're doing the swords now but we're only missing like a few swords one of them being the strongest sword in the entire game which i have not done before and this sword has a special puzzle now it's not like the dark blade it's kind of different right the dark blade v3 is also super hard to get but in today's video we're gonna be mastering the cursed duo katana the sword is made out of the yama and the tushira sword two very cursed swords and block shoots and you also will need them to even get the cursed duo katana and this will make me officially the strongest person alive well kind of now first thing first maybe you guys already know this but i actually do already have the tushira sword all the way up to mastery 350 all right and i kind of don't know why i have this i did it a long time ago but you also will need 350 
Ashri and both swords, Yama and Tushida, to even start this puzzle. And now we also have the Yama sword right here, and it also has above 350 Mastery. So we're pretty much ready to do the puzzle of the Cursed Duo Katana. Now this puzzle can take hours upon hours. It, this can literally take days. But I'm gonna be attempting to do it within one try, literally like in one go. Wish me luck. Now obviously guys, this is one of the five mythical swords in Block Shoots, and it's the only one that has a puzzle to obtain it. And we're gonna get started with the puzzle. Also, before I forget, you have to be level 2200 to even start this quest. Now luckily, I'm max level, so that's gonna be no problem. Now also, if you guys don't know how to get Yama, in order to obtain Yama, you have to talk to this guy over here, the Elite Hunter. This guy will send you up to kill 30 Elite Pirates. And if I click on progress, as you can see, I have 60 of them defeated. And I'm pretty sure you only need 30 of them to unlock the Yama Sword. After you defeated all these Elite Pirates, you have to go to the secret waterfall in Hydra Island and go through the secret door. Which is right over here, and there will be a lot of ghosts over here. They're trying to kill you. As you can see, the Yama Sword is right there in a stone. You just have to pull it out after you kill all these ghosts. Hey, don't kill me now. What the heck? Get out of here. Wait, the door is locked. What the heck? Wait, get me out of here. Now, for the Tushida sword, you have to go over and summon Rip Indra. While you summon Rip Indra right here with a god Shellis, you have to be quick. And you have to go back to the same secret entrance you got the Yama with. But this time, there's another secret passage that opens. And let's get all these ghosts out of here. And then when you go all the way up right here, let's see. Is this open? Come on. Oh, I don't think it's open. Oh, it's open. Okay. Now you're in a secret cave, and then this door will be open if Rip Indra is spawned. And once you go through that, you have to light some torches at Turtle Island. And that's how you get to Shira. So, yeah, it's kind of hard. Now, after you've done all of that, you have to master both of these swords to 350 mastery, and then you can start getting the Cursed Duel. And of course, we got Starveer, okay? And uh, uh, I already see that, man. I already see that. You got a Cursed Duel. All right, buddy. I'm going to be getting that as well, okay? I'm going to become even more OP. Even though I only have one. One sword right now, which is pretty much the same sword. Look at that. It, one of them is Yama. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah. Right here you can see that. Yama and Tushida both together forms the Cursed Duo. But now, I'm gonna start a quest and I'm actually gonna get it. You are never going to get it. Haha. <laughs> Bro, what? I'm gonna I'm gonna get it. What What are you talking about? I literally got every single sword so far. Like, every mythic, hollow sight, true triple. Like, you don't even have hollow sight. Like, what are you even talking about? You're just talking crap, right? But now, come here and roll fruit, okay? Because we still didn't roll fruit, okay? So let's go roll fruit. Let's see if luck is with us, I can actually go ahead and get this sword, okay? Please! Oh my- oh no, no, no! Alright, uh, I might not even get this sword today. This is bad. Alright, but now to start this quest, we're pretty much at a location, okay? We have to go to this tower behind the mansion. And I'm pretty sure on the left side, we will find an NPC. Oh, there he is. The Crypt Master. What is he about to say? Have you seen the entrance behind this building? It feels cursed. No, I haven't. I think you can handle it. I can open the way for you if you want. Uh, okay. It should be open now. Good luck in there. Um, alright. Thanks, I guess. At the back of this thing, where is this? Th oh, I see the- Oh my- god. Okay, um, let's go in, okay? Let's see. Oh, what is this place? Why is it filled with skeletons and some cursed-like drawings? What is that? Oh, wait a minute. I see a scroll right here, and I see a scroll right here, and I can interact with it. All right, here we go, guys. Oh, the Yama scroll. Pain and suffering, haze of misery, and fear the reaper. First trial. Pain and suffering. Um, now what? How do I even know? Wait, wait a minute. Did these lanterns just turn red? Why are these? Oh, oh, this is the angel side, and this is the evil side. It was like a spirit fruit room, to be honest. Now, apparently, we have to have the Yama sword equipped for this and die to an NPC? Like, what? I guess that's why it's called the Haze of Misery, so uh, mythological pirates, you know, you can just hit me. Apparently, we just gotta get hits until we get some kind of fragment. For sure, it's called the Alucard Fragment. It's like a red shard. Now, I'm not getting anything so far. Do I have to, di <gasps> have to die? Wait, maybe I have to hold the Yama Sword. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Obtained the Alucard Fragment. The scroll reacts to your achievements. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Do I have to go back now? What the heck is this thing? I guess one quest already completed and five more to go. All right, we're back at the scroll. Let's see. Interact. Okay, so we just done Pain and Suffering. Now, time to do Haze of Misery. Okay, second trial. Haze of Misery. Okay, what? Oh, why is everything foggy? What the heck? Wait, everything is foggy now. What the heck? What happens? Now, guys, I'm on the wiki, and it says the player vision will fog, and a purple marking will appear on a group of NPCs. The player will have to kill the group that has currently the marking. Interesting, so we have to find groups with purple markings. Once killed, the marking will be switched to that different one, and the player will have to kill these instead. This continues for a while and can take long until the fog stops. Wait, what? So we have to find purple NPCs or something? Are these? Oh, these have purple markings. What the heck? Come here, buddy. I need to kill you. Wait, and this guy doesn't? Wait. 
Uh, wait, this guy doesn't. Wait, what? Do I still have to kill this guy, though? Um, I have no clue. One of them had it. I'm not completely sure. Does this guy have it? This guy also doesn't have it. Wait, what? Was it just one NPC? All right, let's see. Oh, I see some purple markings. There you go. So all of them have the purple markings. So I guess I have to kill all of them and then go on to the next group, okay? So come here, buddy. Give me your purple marking, okay? It's like a purple thing. And when I kill them, it disappears. Um, wait, why does it disappear? Do I have to still kill all of them? This is so weird and so confusing. All right, that should be all of them. There you go. Everyone is dead. Okay, where are the pineapples? And these NPCs have it as well. What? Does just every NPC have it? I, I mean, I guess so. Easier for me. Okay, and these NPCs don't have a purple thing. Okay, so I don't kill these, I guess. Oh, and the fishmen have it also. Okay, so let's kill the fishmen. And that should be it for Turtle Island, maybe? I have no clue. I'm just killing all of them. There you go. I found some more at Hydra Island. Not all of the NPCs have the purple markings. Like, I have to find them, which is kind of annoying. I guess that's gonna slash them up really quick. And not every single one of them has them. Come here, buddy. Take some of this. There you go. And stop hiding, you stupid, okay? Let's get that one. This guy also has purple. Die. Every purple guy has to die. Die, okay? There you go. Take some of this. And take some of this, okay? You're dead. Okay, this one doesn't have it. And this one also doesn't have it. This is so weird. Now, where do I go next? To these? Let's see. Do oh, these have it as well. Okay, die. Come on, there you go. You're dead. Okay, these one have it as well. Come on. Now you have to die as well. I'm about to hire bounty hunters to literally hunt them down, okay? Everyone with purple markings have to die. Take this and take this. You're dead. Oh, and these ghosts have it as well. What the heck? I did not expect that. I'm glad I checked her. Okay. Come on, you go ahead and die real quick. Die. And these were all of them. Okay. One more, there you go. And that's all. Let's get out of here. Where's the next group? You all are going to die. Okay, I'm at Haunted, and all of the skeletons at Haunted have it. Okay, okay. So I just gotta kill all of them. Buddha transform, and come here, buddy. Let's lure all of them together, and let's just uh, slaughter them, you know? And there you go. Everybody is dead. Okay, perfect. Wait, come on, can I pray? Come on. Ah, uh, nothing. Unlucky. Let's see, do these have it? Okay, these don't have the purple markings. What the heck? And then these maybe, these also don't have it. Maybe downstairs. Okay, the downstairs ones have it. The possessed mummies. You're all going to die. Die. You're already a mummy, but you're gonna die again, okay? Take some of this, buddy. Yeah, take some of the god human, okay? Oh, I can even see through the walls who have the purple markings. Look at that. The living zombies, all of them have it. And look who we got here. The living zombies, all with a purple marking. You already know what's gonna happen to you, okay? Everyone is gonna die. Okay, you're gonna die, you're gonna die, and you're gonna die. Just like that. And everybody's dead. Now, on to the next one. At the grade three, and everybody has a purple marking, okay? Perfect. And it's still so foggy, bro. The fog is making me crazy, bro. Get the fog out of here. I don't want it to be foggy anymore, man. Come on. And die so the fog can disappear, please. Oh, there you go. All the card fragment. Okay, we've gotten all of them. There we go. Finally. Oh my god, that took a while. And I didn't even go through all of the islands, so that's kind of weird. But I will take that, all right? All right, let's go back to this cursed place. Let's see what is next. Okay, let's see. Yama scroll. Okay, the next one is Fear the Reaper. Third trial. Now, what do we do? Wait, how does anyone figure this out on his own? Like, how do you know what Fear the Reaper is? Like, what? How do you do this without an explanation? Like, bro, there's no way someone did this without an explanation. Like, I don't believe it. But apparently, we have to spawn in a soul reaper and then get killed by it and then we get teleported into a place called hell like bro what yeah this is getting more interesting and more interesting but we have to go to this death king npc to roll some spins okay because this guy will give us a hollow essence to spawn the boss in and look at that first try. This was my first roll. I, I, what? Um, I, I'll take that, I, I guess. I've been saving up bones for this. Like, don't get me wrong. Look at this. 4,000 bones. Because I knew this was gonna take a while. But I guess I got lucky. Dude, I've never gotten this lucky before. I'll take it. Wait, wait. I don't even know what I'm doing. Let's go back and spawn the boss. Okay, there you go. Spawn it in. Our unknown being has entered this world. And now, let's go die to the boss. Yeah, for the first time, I'm not gonna kill you, okay? You can kill me, okay? Yeah. Just slash me up, alright? Yeah. Just, just do it, okay? I'll accept my fate, okay? I'll accept it. Loading. What the heck happened? And now he's... Oh. Oh. Uh, what is this? Hell dimension? Bro, uh, where am I? And why can I see a single thing? Like, why is it so dark? Uh, and now I have to find torches, it seems like. Light torch? Let's see. What does this do? Oh. Oh, buddy. Okay. Okay, chill. What did I do? Did I... I just light the torch. Are you after me? Okay, I guess if you're after me, I have no choice. But to defeat you, okay? Come here, buddy. You are nothing, okay? You are literally nothing. I'm gonna slash you up like that. There you go. And you're dead, okay? Um, yeah, that wasn't even a challenge. Where's the next one? Okay, wait. Oh, these are hidden in like the rocks. They're camouflaged and it's so dark, so I can barely see that, okay? Let's light them as well. Okay, now you didn't get me. I'm fully alert, okay? I'm gonna be slashing you up and I'm gonna be getting the curse duo katana, okay? People are doubting me, but I'm gonna get it, okay? Now you're all gonna be dead like that and where's the last one? Because I really can't find it. Maybe right behind here? No. Wait, does this lava damage me? Okay, this lava luckily doesn't damage me. Wait, where's this last one? I can't find it. Um, guys, where do you find the last one? Where, where is it? No, no, I actually can't find it. Where, where's, where the heck is this? 
interesting. Um, oh, I find it. What the heck? Okay, this one was crazy. I couldn't find this one, okay? Spawn it in. Okay, I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm dying. No, no, no. Oh my god. Oh, I almost died. Just because they caught me off guard, okay? But now you're all gonna die, okay? Now you're all gonna die, okay? Let me heal up. Let me do that. And you're all gonna be dead, all right? Wait, there's one tanky one. What the heck is that? Wait, who is this guy? Um, apparently this guy has Dark Blade V2. Okay, I gotta be careful. I gotta be careful, okay? Let me slash this guy out like that. Come on. V4 transform. Yeah, but you're gonna have it easy, okay? Take some of this and take some of that. And now literally die. Just like that, okay? You're dead. And now oh, the portal has opened. And now we just gotta go through this portal and let's see. Oh, there you go. Alucard fragment has been obtained. The scroll reacts to your achievements. And that is the third fragment. Now let's go back to the scroll because what's gonna happen now? Interact, let's see. The scroll bursts into flames and disappears. Wait, it disappeared. What? Uh, is that supposed to happen? Um, Please tell me so, okay? There you go. And now we have another scroll, which is the two Cheetah scroll, right? Yeah. Dog, Legend, Sense of Duty, and Soulless. All right, let's go and start this one as well. First trial. Dog, Legend? What is that supposed to mean? All right, Dog, Legend is talk to three different boat dealers in three different islands and select Pardon Me. And on the last page of the boats. Oh, easy. Don't have to ask me twice. And I'm pretty sure there's one on the turtle entrance, okay? Am I right? Yes, there's a boat dealer over here. Okay, let's see. Is it this one? Let's see. Next. Next. Oh, pardon me. Okay, let's see. Boom. Hey, traveler, I recognize you. It's pleasant to see a familiar face around here. Yay, what's up, buddy? Okay, that was one. Now, maybe Cakelan has one? I'm pretty sure it does, right? Yeah, there you go. Next, next, next. And there you go. Pardon me. Okay, let's see. Another one. All right, there you go. That's two. Let's see. Let's go portal now. That's the block tree dealer. Now, here's the luxury boat dealer. Next, next, and pardon me. And boom. All card fragment update. Wait, bro. Curse duel is easy so far. I already have four fragments. Is this a joke to you guys? <laughs> like, what? So far, I'm getting the curse duel within five minutes, okay? So, watch me, all right? All right, next trial, come at me, bro. Okay, second trial, there you go. Sense of duty, bro. How does anyone figure this out without an explanation? Like, sense of duty, what does that even mean? Maybe Dark Legend, I would understand. What is sense of duty? Oh, apparently it's kill a pirate in a pirate raid in the castle on the sea. Oh, well, I mean, how do I even spawn a pirate raid? I, I can't, I, I literally can't. So now I just gotta wait until a pirate raid comes and I can actually defeat it. Oh, man. I guess this is the hardest one so far, just waiting for a pirate raid. What? Okay, not really. The purple ones were a little harder because of the fog, okay? But now, I guess we just wait. Oh, and guys, while waiting, I just realized, look at this. Alucard Fragment. It's kind of like the Dark Fragment and Mirror Fractal, but it's a, like a red shard, and I have four of them. So, two more to go, and I have enough for the Cursed Duo Katana. Not too bad. Now, this is one of my biggest videos so far, so if you guys want any of these perm fruits on the screen, make sure you like the video, subscribe, and let me know which one is your favorite. I'm gonna choose one winner for this video. Now, I'm gonna be, um, waiting, I guess. Oh, a block has spawned in the game. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. Yeah, guys, I'm waiting and I literally noticed that. Okay, yes, yes, okay. But where is this thing? I'm pretty sure it's Port Town. Um, it is. Okay. Please be a mythical fruit. I haven't found a mythical fruit in ages, okay? Please. Uh what? I literally rolled a chop fruit in the beginning of the video. Bro, I am cursed. Throw this in the ocean. I don't want to see this fruit anymore. I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. Throw it. Throw it. Get away! I hope it never comes back, bro. Oh, the pirates have been spotted approaching the castle. Okay, it's finding time. It's finding the time. One of the last quests to unlocking the best sword in the entire game. Okay, they're raiding the castle now. Let's see. Come on. Okay, how many do I have to kill? Do I have just to kill one? Just like that? Okay, no, definitely not. I probably have to kill the last pirate. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's the guy. All right, come here, buddy. Take some of my god human. Just like that. Just like this. And you're gonna be dead. Three, two, one. Boom. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Alucard fragment obtained. And we got a key kilo fruit. Okay, yeah, that's that's cool, man. That's cool. What is this curse? Get me out of here. Right, now we're going back to the secret place just to finish this quest off, all right? All right, let's see. Interact. Now, the last one is soulless. So let's see. Third trial, soulless. All right, there you go. Now that's gonna be the last one. So we can obtain six Alucard fragments to obtain the curse duo. Okay, I, I, I don't see a curse duo around here, but let's go and do this last quest. Dang, apparently for this one, we have to kill K-Queen in under two minutes. And after we punch K queen for the first time, a song is gonna play. And then we'll have two minutes to defeat her. What's the best sword to do it with? Okay, let's see. I'm pretty sure my Dark Blade has insane damage. All right, so I'm equipping Dark Blade, Pal Scarf. Let's see. All right, K-Queen, you're dead, okay? Okay, let's get started. Oh, I heard the song. I heard the song. Okay, come on. We have to be fast. We have to be fast, okay? Wait, I don't have points on sword. I don't have points on sword. Oh my, I just realized. I just realized I don't have points on sword. Oh my. No, this is so stupid. This is so stupid. No, 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 no. I'm not gonna get it. I'm not gonna get it. No. I forgot. Oh my god, you got a fighting style glitch. What the heck? I have like crazy aura. Oh my god, okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Probably like one more minute. Come on, we have to do this. We have to do this. Come on, come on, come on. All right, she's getting low. She's getting low. K-Queen, come on. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. No. How does she hit me? Come on. 
Please, faster. Come on, no. We're gonna be on time. I don't know. I don't know. Come on. No. Why do you dog back me so much? Come on, please. 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 Come on. Am I on time? I still heard the song. I still heard the song. Oh. Can we do it? Oh, loading. Okay, okay, okay. What is this heavenly dimension? Wait, so first we were in hell and now we're in heaven. Oh my god. So this is what heaven looks like? Amazing. Okay, where's the torches? Okay, so we have to find torches again. Uh, I don't see any. Oh, I found one. Okay, there we go. Light torch. And now dash back. Okay, yeah, I already know what's going on here. You guys trying to ambush me, right? Well, there's no problem for me, okay? Let me dash you and slash you up. Ha, <laughs> rookie skeletons, right? And now we have to find two more torches, okay? Where do we find these? And maybe somewhere around here. They're usually on like rocks, right? I don't see. Maybe in the plant here. I don't I don't see anything over here. Let's see. Oh, I found another one. Okay, there you go. Light the torch. Dash back. Yeah, I already know what you guys are planning. We're about to unlock the curse door. Okay, come on, come on. This is gonna be the last one. Okay, there you go. All of them are dead. And now the last torch is hey, right over here. I found it. I'll light it up and oh, uh, what the heck? Is there like a light boss or oh, there's a boss. What the heck? Okay, let's get everyone. How does this boss look like? Let's see. Oh, what is that? Does he have angel v4? Oh, he doesn't even have angel. Does he? Wait, what? What are these wings? Angel v5? Oh, I'm getting smashed. I'm getting smashed. Okay, wait. Angel, I'm sorry, buddy, but you're gonna die, okay? You're gonna die. Bro, he's doing no damage, bro. He's doing moves, but he's doing absolutely no damage, bro. Is this really what Curse Duel is? Like, these bosses are not even doing damage. You made me slash it, dash it up. Ugh, come on. There you go. Die, and he's about to die. It looks pretty good, though, you know, with the angel thing, with the flying... Okay, anyway. Hey. Oh. Why did it look like I died? <gasps> what? Okay, that was really weird, but the heavenly portal opens, and we're going to heaven... Finally, and there you go, obtained Alucard Fragment. That is gonna be the last one. And now, what do we do now? Let's see, talk to the scroll. Oh, it disappears, okay. It bursts into flames and disappears. And now what? Wait, do I have to go to this thing? Oh, oh, there's a parasol. Okay, interact. Question mark, question mark, question mark. The six shards of the legendary Alucard. Oh, fragment react to the each. Oh, what is happening? Uh, the door is opening. What is this? Oh, oh, oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. I'm locked, I'm locked. I'm locked with this cursed skeleton boss. What is this guy doing? Oh, it looks like he has the cursed duel. So I guess we have to beat this guy to get the cursed duel. Hey, bad. Say no more. <gasps> oh, wait, he's immune? Um, wait, let me try again. Wait, I can't hit him? What the heck? I definitely have my aura activated. Why can't I hit this guy? Activate your aura ability to deal damage. Bro, I have it activated. Uh, is this bugged, guys? I don't even understand what's happening. Why can't I hit this guy? Oh. What? I've officially bugged the game. I don't know what's going on. Come on. Maybe even Buddha transformation. Let's see. I still can't hit this guy. Um, guys. Maybe if I turn my hockey off. Let's see. Can I hit this guy now? I still can't hit this guy. Um, what? Why can't I hit it? Okay, guys. It's bugged. It's bu it literally bugged. Do I have to just die to this guy? Like, all this work for nothing? All this work to just die and not get a curse duo? What? No, no. But, like, seriously. I, I can't hit him. I, I, like, literally can't hit him. I, I guess we die? Like... What? I, I I guess we we die. Wait, but can I even still get it? No, 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 don't tell me, don't tell me. Come on, get up, get up, get up, quick, quick, quick. Let's see, come on. Oh, can we just refight him? Oh, we can. Okay, perfect. Now hockey enable, and let's see. Oh, uh, I I still can't damage him. Uh, I still can't damage him. Uh, I guess let's die again. Uh, I mean, I, I literally can't damage him. Like, oh, guys. Oh, oh, oh. I did not read one thing, okay? But who, who knows this? Who knows this? You have to kill the boss with Tushita or Yama. Otherwise, it takes no damage. But why does it say that I need hockey on? Like, it doesn't make sense. Anyway, let's go spawn it in once again. Open the door and it's open. And now I can damage him. Let's see. Oh, now I can damage him. But it doesn't say. Like, look, if you hit him, it just says it's immune to physical attacks, which is not the case. So, in my opinion, this should be changed, like the error message, because it's not clear what you're doing wrong. But anyway, I guess I found out what's going on, and now I just gotta slash him and dash him, and then we're getting the curse duel. Come on. Alright, come here, buddy. You are nothing, okay? This Sushida sword is gonna slash you, dash you, take some of this, there you go, and the skeleton is gonna be dead within a second, alright? This is one of the strongest bosses, I guess, because this has the curse duel. I'm gonna take that curse duel, and it's gonna be mine. So, die, and he's... Oh, look at my sword. What the heck just happened to... Oh! Oh my god, obtained the cursed duo katana. Oh my god. And what is this cursed skeleton doing over here? What do you think you are, buddy? Oh, I'm fighting with a cursed duo. Oh my god. Yo. Yo, what are these cursed skeletons doing here? Oh my god. Yo, chill. Chill, buddy. I'm gonna slash you guys all up, all right? Yeah, take some. Oh, they are tanky. Why are they so tanky? Oh, uh, guys, I have a problem over here. Wait, can he, can he even hit me? Oh, oh, they can, they can, they can, they can. Chill, 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 chill. Wait, wait, wait. Go before? Come on. Can I even defeat these guys? Like, what? Everybody die. Wait, I'm not getting any mastery by this. What? Wait, 
They're infinitely spawning. I, I need to get away. I need to get away. Yo, yo, yo. Get me out of here. They're infinitely spawning. All right, there you go. Oh my god. Look at that. The cursed duo katana. I unlocked it. Oh my god. After so long. Okay, let, look at that. Cursed duo katana. Wait a minute. Why is it not next to my mythical swords? Ah, I have to upgrade his sword. Yes, that's what we also gotta do. And oh, oh, look at this. Look at the aura. I feel so powerful already. But we will have to unlock both abilities, okay? Revolver Ravager and Slayer of Goliath, which is the 375? That is so much mastery! Oh my god, that's gonna take so long again! And look who is here! Look look at my swords, buddy! I got the curse too, okay? You were doubting me, you were doubting me, okay? You said I wasn't capable of getting it. How? Well, easy job, bro. I, I got it in like two hours or something. So fast? Yeah, right? I got it in like less than two hours. It was crazy. I got a hollow essence first try. That's right. Oh, huh? yeah, that's right, buddy. Uh, but anyway, we have to master this sword, all right? And check the damage. Oh, you already probably know the damage, but I don't know the damage. Oh, oh look at these slashes. They look sick. You need to buy a lottery ticket. Uh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> you're right, to be honest. Getting Hollow Essence first try is crazy luck. But let me roll a fruit real quick, because I can probably roll one already, okay? It's been a while, okay? It's been a minute. Let's see. Can I roll fruits? And I can, and, and, uh... Uh, uh, here, take that, take that, take that. I don't want that. There's a second kilo fruit I got today, bro. I swear, if you got a kilo fruit as well. Oh, no, 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 no. Drop it. Oh, oh you drop. Hey, yo. Get a Buddha fruit. Yo. Oh, my God. Look at that. No Buddha fruit, bro. That is insane. Anyway, let's go ahead and check the damage. Because I'm excited, right? This is supposed to be the best sword in the entire game. I cannot store it. You have it. Um, Yeah, sure. I have enough storage. I can, I can store it. Why not, man? Here, store that real quick. There you go. Don't mind if I do. But let me equip Pal Scarf and let's check the damage, right? Three, two, one, and go. 2.7, ooh, 2.6k with level 1 mastery. That is some pretty good damage, I'm not gonna lie. But I wanna have more damage, right? So Blacksmith upgrade the best sword of the game. How much is this gonna cost? Oh, uh, 6, okay, enough. And I need 4 of these too. What are these two? Like, um, how do I get these? And it only gives me a 7% damage increase? That is very little. But we have to get it, alright? Now, where do I even get teeth? Like, um, what? But these mythological pirates give the teeth. I have to fight these. Let's see. Wait, 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 wait. I need to try it. How does Curse Duel look with the Buddha glitch? Let's see. Oh my god. No. The Curse Swords with the Buddha glitch. This looks insane. Yo, this is the sickest it will look, okay? Oh my god. Okay, let's slash him up and we can also get some mastery. Okay, okay. But the main objective is these teeth, all right? So give me that, give me that. For sure there's more over here. There you go. Dude, I feel so powerful. Oh, and we got a new skill available. Wait. Oh, we already got enough? By just killing these, like, I'm trying to get these teeth. These materials. I, I guess I can get that. Let's go use the ability. Let's see what the damage is like okay let's see three two one and oh my god oh my show 5.7k damage 5.7 thousand damage and that was revolving ravager oh my god tap it wait tap it oh like what okay let's see I, I hold it in yeah okay let's see tap it that was kind of the same thing, but then less damage, I guess. Only if I, like, do it next to you like that, you get damage, you see? But other than that, it's pretty much the same thing. Okay, that damage is insane, though. I cannot wait for Slayer of Galia to unlock the full potential and upgrade the sword to max level. First, I need the materials to upgrade the sword, okay? So, pirates, give me some materials, all right? Stop stalling already. All right, and there you go. Obtain mini tusk. That's the last one. All right, so now we can go back and upgrade the sword. And uh, where is Star Dude? What the heck did you just get? Is that a new fighting style? What the heck? Oh my god. That looks insane. Zeus race V4? Bro, bro, what? That's not Zeus. What? All right, anyway, let's go on and go over here to Port Town because we need to upgrade our curse door, right? There's no time for stalling. Let's go to the blacksmith and let's upgrade the sword for max potential. Look at that. We got that. We got that. We got that. Craft. All right, there you go. We just upgraded it. Oh my god. And now it should be next to my other mythical swords. Let's see. Yeah, look at that. These are all in a row. That looks so nice. Now, let's see how much damage it does. All right, let's see, let's see. One slash did 2.6k. Now it does... 3k? Yo, it's already getting super high, even though we still need to master this up, all right? So, uh, I also want to try this ability once again. Let's see. What if I just use it right here? Come on. How much damage? 
6.2k. What? Half of your HP is gone by one attack? Like, what? But I'm curious. Do you get stunned? Yes? Wait, really? So if I use it, you, you have no... Oh, I can't escape. Oh my... Yo, that is insane. All right, so now I gotta get 375 mastery, which that's a lot, all right? How do people even get that on the sword? I mean, this sword is insane, though. Let's go teleport to turtle entrance, because we need to fight somebody. And I'm gonna be speeding this up, because this is gonna take a while. All right, what's good, Longma? This is one of my new swords, okay? You're about to die, okay? You're... Okay, look at that. Look at that damage. Look at that damage, all right? That's not gonna help much, because you're already dead. Now we go to Big Mom to do it all over again, until we get 375 mastery. All right, kick queen is all the way low, and uh, she's dead. All right, and Longma, go ahead and die again, just like that. And now we go back to Big Mom. And K Queen, let me slash up like that. Look at that combo. Oh my god, 200k, 250k damage. Oh my god, bro. And go ahead and die. All right, so we got up to 350 mastery, like 20 more to go for the ability. 366 mastery, that means nine more mastery. And Longma, you're about to die, buddy. You're about to die, buddy. Yeah, take my curse duel. Got all right? Take some of this. There you go. And let me slash up like that. Okay, five more mastery to go. And we'll finally have it, right? The maxed out curse duel katana. So, K Queen, you're the last person that can actually give me this mastery. So, come here, K Queen. Come on. Let me slash you up with the curse duel. This sword is the best. I'm telling you guys, this is. There's no better sword than this. Like, bro, what other sword can do this? Super fast slashing with high damage. Plus, your ability is like stun the enemy and do crazy damage. And I still haven't unlocked the last one, okay? Imagine. And now we're about to unlock it. Come on. Come on. Let's go. New skill available. We just unlocked Slayer of Goliath. Oh my god. Okay, I need to try this. Where's Star at? All right, here we are. Star, are you ready? I've mastered the Curse Duo Katana. Up to 375, and now I can use this ability, okay? So, uh, let's see it, all right? Three, two, one, and... Oh my god. And now, I slash... Oh my god. Wait, why am I all the way here? Uh, what was that? Let's see. Oh, yo, what? Why was there a chain on my screen? What the heck? Wait, what if I tap it? What if I tap it? Let's see. Oh, okay, okay. That is such a quick ability and it does 5k damage. Not too bad. So imagine from here, like from far range like that, I charge up and I... Oh, this has crazy range. 6k damage. Okay, that's insane. Okay, yeah, this is super high damage. And why does one of my swords... Not have the, uh, the aura? What? what? These swords look insane. Look at the red aura. This is one of the best looking swords ever. I mean, maybe the dark blade is competing, but still. I want to see how much this ability does. Let's see. Let's see. How much does it do? After having all this mastery, 6.5 thousand. Okay, yeah, this is the highest damage ever. For a sword, that is insane. You have fast and one clicks, you have high damage, and you have a crazy bounty hunting ability, okay? The X one, you can go really far with this. And nobody will expect it. So I guess that was the Kurzuo Katana puzzle. This is the best sword inside of the game. Maybe it's gonna change soon, okay? Who knows? The Dark Blade. Also known as the Yoru. It is a crucial sword to have in Block Shroots. Because of its abilities and powers. Now this sword has two versions. The V2 and the V3. And I decided that I need to unlock the full powers of the Dark Blade. So I upgraded this sword to V2 and V3 in one video. And also this sword is used by the developer of the game, Rip Indra. Which is also a boss in the game. So pretty much becoming the strongest person in block shoots in this video. If you haven't already, drop a like right now, subscribe, and let's get on with the video. All right, guys, in today's block shoots video, we are going to be going on a quest to become one of the most strongest person in the entire block shoot world. And you guys already know who that person is. It's Rip Indra, okay? Today, we're becoming Rip Indra and awakening Dark Blade V2. Yes, that's exactly what I said, okay? This Dark Blade is gonna get a nice upgrade. Some visual effects gonna change, but the most most important thing, we are gonna become a Rip Indra, okay? Now, you may say, how, how are we gonna become a Rip Indra, okay? Sir, that doesn't make sense, okay? Well, if I unequip my Pulse Curve, you guys can see that I actually do have a real Valkyrie, right? Now, technically, you can fake this because a Valkyrie Helm is also available f as an accessory. Now, wait a minute, I just equipped a Valkyrie on a Valkyrie. Wait, wait, is that even... Wait... That's possible? Wait, I have two Valkyries on right now. What the? Uh, okay, that's kind of weird. But the goal is, whenever I awaken this Dark Blade V2, I can change my clothes into the exact Rip Indra clothes and become the true Rip Indra or like the, the, the yeah, the strongest person, right? You guys know where I'm going, okay? And guys, the first step we have already completed, right? As you guys can see, we have Dark Blade V1. That means I just bought it, right? Yeah, you, you have to buy the Dark Blade first. Now guys, the second step is we actually have to go back to C1 and that's not C1. Dude, I always forget which 
which dogs it is, okay? There's a bunch of dogs. Okay, yeah, we're next to it, okay? I'm just gonna walk, okay? I see Captain. I have some business in C1, okay? Take me there. Now, if you haven't already noticed, okay? Yeah, we're doing this uh, alone, okay? Yeah, Star isn't here, okay? No, but nobody's doing it with me, okay? So, we gotta go on this quest completely alone. Now, that's no problem for me, because I do have portal fruit, which I can teleport everywhere I want. And all I know is for step two, we gotta go to Middletown. We gotta talk to a special person over here. This person is located at some of these houses. I think it was... Was it this one? Oh, it was this one. Okay, so, whoa. If you guys don't know, this is like an admin room, as you can see. Like, we have a... Whatever that is, like a FIFA card or something. We have the develop... What, what even is that? You know what? I'm not gonna ask questions, okay? It, let them be, okay? Let's see. Robot Mega, that's the NPC we gotta have. Say it and say it well, okay? I, I say what? What do you need, bro? Respect me well. X? X? Bro. Bro, oh my, god, oh my god, oh my god, I sure respect you well, bro. You have earned all my respect for reaching level 350. Well, I'm a little higher than that, but okay. Yo, bro, can you help me with a quest, please? Fast. Uh, bro, what is happening? Okay, K? Yo, bro, have you seen my son Indra? He escaped yesterday when I caught him cheating with my homie, my game 43 Please help me capture him, bro. What? What is this crime? Bro, for sure, G. Hey, hey, for sure, G, man. I'll, I'll, I'll do it, all right? All right, that was a weird conversation. Why was it such a weird English? Okay, I, I don't even care. For the next one, we have to go to Snow Village, okay? So we got snow, so we gotta teleport over here. Now, apparently, his son Indra is right over here. And I gotta catch him because he escaped. So, hey, where are you, Indra? I'm coming for you. Is this Indra? Sick man. That's not Indra. That's a sick man. Okay, uh, I'm, my bad. Okay, that was the right one. Maybe the next house? No, I don't think so. What is this doghouse? Oh. It says Indra, I found you. Now, why is it a dog house? Is, is it a dog? Wait, is Indra a dog? Okay, you know what? Bro, I'm so confused, right? Let's see. Hi, bro. Can I have 97 Robux? Uh, yeah, sure, bro. I mean, why, hey, why not? Haha, <laughs> mentality of a child. I scammed you like a noob. Bro, what do you mean mentality of a child? Bro, I didn't even give him anything. Like, Huh. He's acting very tough, but okay, maybe say me why? Bro, what is this? I hate you, but if you say no, but if you say okay, and you give me we be friend. Wait, bro, 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 my head is exploding. What am I reading? Okay, now we have four say no, give nothing, reset. Right, this quest turned out to be a little weird. What is happening? Okay, four say no, uh, foretell bye, don't talk me again. Oh, bro, bro. It's like I'm talking to a one-year-old. What, what's going on? I didn't even learn to talk. Okay, let's see. Maybe you're who, I don't know who you... Bro, bro, what? You don't see that why I don't talk you so much. K, 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 bye. I don't ever talk you again. You know what? K, I don't care, okay? Yeah, there you go. You will never see me again, and I'm block you. Bro, he's blocking me now? What? Yo, cha, cha, cha. I need the dark baby too, okay? Oh, wait a minute. It's been a while. I think I know how, okay? So say me why first, then re-say. Then say me why. Give nothing, then give good. Oh my god, yo, bro, our friend with master robot. Yes, yes, okay? Oh my god, can you say him to forgive me, please? Bro, no, I'm here to catch you, right? No. I have said my game is my master, but I lie for I get unbanned in blocks roots after using auto farm hack. Bro, Indra has been using hacks? What? Yo, yo, this kid, hey, this is going wrong, bro. What's going on? Okay, oh my god. Thanks, bro. Go find my love letters and expose them to my master, please. Son quest started. All right, so now we gotta find the love letters to do this quest, which is a son quest. I can't believe Indra's been cheating, bro. What? Can't believe it, man. Can't believe it. <sighs> Such a disappointment. But guys, basically what we did right now is talk to this guy named Indra, and he told us pretty much find love letters. Now, if you have the understanding of a one-year-old, you can probably like find out what he's talking about and see the locations, but I had no clue what he was saying. So I had to look at what's going on. And apparently there's a hidden secret door on this exact island snow island and there's apparently a hidden door that you can only open with the dark blade so where's this hidden door obviously we got a cave over here which isn't a secret i'm pretty sure it was on this side of the island okay there's like a, this door that you can open with a ability maybe here okay no that definitely isn't it maybe somewhere here or something like it should be visible right so let's see i'm scanning oh Oh, there it is. And then apparently all we have to do is... Okay, we can't slash it. Ability. And it's open, okay? And look what we find inside. It's a love letter, okay? Yo, bro. When I say my game 43 master of me, it forget unban. Not, bro. I cannot read this. Not for him. Be my real master. Only you my master. You my master forever, bro. Uh... Lo okay, let's just, uh, hey, love letter one, I cry. okay, thank you, thank you, I don't want to hear that anymore, man. I'm losing brain cells by the second. Get me out of here, man. But now, apparently, we have to get two more love letters, so, one of them is apparently here, at Sky Island, and here is supposedly a, oh, yeah, this one, right, yeah, so this is a door, I'm pretty sure that's the right one. Wait, let's just go and sneak inside, and there you go, I already see it. But wait, can we literally flash tap inside? Yo! Um, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I'm doing the quest legitimate, gu uh, guys, yeah, uh, yeah, don't look at this. Alright, fast, fast, let's grab this, okay, four master, okay? Okay, to be honest, guys, I don't wanna read this, okay, bro? 
This score again, please, bro. I was uh, okay. No, no, okay. Low, okay, okay. Next, 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 okay. Love letter to acquire. Okay, there we go. Finally, bro. Thank god, thank god. Okay, get me out of here. Okay, we got a second one. Please get me out of here. All right, one more love letter. And apparently, this next one is at Marine Fortress. So let's go over here. Uh, it's been a while since I've been here, but apparently, there's a hidden secret door around this island that allows you to go into a maze. Now, I heard it's at the back of the island. So I'm gonna just gonna, you know, check it up real quick. I feel like I've been here once. Uh, oh, I already found it. Okay, and all we have to do, slash it up and and what is this place? Okay, so we gotta slash it up, okay? Let's see. Slash it up, all right? And, okay, let's go right, okay? Oh, so we can only slash it up with Z. Okay, I get it, I get it, okay? Let's use Z again. There you go. Uh, I hope I'm going to good direction. All right, slash it up one more time. Uh, more doors. Okay, left or right? You know what? Right, okay? Let's see. Come on. Uh, I, I didn't mean to do that. I, I mean, uh... Oh, there was nothing here. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. Okay, nothing here. Okay, so it has to be here. All right, let's see. Come on, slash it open. And oh, there you go. Let's go. We got the love letter number three for master. I'll give it one more try. Okay. Oh my god, you know well. I hate Wenlock. Don't interfere, the son of Verdus' son. Sorry guys, I can barely read this. Okay. Yes, master. I have respect, but don't try to surpass my limiter. Whatever that means. Okay. Love letter three acquired. Okay. Perfect. There you go. Uh, now get me out of here. Ugh. There's, is there no shortcut? Okay, bro. I have to slash everything. Oh, okay, there we go. Luckily, go V3 makes me reload faster. There you go. And we're done with this maze. All right, now we're done with that. We have to go to Middletown back at it again. Now, apparently, if we go back to Robot Mega, we can awaken our Dark Blade. And before I do that, let's take a look at the abilities, okay? Let's see. So we got Z, it's a bunch of slashes. Then we got X, which is a big slash. All right, let's awaken it. All right, Robot Mega, I've done all your quests. Say it and say it well. I say, something weird has occurred to your Dark Blade. Ooh, okay, wait, wait, wait. Cry, cry, cry. My son still loves me. Thanks, bro. You're a real G. You have 100% my respect now, and I have hacked your dark blade. Go see. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. If you need anything, just tell me. No shame. You know well. That's what homies are for. Hey, okay, okay. So we just became best friends with this robot mega guy. I'll take that. I'll take that. We got some admin connections now, but now let's go and see, all right? What's different about this blade? Is it the flames? Because I don't see really much difference, to be honest. But I know for sure there's abilities that change, okay? So let's go and try Z right now. All right, let's see. Oh, it charge up right now, okay? Oh my, oh, I, I dash now, wait a minute. All right, so now we slash and dash at the same time, which is pretty cool. Oh, and the X1 loads up as well, and oh my, bro, it's way faster and it goes way further. I didn't check the damages, all right? But let's go and test it on a monkey right here, let's see. So what if I test it on monkey? I charge it up and come here, monkey. Ooh, yeah, I raced him. What do you guys think? Darby V2 is a upgrade worth getting because you're not getting really a visual change. The abilities just change a little bit and... Yeah, they're pretty sick. Most of the people say it's not really worth it, but if you have Dark Blade V2, you can get Dark Blade V3. But since you awakened this Dark Blade, we can change into Rip Indra. Now, as you can see, this is Rip Indra, okay? He's in the game, and this is what I need to look like. Meet the one and only Rip Indra. All right, I know what you might be thinking. Um, what are these go horns? I mean, hey, just just ignore it, okay? We officially became Rip. Indra in Blocks Roots. And bro, this looks sick, okay? It's like I'm a developer of the game. And now it's time to get V3. Blocks Roots video. Where in today's video, I'm gonna be doing the impossible, okay? Something that has been done by a few people, right? Not many. So in today's video, we're gonna become one of the strongest people alive by awakening Dark Blade V3. Yes, I said it, all right? You guys seem to really want this Dark Blade V3, okay? I've seen comments, a like hundreds of comments, okay? Asking for Dark Blade V3. Please do Dark Blade V3. Okay, please do it. Well, guess what? In today's video, I'm gonna be getting a Dark Blade V3. No joke. And as you can see, we have Dark Blade V2 in my hand, okay? It's the V2 version. You can't really see that, but it is V2, okay? Yeah, you guys know that I did Dark Blade V2, okay? So we have this upgrade abilities. These. Boom. We can slash. Or we can dash and slash, I guess, right? And then this one is much, like, larger and goes further. Pretty cool. But now it's time to awaken this Dark Blade V3. Oh, there are the effects. There you go. So it's green, right? Now, apparently, guys, something very much changes about the sword, okay? I'm pretty sure it changes colors or something like that. So, hey, I'm excited. Oh, guys, when I'm saying we're unlocking the max potential, I'm not joking. Look at this. Mastery 600, okay? Max mastery on Dark Blade. And I don't think I have the upgrade, okay? Let's see. Items. We do not have the star on the dark blade so we have to upgrade it first okay look at this all of my upgraded swords have a star but this one doesn't so before we start anything okay let's see sword what is that we need uh we need like one of these like purple stones what even is that we need 15 of those green bro what are these green stones am i farming emeralds in minecraft or something like what is this and now we need nine magma okay i guess so to get 10 percent extra damage so that will make my dark blade reach its max level okay so that's the only part we need and getting 
the V3 version, which I'll explain right now, okay? And here we are in the second scene. Now, there is one thing you guys need to know. Getting Dark Blade V3 is no joke. It can take hours upon hours. And wh what is happening with my... What the heck? Anyway, Dark Blade V3 is no joke because you guys know how you like collect a uh, Fist of Darkness, like it's the God Chalice of Second C. Well, guess what? To get Dark Blade V3, you actually need two Fist of Darkness. Yes, two, not not one, two of them. And the funny part is, you can't even hold two in your inventory, so one person has to hold one for you. It's so weird. But I guess that's why it's so hard. Okay, so we're gonna go over here and we're gonna roll a fruit first. Okay, let's see. Oh. What the heck? Okay, can I roll a fruit in a chair? I've never done that. Okay, let's see. Oh, <laughs> what the heck? Okay, we got a chop fruit. That's pretty cool. Well, it's not cool. I mean, it was cool that I rolled the fruit in a chair. Okay, yeah, let's store that one. And guys, don't worry. Don't worry. I've done my preparation. Okay, we need two fists of darkness, but this private server right here has been running for exactly four hours. Now, what that basically means is that a fist of darkness is in one of these chests, all right? There's a low percent chance that we get one from this chest, but I'm not gonna collect it because obviously I can't hold two at the same time. So first, we have to do the other way of obtaining another one, which is sea beast. Yeah, yeah, you heard it right. Sea beast, okay? We have to hunt sea beasts down for hopefully not, not long, okay? For hopefully not long to get another Fist of Darkness, and then we have to do a special puzzle, okay? So that's gonna be interesting, okay? But first of all, wait, wait, what's that purple thing? What's that purple, like, uh, like the stone when I tried upgrading my Dark Blade? What is that? Oh, it's called the Dark Fragment. I kind of remember that name. It is a mythical material that can be dropped by Dark Beard. Bro, don't I have to have another Dark of Fistness to, to, like, summon him? There's no way I'm getting three Fists of Darkness in one video, bro. There is no way. How am I even gonna get that? Is that even possible? Bro. Well, at least he has 100% of dropping it. I mean, if that wasn't the case, then I don't know what I would do. Now, guys, I said sell, okay? Because we have to hunt for these sea beasts, okay? And, yeah, I don't know. There's none spawning right now. I mean, where are they at? And I've done my research. If I go to the wiki right now, it says a Fist of Darkness can be obtained by defeating a sea beast, and it gives five percent chance so yeah i'm not really sure i'm gonna get this if there's literally no cb spawning come on spawn at least at least give me some chance to get it like what is th wait why can i see in the distance this is kind of weird this is kind of trippy what the heck anyway where's this stupid cb is that all right guys i've been sailing for at least 10 minutes there's nothing spawning okay 10 minutes wasted like wh where's the cbs there's already no c vents that spawn like nothing like i'm just sailing like maybe it spawns when i'm sailing because sitting still it feels like it's nothing Bro, is this even ever gonna spawn? Like, what the heck? And a ship raid spawned, okay? Not a sea beast. Well, that's a 50% chance, right? Oh my god, I'm so unlucky. I waited 50 minutes for some stupid ships. Bro, what the? Get out of here. Oh, sea beast spawn, sea beast spawn, sea beast spawn. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This might be it, this might be it. Imagine I get it first try. There's no way if I get it first try. There's actually no way, okay? There's no way. Okay, take some of this CB, stick some of that. Bro, how much HP does he have? 100k? Okay, easy. Magma OP, bro. Magma OP. Okay, there you go. Fly in the... Oh, chill, bro. Okay, there you go. Easy, bro. Easy, easy. Come on, how much? Okay, half HP already. Boom. Okay, wait. That did not hit him. That did not hit him. Okay, there you go. Some of this. Yo, 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 chill. Chill, 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 chill. Okay, magma shower. That should do a lot of... That. Look at that damage, bro. Look at that magma... Yo, chill, bro. Almost dead. It's V4 awaken. There you go. Let's jump up. There you go. And now... Let's see, he's 1 HP, okay? He's 1 HP. Boom. And we didn't get it. Yeah, yeah. We, we didn't get it. Okay, that's... Awesome, awesome. Okay, this is gonna take a while, I think. Um, bro, I'm exposing Govi4. Like, what is this? This is a, just a circle. Like, what? It's just like a little circle. What the heck? I thought it was a cool effect, but like, it's literally just a circle, bro. Exposed. Govi4 exposed, guys. Oh, 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 oh. CB, CB, CB. CB alert, CB alert. Okay, let's see. Let's jump in the water right here. Boom. Okay. Bro. Okay, let me get higher. Let me get higher. Let me get a high ground on you. There you go. Take some of this. Take some of that. Easy. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Take some of this. Take some of that. There you go. Look at that damage stacking up. 40k. 40k, look at that. Bro, magma is just so insane, okay? Bruh. Here we go. Some of that, some of this, take some of that. Bruh. And he goes down. Let me go up again, there we go. Dodge that, there we go. Boom. Some of this, take that, take this, take that. And he's almost dead, okay? Super easy, bruh. Take some of that, there you go. And the boom, come on. And nothing. Uh, yeah. On to the next one. This is gonna take so long. Another CBs, another CBs. Okay, they're spawning in fast. Okay, this is good. This is good. This is good. Okay. Oh, he's going away again. What's going on? Okay. Up. Boom. Take some of that. Take some of this. Bro, he's hiding. He's hiding. Okay, there you go. Take that. Take this. Take that as well. There you go. Easy. Take that. Easy to get that much. Easy, 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 easy. Bro, there you go. Take some of the. Oh, it's lagging. What the heck? And he's gone again, bro. Stupid CBs. Come on. He's already scared, bro. He's already scared, okay? It's that. 
some of this, make some of that, and you should be dead. You should be dead. Come on. We're not dead yet. What the heck? Okay. P4. Come on. Take this. And no way. Third CBs. Let's go. Bro, we got it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. This didn't even took so long. Yes. Oh my god. Go, oh, no way. Third C beast? Bro, bro, bro. I must be the luckiest person in life. There's actually no way. No. Okay, I thought it was gonna take a lot of C beast, okay? Maybe like 10 plus, but we already got it. What the heck? Show. Oh, I might be the luckiest person. So now all we gotta do is get the puzzle done, okay? And we need another person for this. Guys, no, no, no. Bro, I have the Fist of Darkness and I accidentally got this chest and I got it again. But bro, no. Gotta do more C beast, but someone else gotta do them because I, I can't have fit. Oh, Oh my god, bro. It just disappeared. Oh my god. Whoa, I accidentally touched it. Oh my. And it was the first chest I picked up. Like, oh. uh, I'm doomed, guys. I'm doomed, okay? There's just no way. Alright, guys. It's been a while and I still have my Fist of Darkness. Okay, it's probably been like two hours, okay? But, you know who clutched up, okay? Look at this, alright? Yo, we got start with the Fist of Darkness. That's what I'm saying, bro. That's what I'm saying. He says, yes, sir. That's what I'm saying, bro. Finally, yes. Okay. I swear to God, this took so long like oh my god you had to get it from a CBIS, but now you gotta activate it you know so i activate it on another place and you activate it on another place it's gonna be kind of weird and also guys disclaimer if you want to obtain this you actually have to get angel rabbit shark and human races all to v3 stage which i already have okay so if you don't have this don't even try it okay you, you'll be wasting your time so you have to pretty much have this and then we need two fists of darkness one for starting dark beard raid and then one for opening the door at the graveyard and then we can finally lock dark blade v3 so all star has to do is go to the dark arena which is right here okay he's already here so there is this thing right here where you can insert a fist as you can see but once you insert his fist there is no going back okay then i have to rush to the graveyard to unlock this secret door all right, as you can see i'm in the graveyard and there's this secret door over here so okay star needs to press it right now let's see all right star press it now okay, okay he's about to press it he's about to press it okay come on come on come on Oh, oh, yo! Power of Darkness has been unleashed. And now all we gotta do is go over here, press this button, and... Oh, my God. Dark Blade V3. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Yo! Something weird has occurred to your dark blade. A new Slayer has been born. Let's go. And Slayer of God title. Oh my god. We got it. We got it. We got what is this door, by the way? Can I go? Wait, we can go in? We can even go in to the secret area? Like, what? Bruh, I thought I can go in and there's like a cool scene or something. What the heck? But guys, guys, before we do that, we need to rush to the dark arena because Darkbeard is over here. And this guy drops the fragment that we can use to upgrade our dark blade. So uh, let me slice you up with Buddha because I mean it's gonna be super easy. This is literally the last part okay and then we can finally get the dark blade v3 fully maxed out and conquer the whole of block shoots okay guys so my recording cut down there but we defeated blackbeard and we got the dark fragment but there's still some things that we have to do which are the remaining materials and also look at the chat okay a new slayer has been born new title slayer the bro that's insane okay but what are we missing okay one out of one fragment five out of 15 and one out of 10 magma okay that shouldn't take too long but first we need to take a look at the dark blade okay so three to one boom Oh, yo, Dark Blade V3 maxed out. Oh, my. this took me so long. This took me so long, by the way. Oh, my God. I grinded hours upon hours to even get this item, okay? It, it was no easy job. Now we got it, okay? We also got different abilities like this one. It's all, like, different. It's white, right? So, okay, okay. It's I, I guess it's kind of cool. I mean, all the grinding for a visual effect. But we still gotta upgrade our sword, though. So, it's not a max potential. So, yeah, this is, like, all white, which is pretty cool. But it's not max level yet, okay? We need to upgrade the sword. But for that, we have to go to two different locations. Hydra Island and C1. So, first, I guess we go to C3. And, apparently, there's these NPCs right here. The Dragon Kree Warrior. That we can fight for these materials. Let's see. Can we get it fast, though? Because we need ten of these. There is one. Nine more left to go. Okay, there you go. After like 15 minutes of grinding, we got 16 uh, dragon scales. So now, all we need to do is go to Port Town and head over to C1, where we can get the magma. All right, we arrived. And all we have to do is fight these military spies to give their information. Or magma ores, I mean. Give me all your ores, okay? Okay, there you go. That's the first one. Now, eight more to go. Come 
Come on, that should be enough. And let's see. 11. Okay, easy. We got enough. Okay, 11 Magamores. Now, all we have to do is go to the nearest blacksmith to get the V3 version. Oh my god. I'm pretty sure that's at Pirate Village. Where are you at, blacksmith? I need to get my final upgrade. We've upgraded the Dark Blade to V2, V3, and now it's gonna be the max potential. Max upgrade sword. Okay, one out of one Dark Fragment, 60. Okay, we got enough for 10% extra damage. Before we do that, though, how much damage is it dealing now? Okay, let's go refund the stats and put everything on the sword. And now let's see. It's doing 3k damage per slash, which is pretty insane already. Now, all we gotta do is go talk to the blacksmith, upgrade my sword, craft. There you go. Upgrade the weapon to grade one. And now we have the max level dark bait. Mastery 600, max damage, the best accessory, and it does... 3.26 damage. Rather, 3,260 damage, okay? Insane. We have finally unlocked the true potential of the Dark Blade, okay? Oh my god. Wait, how much do the abilities do nowadays? Let's see. Uh, 500? Wait. 6 stop. What? Uh, bruh? Like that? Okay, this one does 500 for some reason. But the second ability, bro... 6k okay 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 dark blade is insane guys this took me a very long time to record so please drop a like i have been grinding in the second c for the last couple of days because i had a mission okay a mission for a big purpose and this was to become one of the best swordsmen alive now the grind was hard the grind was long but after all that hard grinding we unlocked the sadi the she sweet and the wano sword to unlock the final sword yes okay you guys know where i'm going okay today we're gonna be unlocking the true triple katana in block shoots finally now it took a while, okay? Don't get me wrong. And these swords were insanely fun to test out, okay? Some of these abilities were really fun. Especially this last one, okay? But guys, today we're gonna be unlocking the true triple katana and uh, to be honest, I have no clue how to get it, okay? I've never even known where to get it because now I have every single three swords, but I didn't get the sword. Once you get a Sadi, Sishui, and Wando to mastery 350 or 300, you're now allowed to buy it. But where that is, I have absolutely no, no clue. Yeah, I have absolutely no clue. Now, before I unlock this sword, I want to have the fitting clothes when unlocking a sword because as you know the character that unlocks the true triple katana is obviously zoro uh, and that's much better okay we are zoro and we're gonna become the ultimate zoro but first we obviously need to get a sword we only have the sadi over here and look what we got over here star are you ready we're gonna be unlocking the true triple katana all right and your dual curse katana i, I don't know okay may maybe the true triple is not gonna be better what happened to your hair well i became zoro okay i, I painted it okay so we're gonna be unlocking this and i actually have no clue how to get this you look like the joker well yeah it's kind of kind of you know kind of it doesn't matter okay we're gonna become the best swordsman so we first need to roll fruit okay that's what every best swordsman does okay everybody rolls a fruit and if you're not rolling fruits then what are you doing okay let's see 300k for a, f a flame fruit it's like Bro, block shoots. Bless me one time, okay? Yeah, you can you can have it, bro. I don't, I don't even want to store it, okay? And you got a wait, you got a magma fruit? Wow, magma is surprisingly good, but not a mythical or legendary. So who cares? Now I have only gotten one tip about this true triple katana, okay? I can literally buy it, but I have to know the location of the dealer, and I have gotten the location. So it's green zone. It's somewhere in the green zone. I mean, a green zone is a place full of plants. Where can you even find this guy? I'm surely not on the bottom, okay? Stars already. Wait, what are you doing here? This guy's teleporting, but still, we need to find this guy where is this guy and the gorns aren't even fitting either but the mink airs are bro what is the mink what are the mink airs doing on your back um wait i think he's hiding on the top of the fines wait really you say the top so you mean all the way the top uh how do we get there because we can't portal up there wait hold on Dude, there's no way anyone get there okay portal is gonna make it a lot easier obviously but how did he get there okay how did a swords dealer get there hold on we need to get all the way up here there you go mom plant save me okay there you go no i'm falling off i'm falling off no 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 this is bad okay so we can only stand like at the leaves is it that one is it that i think it's the biggest one it has to be the biggest one this must be the highest point in a whole second see let's see come on bro i can't even no 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 come on come on come on come on okay i saved myself oh 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 wait no this is hard this is hard i'm, I'm sliding off come on here we go now one more try one more try come on oh this is hard okay I got it. Okay, we're finally here. And we're going to the last... Oh, I think I see someone. Wait. All right, Star, you're cheating with light fruit, okay? But what is this mysterious man? How did you get up here, buddy? And wait, with that belly? Bro, how did this guy get up here? He's way too heavy to get up here. What the heck? He's a pirate. Yeah, what do you mean? Oh, he does have a pirate helm. Okay, that's pretty cool. But I don't really care, okay? I'm here to claim something, okay? Hey. Hello, fellow swordsman. It appears you have mastered all the legendary swords. Yes, sir, that's right. Do you wish to learn
learn the true triple katana style for 2 million. Wait, 2 million? To be honest, I thought it's gonna be more, okay? But it's the same as any other legendary. He ate all the mythical fruits. Look at his belly. Yeah, I, I know. He ate all of them, bro. What the heck? That's where the mythical fruits have been, okay? Uh, anyway, let's go and buy this one, okay? And there you go, okay? Obtained the true triple katana for 2 million. That's actually cheaper than I expected, to be honest. I, I thought we were gonna pay like 5 million. So I'm completely good with that. Anyway, where is this thing at? Come on. I have been grinding for so long. Where is this thing? Come on, it should be somewhere over here. And oh, I think I see it. A true triple katana. Look at that. And we got it, okay? Equip. New title, Demon Eye and the Hurricane. You can say so. Oh, look at that. We finally unlocked the true triple katana. And that means we have one sword in my in my mouth. What, what the heck? And guys, did you know this is one of the three swords you can get as a three sword style? We got the triple katana, this one, and the triple yoru. But obviously the triple yoru is not obtainable. But this is looking sick. This is the best triple katana you can obtain. And how much damage does it do? 1.9? Um, I know why, I know why. I don't have Pal Scarf on, so... So I have to get that on for an extra 15% damage. And if I turn hockey on, bro, just take a look at this. This looks overpowered. Now, guys, we still need to unlock the first move, which is Wolf Fang Rush, and the second one, which is Dragon Hurricane, which is 350 mastery, okay? That's gonna be a grind. And then after that, we're gonna try to beat the best boss out of the entire game to see if we got all the powers. Now, to be honest, I don't know which one looks better, okay? The Curse Duel looks cool because it's, like, one static color. Look at the triple one, okay? I think this one looks crazy. Now, let's see with Pals Carbon. Let's see how much damage. Two point oh, 2.5k. That's insane. Wait a minute. Usually swords do 2.3k, but this one is actually really good. And we're gonna be obviously upgrading the swords so we can even get more OP. But first, we need to go to the third seat to even master this sword, okay? Oh, look at this. This looks insane. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Look at the three swords on me, okay? We got a Sishui, Mwando, and the Sadi in one. This is so sick. And a boom. We're in the third seat, and look at that. Look who we got here. A homeless skeleton guy. Or should I say one of the best swordsmen in the third seat? Well, today there's an end to it, okay? I became the best swordsman, okay? And first of all, before I do anything, I need to check this, okay? I do this with almost every sword, but with this one, it's gonna look so cursed, I feel like. Let's see. Oh my god, bro. The Buddha glitch with... What the heck? Bro, this looks so cursed. I don't even know what to say. But it looks crazy, okay? But first, we need to beat this guy up, okay? Come here, Longma. I'm gonna slash you up, okay? I have the true triple katana, okay? You're not gonna escape from this one, buddy. Yeah, you're not gonna... Okay, this is kind of unfair, okay? I'm gonna make it fair. I'm gonna fight like a real man over here and uh, see if I can be- oh wait the, the stout- wait, wait. Did you guys see that? Like the slash things? The effects are insane. And I'm getting slashed up, okay? I need to focus up. Focus up, okay? Focus up. I'm the best swordsman, okay? I can't be losing against this skeleton guy. Okay, come on. No, 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 no. Okay. Come on, but come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. You can die already. And there you go. Okay, please. At least give me some mastery. Like 150, 140. I don't care, okay? Just give me enough. Wait a minute. 137. I usually get 142. Wait, mythical swords require more mastery? What? I guess that makes sense. But now I'm pretty sure these fishmen can't give me enough. Okay, let's see. Let's slash you up, buddy. Yeah, let's slash you up. Double sword style. And that's three levels. Okay. I need to just slash these fishmen up, and we're gonna be Gucci. That's another three levels. And that's another two. And another two. Come on, the last one come on and there you go new skill available and we finally unlocked it the first ability on the true triple katana which is wolf fang rush now what is this supposed to do star where are you at i need to test this thing but how much damage is this gonna do okay i'm pretty excited all right let's see this thing is it any op let's see three two one come on 4.1 thousand, but I didn't really see what happens. So I slash through you like the Sishui, I guess. That's what I'm guessing. Okay, let's go and try like this. Let's see. Oh, yeah. So it's like the Sishui, but it's way bigger range and it looks pretty cool. Now, keep in mind, we still need to upgrade a sword. So that wasn't everything. And obviously, we need to unlock a Dragon Hurricane, which is 350 Mashu, which is a lot. Okay. okay how much does one slash do now? Let's see. 2.6k. Okay. We're going on to the bigger, like, numbers, which is very good. Anyway, let's see if we can upgrade the sword before we start even grinding for 350 mastery. Because I know, well, that's going to be a pain. Let's see. Come on. Ooh. Oh. Okay. So we need only two of this, like, Mystic Droplets. And I'm pretty sure we have to go back to the second C for that. And then we can get an upgrade of 15%. Wait, that looks amazing. All right. Here we are on Sko Island. With our true triple katana because we have a mission here, okay? We need to get some materials, okay? I've been here way too many times. 
Oh, and there is one. Okay, I've never gotten one so quickly. There you go. One more to go. I'm not going to lie. This is one of the coolest swords I've ever used. Okay, look at the three swords style. Like, this is insane. Even though I'm only slashing with two swords and the other one is just in my mouth. I don't know. But it still looks decent. And there you go. The last one. Mystic Droplet. And now we can go ahead and upgrade this sword. All right, and here we are. Okay, Blacksmith, I got a quest for you. Okay, we have to upgrade my true triple katana. And there you go. We got everything. Craft. And we upgrade our sword. I'm pretty sure we did like, wait. Uh, what is up with my sword? Why is hockey on one sword and not on the others? This is so weird. What? Anyway, so we need to test the damage. Let's see. What is one slash now? 3,000 watts. That is insane. And we still need to get 350 mastery, which is gonna get the damage up a lot more. Wait, wait. How much is the Z ability? Let's see. 4.8 thousand weight. It's getting a lot more damage. What the heck? This is good. But now back to grinding because we need to do a lot more. And we're gonna start off by defeating K Queen. All right, K Queen, take some of this true triple katana, right? Take some of this, buddy. Yeah, you're about to die. And you know what? To make it a little bit fairer, I'm gonna get my big swords out so I can actually defeat you. Get on my mastery, okay? I need a lot more mastery right now, so let me slash you up, okay? Let me slash you up. Come here, buddy. Take some of this. Ooh, okay, okay. Chill, buddy. Chill, buddy. Take some of this, and you're gonna be dead within moments. I'm on one HP, and give me your mastery. There you go. And that got us up to 200 mastery. Well, that's not even close to 350. So we need a few more K-Queens then, okay? But obviously, we're gonna switch it up with Long as well, because K-Queen is gonna get boring, okay? So we need to get this guy down, okay? Come on. He's already 1 HP. This guy is so weak, okay? This is supposed to be the greatest swordsman, like what? Well, there you go, okay? 218 mastery. And now we have to rinse and repeat. Okay, buddy, go ahead and die. There you go. Another one down. Let's see. That's gonna give us 238. Like 100 more mastery to go. Uh, this is gonna take a while. Okay, Longma, what's up? I need to kill you once again, okay? And there you go. You're gonna be dead in a second right here. Boom, easy. And we got up to 280, okay? It's going slower and slower. All right, there you go. She's dead again, and we got up to 300. So now, 50 more to go. So we're gonna go visit Longma once again. What's up, buddy? Time to die for you as well. Okay, slash up like that, bro. There's no way, okay? He has no chance, okay? It's not fair, okay? Okay, I'm gonna use my normal blades. I mean, what am I saying, to be honest? This is not even fair with the normal blades for him, okay? He's gonna die either way, okay? Take some of this, buddy. Real, true, triple katana, okay? Take some of this, and you're dead dead, buddy. You're dead. All right, go ahead and die again. Let's see. Come on. 341. That means we need nine more mastery, and then we finally lock the last ability, which that is exciting. Let's see if Longma is gonna give us enough. Come here, Longma. There's only place for one swordsman to be alive, okay? And that's me, okay? So you're gonna die, okay, buddy? Take some of this. The true triple katana powers. Man, get your Tushita out of here, okay? The Tushita is long, not better than this one, okay? So take some of this and die. Come on. There you go. You're dead. And you gave me not even enough. So it wasn't even worth fighting you. We still need three more mastery. Get these fishmen out of my way, okay? Take some of this, buddy. And go ahead and die. Come on, is that enough? Come on. And there you go. New skill available. We finally unlocked a Dragon Hurricane, okay? This 350 mastery style move. The best move for the true triple katana. And the star is on time, okay? Let's see what the true powers are, okay? And after that, I'm gonna attempt to fight one of the hardest bosses in the game that I've prepared for a long time to fight, okay? With these true triple katanas. Because I've heard that boss is really strong. But anyway, let's go and try it out, okay? Three, two, one. Oh my god. What the heck? I just sent you into a hurricane. What? That is insane. It kind of looks like an outdated move, to be honest, but OMG. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Wait, the true trip katanas are insane. So you can just like do that and just put someone in a hurricane. What? Wait, that is sick. It looks so cool. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, bro, I can just put anyone in a hurricane. Like, look at this. Like, boom. Yo, this must be one of the coolest attack I've seen in block shoots. Yeah, this is sick. And it does good damage. Like, what? Wait, what is the slashing damage again? Let's see. 3.2k. Yeah, that's amazing. But now, guys, I need to try these swords on one boss. That is one of the strongest bosses in the entire game. Not many attempt to fight him alone, but I'm gonna do it. Okay, here we are. The beautiful pirate domain. And here's the pirate, okay? He is one of the strongest swordsmen. As you can see, he has a sword. Now, he does have a lower level than Longma, you would say. But he's still one of the strongest ones since he can awaken. And let me tell you what I mean, okay? Let's slash him up like that, okay? Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Take some of this true triple. Okay, he's doing hide. Oh my god, look at my HP, bro. Oh my god. Dude, this boss is insane. What the heck? I'm already half HP. Okay, wait, wait. Take some of this, buddy. Take some of this hurricane, okay? There you go. Take some of that. That's what I thought. What you gonna do now? Okay, okay. Oh, he hit that. What the heck? Okay, take some of this. Come on. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. There you go. Now, guys, this is not the reason this boss is hard, okay? This guy can transform into a second form, okay? And he's probably gonna be soon, okay? So I need to be alert on every single second, okay? If he transforms, it's over for me. And there you go. Oh my god. Second face. Look at him glow. Now I need to be really careful. Okay, wait, wait. I'm super low. Wait, wait, wait. I need to run away. Oh my god, this guy is hitting everything. I'm 1k HP. What? Take some of this, buddy. Take some of the dragon hurricane, okay? There you go. Oh no, I've aggroed him even 
more. Okay, I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. Run, run, run. He missed that. Okay. Takes him off this, buddy. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, this boss is harder than expected. What the heck? Okay. Takes him off this. Takes off the Hurricane. He's so tanky. He's way more tankier than Longma. Like, that's what I'm saying. This boss is the strongest swordsman. If we are able to kill him, then we take the trophy of becoming the strongest swordsman. Okay, so. Come on, die, buddy. Die, buddy. I know I'm stronger. I just know I'm stronger, okay? Take some of this. There you go. There's no way this guy is stronger than me, okay? Take some of that. There you go. My preparation took days upon days upon weeks. I'm not gonna let this preparation go to waste. I've unlocked all the legendary swords just to beat this guy, okay? I'm not gonna let it wait to wait. Okay, he's fast. He's fast. He's fast. Chill, 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 chill. Take some of that. Boom. No, no, he's fast. Oh, he's too fast. I don't want to feed for transform because that's going to be unfair. So I'm just going to run. Come on, run away. Run away. Okay, he's super low. He's super low. Come on. Some attacks will finish him off. Okay, no, 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 no. Chill. Take some of this hurricane. There you go. Bro, I'm super close to dying. Okay, this is bad. This is bad. He's also super close, but I'm also super close. Okay, this is no good. He's long distance good. Come on. I'm pretty sure it's one HP. Come on, take some of this. See that? Oh my god, no. Look at my HP. 2k HP, bro. He's one shot. I'm one shot. This is bad. Okay, I dodged it. I dodged it. Now, die. <gasps> we defeated him. Boom. And that's how I became the strongest swordsman in the entire of Blocks Roots. Just look at me, all right? Today, we're mastering one of the mythical swords in Blocks Roots. And there's a total of five mythical swords in Blocks Roots, okay? We got Hell Sight, we got the Curse of Katana, True Turbo Katana, Dark Blade, and the Triple Dark Blade. Now, you guys obviously know from the thumbnail, from the title, we are becoming a Reaper today, okay? As you can see, we have the Hallow Scythe over here. Yeah, right here. This bad boy. And this is the only only scythe in the game and we're gonna be mastering this all the way up and testing its potential okay and look how sick this looks dude okay it's actually amazing and they say that this is a alternative to the cursed duo katana which i also don't have i'm pretty sure star has that one yeah look at that he has that one look the cursed duo katana but star are you ready we're gonna be mastering the hallow side today okay and you don't even have this sword do you no? Yeah, that's exactly what I thought, because this is the hardest sword to unlock in the third C, all right? I mean, in the game, this is the rarest sword, okay? It is a 5% drop chance from a special boss, okay? Let me show you around. If we go over to the haunted castle right over here, and if we go over here to the graveyard, right? Um, If you go over to this guy over here, there's a small chance that you get it, okay? Let's see. Please, pray. Oh, no, no, no. Wait, wait. See? Please, pray. Please. There's like 1%. Oh, nothing. Oh, yeah, it's not night. Oh, wait. I, I forgot. You have to do it in a night. I'm stupid, right? But we're gonna go over here, and this Death King over here is the guy you have to have, right? This is the guy, this is the guy that's gonna give you the special item, the special item that you'll need, okay? I have 3.5k bones because I've been saving up, okay? I plan to get a curse to a katana, but I guess we can do a test spin, okay? And we just got 10 minutes of 2 times EXP. But there's a small chance that you can get a hollow essence, right? And with that hollow essence, you can summon a boss. You do that right over here on this weird like fiery thing. I don't I don't even know what this is to be honest, but yeah, you do it over here, okay? You smash it over here and then you have to go over here. Yes, so right here. If you go over this bridge over here, you can go right up to this like room. Yeah, this this crazy open room. And as you can see, there's nobody here. But if you spawn the hollow essence with that like weird ritual thing, there is a soul reaper that will spawn here. And after you've done all those things, uh yeah, it, it's not it's not guaranteed that you get it, okay? There's a 5% chance that you get this hello side okay so it's super rare but as you can see we have it right so we're gonna be mastering this sword and uh, a lot of you guys probably don't have this okay what do you mean it took you a while yeah it took me a while actually like it's it's been a few bosses for sure so we have to get this sword all the way up to mastery 350 to get soul execution all right so we need to get started okay and there's also a way to upgrade this thing by the way okay so i'm gonna have to show you that okay if we go over to port town let's see do we have enough for upgrade oh blacksmith okay there you are okay upgrade my weapon please okay let's see can we even upgrade it how many things do oh oh easy wait 50 okay we got 50 of these we got 3k bones we need 800 bones and we need 70 scrap metal okay we, we have everything okay 10 percent extra damage i mean i'll take it okay let's go and craft that one and there you go we upgraded our weapon i didn't test the damage though okay that was uh that's kind of a waste so now we'll never know the base damage i mean uh where's star actually let's go to mansion right here is he here all right there you are okay let's see so we have an upgraded hollow side okay and let's go and check it out okay let's see oh yeah that's okay yeah 30 damage guys yeah there's something wrong with my stats okay let's see <laughs> i need to refund it all right that should be better okay sword and now come on let's see how much 
Pokemon? 2.4k? Um, wait a minute. I've seen swords that do way better damage than that. Like, at least 2.6k. Like, the Canfender, okay? Uh, bro, what is that? 2.4 thousand? That is not much. What is that? And it is upgraded, bro. It's starting off pretty bad. I'm gonna keep it a buck, okay? But we're gonna go and find a boss, and we're gonna get the first ability, right? Maybe it's not about the damage, okay? Let's see. I guess you can spam it. Wait, let's see. Oh, what the heck? Wait, wait. Oh my, wait, I'm spamming it super quickly. Oh, check this out, guys. I went on the wiki and look at this. Insanely fast M1 click, okay? Attacks, which makes it extremely good for grinding with Buddha. Makes sense. Makes and low cooldown. Okay, we, we have to test that out. All right, Longma, I came here to welcome you to my new site, all right? You're about to die, buddy, okay? Prepare for death. I plan to slice, 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 and dice you up, right? So take some of this, take some of my, um, okay, Talon, here we go, boom, all right? I may not be doing a lot of damage, but my slashes are quick, all right? My slashes are whenever you don't expect it, all right? So, oh, he's almost killing me, though, but no chance, all right? No chance, all right? There you go. We got a long mat dead, and let's see, how much mastery will we get, okay? 70, 80, 90, please. Give me at least, like, 140. I'm pretty sure this boss gets 140. Let's see, please. All right, mastery 136. So now we get 40 more, and then we can get Death Cyclone. All right, we're gonna go over here, and we're gonna take a visit on Mr. Big Mom, eh? What's up? What's up? I'm here to slice you and dice you up, all right? So you make no chance, right? Take some of this. Okay, maybe I can actually slice you up or something, but as the wiki said, it's best used with Buddha, so let's go and use the Buddha, and let's see. Come on. Can I slice you? It's going super fast, okay? My M1s are actually super quick. It is amazing. All right, Big Mom, come here, come here. Oh, oh, yo, yo, chill. Okay, my observation is broken, okay? She's about to kill me. Like, chill, all right? Chill for once in your life. Like, okay, here you go. Come on, come on. Hey, there you go. Let's go. New skill available, okay? We got it. The Death Cyclone. Hey, and we got up to 183 mastery. That's not even bad, okay? Let's go and try it out. All right, first ability of a mythical sword. I'm expecting something crazy, something out of this world, okay? And it said it was the same as Curse Duel, so we're see. I mean, I've never used it, to be honest. So, let's see. Three, two, one, and... Okay. Oh, what the... Wait, that's insane. Wait, is that the same as Curse Duel? Oh, it is. It's just a different version of that. Well, that's actually pretty interesting, but mine looks way cooler, okay? Hey, I'm, I'm gonna have to admit, bro. You have to admit, okay? Mine looks way better. Look at that. Did you use yours real quick? I mean, it's kind of hard to compare because you have all, like, electricity and stuff, but I have, like, some crazy, like, hollow stuff and stuff. Yeah, I don't know, but mine looks really sick. I think this one looks better, to be honest, okay? Hey, what, what you trying, bro? What you trying, okay? It's not this, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I'm not disappointed on the first move, but still, we have another one to unlock, which is Soul Execution, okay? This one is 350 mastery, so yeah, Big Mom, I have to, like, uh, execute you a few times to get this execution move, right? I hope you don't mind. Okay, guys, we were grinding, but look at this. Fruit Detect, okay? So we gotta get this fruit, okay? So let's see, um, where is it? 1,000 meters? Um, uh, is it Sea Castle? I don't think... Bro, there's no fruits that spawn there, okay? I, I don't believe in it, okay? It might be that side. Giant Tree is not 1000, okay? I think it's turtle. I think it's turtle. Let's see. Turtle Mansion. Hey, as I thought, as I thought. Don't mind if I do. Okay, where's this fruit? Wait. And it's a flame fruit, okay? Yeah, that's uh, that's disappointing, to be honest. That's just, that's a waste of time. Here, you take it, okay? You take it. <laughs> there you go. I want no flame fruits. All right, guys, we go back to grinding. All right, guys, it's been a while, and as you can see, look at my mastery, right? 335, okay? So a few more big moms, and it should be all right. Wait. She already has one HP. Let's see. How much is that gonna do? 5.3k, bro, that's insane damage, okay, and with my slashes, she's dead, right, okay, one more, actually, 343, and we'll finally unlock soul execution, okay, I'm excited, bro, I hope the last move is even more damage, okay, so take some of this, buddy, yeah, that's what I thought, right, that's what I thought, all right, Buddha transform, bro, two Buddhas against the big mom, bro, it's literally no chance for her, okay, no chance, like, K Queen, you can do all your abilities, okay? Instinct breaks, okay? Knockbacks, whatever you want to do. But at the end of the day, you're so weak, all right? You're so weak. Hey, chill, man. You get that? Here we go. Come on. Okay, no, bro. What is that beam, bro? Okay, come on. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. And new skill available. Hey, let's go, okay? We got soul execution. Finally, bro. Let's go test it out, all right? Let's see if it's any good. This is the moment, right? Soul execution, the best ability of a mythical sword. The rarest sword in the entire game. All right, guys, here it is, all right? Three, two, one. Oh, what is that? I'm flying. What the heck? Okay, see? Oh, 
Whoa, what? Hey, yo, that was insane. Wait, wait. I, I guess I can't combo that because, like, this one knocks you back. So, let's gonna try it again. So, I'm flying at first, okay? And then I take you with me. Oh! Yo, that is insane though. So I fly in you, I take you in the sky, and I slash you, bro. That is crazy. Wait a minute, from how far can I do it though? Like, can I do it from this far? Let's see. Oh, even from this, and the slash looks insane. Yeah, this is amazing. I think it does pretty much the same damage as that cyclone. Let's see. Oh no, yeah, that cyclone is way better. 5,000, okay, yeah, that cyclone is insane. And then if you combo that, yeah, that might be insane, okay? But you can't really because you knock back on every ability, so yeah. But guys, Hello Sight is insane, okay? It is literally a second version of a cursed duo katana. And it looks sick, okay? Look at this, okay? Yeah, yeah, my, my sight is way better, okay? Look at that, look at that, man. Look at the drip on the suit. Like, look how I'm holding it, bro. Like, hey, that says enough, all right? Anyways, guys, like and subscribe or... You're never gonna get this sword. You're never gonna get this sword, okay? See ya. In block shoots, you have a few usable guns. Because many of them are just bad. And I went on to adventure to master every single gun in block shoots, like this bazooka. But some guns require even puzzles to get. And I put these all into one video so you can decide which one is really the best. Go ahead and drop a like on this video, subscribe, and enjoy this banger video. Block shoots has only one mythical gun in the entire game. And I myself already have it. But I decided to give myself a challenge, alright? To get it on this account because this account doesn't have it yet. An item I'm obviously talking about is the Soul Guitar. Soul Guitar is the only mythical gun in the entire game. Now, does that mean it's the best gun? I don't know. But the description is kind of funny. A spooky guitar like weapon with the power to control the underworld. I have no clue what that's supposed to mean. I guess we're controlling the underworld today, but first we have to obtain it. Now, requirement number one, you have to be level 2300, which I actually had to grind on another account to have that, okay? So it took me a bit to even get that. And then you can start the puzzle but there's six steps to this puzzle and the first step is to light candles at the graveyard so you have to pray at a full moon and i'm about to do that but first let me roll fruit and today i'm rolling a fruit alone okay yes there's nobody here okay nobody around me star is not here i don't know why i guess he's sleeping okay i guess he's sleeping all day but let's go over here and roll a fruit come on please please uh a chop, a chop fruit, a, a chop fruit, really, really block shoots, like, why, why are you giving me this, like, doo-doo lock, okay, like, what is this, anyway, let's go ahead and find a full moon server, all right, guys, so there's a full moon on this server, look at this, light of a full moon, so now we can actually do the first step for the soul guitar, right, and for that, we're going to the haunted ship to actually do the first step, all right, there you go, we just arrived, now, guys, as you know, I already completed it on my main account, but I didn't do it on this account, so let's go and see, let's see, pray, just like that, okay, your prayers have been answered, would you like to play a game, uh, yes, Oh my god, what's happening? Okay, very well. Okay, okay, okay. And now, oh, look at that. The candles are lit. Okay, so now, and that means we have the first step completed, which is lighting the candles. And now we can do step number two. But this was just like pray at a graveyard in a full moon. So that was pretty easy. But now this next step might be really hard, okay? For this next step, I have to kill six living zombies, which are these guys. Uh, these look pretty, uh, yeah, these are pretty zombie-like. But I have to kill six of these, so pretty much all of them in one hit, okay? And I'm pretty sure I can do it with the C move on that karate sharkman so let's go and try it okay let's hit every single one of the okay i might die here okay just like that he's one hp now we're gonna go to the next one come on get him to one hp oh oh they're teleporting in me oh this is gonna be harder than i thought oh my god and again oh my okay yeah i, I shouldn't be doing this like that i don't know if this is gonna work but i'm just gonna spam this team okay all together guys all together so i can hit you guys all like that okay just like that Boom, okay. Now, is that gonna be, like, every single... Okay, no, this guy has green HP, okay? Now it's orange, okay. Now let's do it again, all right? Uh, everyone together, everyone together. We're going on a trip. No, psych. We're not on a trip, okay? Here we go, we're all gonna die. Come on, guys, come on, guys. Wait, this guy has orange, this guy's red. Wait, why? They're not getting the same damage? What? This guy has orange HP. Wait, 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 wait. No. Okay, I just hit him all together. Okay, come on, please, please, please. Please, please. Were they all dead? Wait, they all died. What? Wait. It didn't go through, though. Wait, they are dead! Oh, no way, bro. No way, bro. There's one hiding over here. Oh, my God, bro. What the heck are you doing here? All right, let's do it again, I guess. We did head it, though, so I think, we, I think we can do it. I think we can do it. Come on, living zombie. You over here. You over there. Hit you as well. All right, so that's one, two, three, four. Wait, are we missing someone? Oh, yeah, we are missing someone. Okay, there you go. It has to be six zombies, okay? I, I gotta count them up, okay? Just like that. Everybody, come near, come near. All right, just like that i think first this one. Oh yeah i can do that one as well right oh, that's annoying because i only have sharkman karate on this one i have to be really careful anyway everybody okay that's six i'm pretty sure come on everybody here and now boom all right 
That's good, that's good. Dude, everybody just splatters on like crazy. What? Come on, guys. All together, all together. I gotta do this quest. Come on, just like that. All right. And now wait a bit. And now C move. Just like that. And again, everybody come near, come near. And then C. Wait, maybe X? Oh, X is gonna work as well. Okay, perfect. Everybody's low, okay? Now last hit. Come on. Just like that. And everybody is dead. Okay. Excellent. There you go. So we did it. All right. That's pretty easy. With Sharkman Karate, that's actually easy. Okay. There you go. And that's step number two. What's step number three again? I forgot. So for step number three, I'm pretty sure we have to. Oh, we have to go to the graveyards, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure we have to go to the graveyards and we have to count the graveyards. Oh, yeah. Look at these signs. Okay. So we got to click on a sign with more or less graveyards. I'm not really sure, actually. I'm pretty sure more graveyards. Okay. So let's see. This one has definitely more. Let's see. This one has. Wait. Is this more? Six. And then one, two, three. Okay. This one has seven. Okay. Let's do that one. This one has one, two, three. This one has one. Okay, this one has four. There you go. Now, this one has seven. There you go. This one has six. This one has five. So, this one has more. And uh, this one has also more. I can see that. And then this one. And boom. Okay, so the next step has been completed. Look at this. Excellent. And now, we can go on to step number four. Which, if I remember correctly, okay, because I've done this puzzle before. We have to go right over here and go over to this secret door that opens now, okay? And now it's opened. I'm pretty sure it was closed before. And then... We got a ghost NPC. What's up, ghost? I'm not scared of you. What's going on, man? Hello? And now the next step has been completed. Oh, okay. And how he's gone. Wait, where did he go? Hello? I guess he just disappeared. That's what ghosts are like, right? And I'm pretty sure now we have to go to the backyard and actually, like, screenshot these trophies. Because we gotta, like, remember this pattern, okay? So, uh, let me screenshot this. All right, just like that, I have a screenshot. And now, we have to go to this next place. So, we can do step number five. And there's a total of six steps in this puzzle. Wait, am I even going the right direction? Is this right here? Or, wait, is this even the place? I don't think so even. What the heck? What am I doing here? Okay, no, no, no. I'm stupid. I have to be here, okay? And I have to, like... Oh, it's right over here. Okay, I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. Okay, there we go. So these are the trophies, right? And if I grab my screenshot, which I should have somewhere over here. Come on, where is it? Alright, so I have my screenshot right here and as you guys can see, so these are the trophies. So right and then right. So I gotta do all these together. Okay, so this one was right. This one had nothing. Oh, there you go. This one also had nothing. This one was right. This one had nothing. Okay, so right, nothing, nothing. Right and then right. This was also nothing. This one was like that. This one had a three, so nothing. And then this. And boom, step number five completed. Excellent. Okay, perfect. So now we can go on to the last step of this puzzle. Okay, this is pretty cool, okay? So now we have to color these tiles accordingly what color is above it. So here's blue, and then let's see if we do blue. That's the correct color. And this one does not have a color, so you just don't touch it. This one has green. There you go. This one also doesn't have a color. This one has red, as you can see. There you go. Red. Oh, this is easier than I thought, okay? I don't think there's any color over here. Yeah, there's none. Oh, this one has blue. Yeah, this one has blue. There you go, blue. We're gonna go all the way down. There you go, this one has red and... Okay, we did it. Okay, step number six completed. Congratulations. All right, I just realized you guys couldn't see much because I was recording the wrong stuff, but still, completed, okay? And what I did is pretty much color these tiles accordingly to the color, okay? So you guys can see these, like, things, like these pipes or something. Look at that, that one's red, so you just color this one red and stuff. You, you guys know the drill, okay? But now we have everything completed, so we can go over to this guy and we can purchase the soul guitar. That's not everything, okay? Because if we go ahead and talk to this guy, oh my god, look at that. Would you like to craft a soul guitar for 500 bones? 250 ectoplasm, one dark fragment. Bro, these are all things you have to grind hours upon hours for. And 5,000 fragments? Are you serious? Well, guess what? I do have it, actually. I've been grinding hours upon hours, so it's time to purchase this soul guitar. All right, it's time. It's finally time, and Star is here, okay? I'm about to get the soul guitar on this account even as well, okay? Are you ready, okay? Buy soul guitar. We all have these materials. And the hardest one to get was the dark fragment, and then the ectoplasm, because the ectoplasm, you have to sit hours in a haunted ship, and the 5,000 and fragments. It's gonna hurt, but craft. Obtained soul guitar. Oh my god. Let's go. Yeah, exactly. Okay, this on a new account. Hey, it's a challenge to complete, all right? But now, we have to unlock soul shaker and el diablo. Okay, so, you already know, okay? And we have to upgrade. Whoa, okay, okay. The M1. The M1 already doing some solid damage. I like this. I like it. And the sound, guys, I mean... Dude, why is it so loud? Soul guitar sounds are so loud. But Star, you have to take me to a place, okay? Take me to Port Town. And you guys already know what I'm doing here, okay? Well, at least if you've been watching, you guys know, okay? The blacksmith is about to upgrade my gun and, uh, uh... 
Oh, okay, well, I, I need another dark fragment for the upgrade. Are you kidding me? Oh, I guess I'm not getting that. I mean, that's impossible. I'm not grinding CB Sword three hours, okay? I just mastered this soul guitar, okay? There's actually no way I'm doing that. Oh, wait, guys, I might have enough to upgrade it on my main account, maybe. All right, and here we are with Llama, okay? So this damage is not really that good, okay? Let's see, so... Okay, 1.7k, actually, wait, it's pretty decent, actually. For an M1, you can spam it pretty much. I like that fact, though. Look at this. The fact is sick. And I'm getting slashed up. Okay, okay, Longma. Okay, you, you wanna play like this? You wanna play like this? We will play like that, alright? Let's uh let's slash you up, alright? And as you guys know, the gun is used by a skeleton in one piece. I have no clue what his name is, to be honest, but we have to defeat Longma, okay? One of the strongest swordsmen in the game. And it's gonna be an easy job. <laughs> what was that? Just with an M1. Let's see, can we unlock Soul Shaker? I don't think so, right? I think we have to kill some fishmen. We will probably get up to like 140, let's see. And 142, exactly. Alright, fishmen, chill, chill. I'm almost dying. Hold on, hold on a minute. Yo, chill. Chill. Okay, let me M1 you guys. There you go. You're dead. You're also dead. Come on. One more hit. One more hit. One more hit. Come on. And there you go. 149 mastery. So one more mastery to go. And also, guys, I meant Brook from Wombies, okay? So don't get mad, alright? Don't get mad. But anyway, let's go and slash him up like that. And new skill available. So now we have Soul Shaker, which I know how it looks, okay? But maybe you guys don't, okay? So let's go and test the damage. Because I never really tested the damage when unlocking this thing, okay? So let's see. Boom. Oh my god, look at that. Oh my god, he just flings away. I did 3k, but imagine it stays on you. That was gonna do so much damage. So let me try it again. Maybe first person like that? Let's see. It's going in the ground. You guys see? But it's doing 3.1k, which I'm not really sure if I can do it. Like, oh, wait, wait. Star, come here. And go in this corner here. Okay, maybe I can hit everything. Okay, let's see. Die. Let's see, it's gonna do more. Oh no, it did the same thing. So a direct hit is instantly 3.1k, which this is literally less than a serpent bow, a legendary bow. So I mean, hey man, I heard El Diablo is the move everybody wants, okay? Well, I know that. And also a very fun fact about this gun is that every single move literally disables instinct. And that's why it's insane for BVP, okay? Soul Shaker disables instinct. So start enable instinct. All right, he has it on. And now let's see. So I do that and the Okay, so it drains it. Okay, so the Z move drains it. As you can see, like, let's see how much. Oh, yeah, wait. The M1 literally breaks it instantly. I forgot. I'm pretty sure Z just drains it. Look at that. It drains his moves, and now it's gone. Now I can just hit him. Yeah. That's why the Z move is good, but I'm pretty sure the X move disables it completely. So I have to unlock that one first. All right, K-Queen. This is some of my mythical guitar, okay? I've never actually tried adding K-Queen with the soul guitar, but I guess today is the time to, okay? I don't think I can defeat her with just M1, okay? That's gonna be so hard. Wait, actually, that monster kind of quick. Hold on a minute. Wait, this is pretty good, actually. Look at this. Like, I'm spamming that once. It's pretty good. I think it's actually possible. Hold on. Let me try. Three hours later. Oh my god, guys. It's literally 10 minutes, and K queen is finally low oh my god it's been so long okay, i've been spamming my m1 wait where is she going hey come back some of this and then one more ability come on one more ability one more ability and now you're dead now you're okay you're not you're not now you're dead there you go easy peasy and i'm squeezy buddy not even a challenge not even a challenge okay 188 now and now we have to go back to llama right all right llama take some of this buddy take some of this okay let me defeat you once again because you ain't no challenge okay take some of this boom and the funny part is, that one actually stuns the enemy, okay? It's actually super OP. Like, the Soul Shaker, it's actually really good. But it's not even comparable to the last ability. So, yeah, we need to unlock that one real quick. So, long right now, you gotta die real quick. And let me defeat you with my gun powers, just like that, all right? Boom. Oh, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Chill, chill, chill. Take that, take this, and you're dead, okay? You're dead, you're dead, you're dead, okay? Don't even try, okay? You are dead. Okay, that brought us all the way to 230. Now let's just go and speedrun it, and I'll be right back. Okay, Longma, go ahead and die from you once again, just like that, okay? And now back to Big Mom. All right, Big Mom once again, just like that. Just like that, you're dying, buddy. Yeah, you're dying, okay? No chance for you, okay? Don't even try. Like, what are you doing? Get your buddy sword out of here, okay? And your spirit fruit, like, you are a nobody, okay? Boom, just like that. Just like that. One more hit, okay? Literally one more hit. And there you go, okay? Let's see. Nine more mastery. And we'll finally have enough. To test the El Diablo. Okay, let's go and get you one more time just so we can unlock the ability, okay? Come on, come on. I want my El Diablo ability, okay? Come on, die. Okay, no, no, I can't use it. And you're dead, okay? And there you go. New skill available. That means we unlock the last ability so now we just gotta try it all right and then i'm gonna go on my main account to upgrade my soul guitar okay because i still haven't done that and i'm about to try the most annoying ability in the entire game okay if you have played block shoots for five seconds you know how annoying this is okay so i'm gonna be trying el diablo with pal scarf and max sets on gun let's see okay so three two one hey yo 
And he's stunned. And he's stunned. And look at that damage. Look at that damage. Look at that. that 6.3k damage. That, that is just insane, all right? I think everybody hates it because you get stunned, okay? And it's already reloaded. I can already spam it. Like, I can spam this. It just jumps him up. It's the most annoying ability in the entire game. I'm telling you, right? And that's not all because you can also do this. And then he stunned even more. Like, like what? Where is he even? Uh... Uh, star? I lost him. What the heck? He just disappeared. Oh, he's on the next island? What the heck? Wait, did it go that far? Wait, Star, did you find- Oh, you found a fruit? A diamond fruit. Oh, man. But we don't need it, okay? Time to upgrade this soul guitar and get even more OP, okay? That damage was without upgrade. Star, are you coming or not? What's going on over here, man? You ate the diamond fruit? Why would you- Oh, Bruh. okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. Yeah, all right, buddy. You're not funny, bro. Just flashbacking me around like that? Like, hello? Take some of this, buddy. Yeah, take some of this, okay? Hey. Take that, take that. Hey, I have the soul guitar. You already <laughs> look at him in the water. <laughs> and we're back on the main. And if I'm going to my items, I'm pretty sure I don't have the upgrade. Yeah. Okay, yeah. There's no star. So we need to upgrade this weapon. But since we're on my main, we can roll fruit. I'm pretty sure star didn't roll fruit. So let's go roll fruit. Let's see. Come on. Please, please. I've rolled so many fruits. Please, just bless me once. And I love. Ooh, I love fruit. Okay. Okay. It's not mythical though. Like, come on. Just, just drop me a mythical or something. I'm tired of getting these like love fruits. Okay. Like, legendaries that are just not good enough and star got a oh my god he got the skull emoji fruit oh my god man why are we getting this oh and he dropped it to me okay i, I guess i'll store it man i guess free fruits hey i'll take any fruits okay hey, hey, hey give me some fruits okay there you go i don't think many people have this fruit upgraded so if we get to port town i don't think a lot of people have it upgraded because it's just so expensive okay and um oh i do have the dark fragment but i don't have the mythical things and the magma ores wait so for magma ores c1 and for these hydro items Oh man, that's gonna take so long. I'll be right back, I guess. Two thousand years later. And I am back, okay? It's been like an hour. I'm not even joking. It's been an hour. And I have got myself 15 dragon scouts and block troops. If you're watching this, please make this easier because I have spent like an hour getting these scouts. Like that was most of my time. And then I went onto the magma ores and I quite easily got it. Like it was way quicker. It was like four times quicker than the dragon scouts. But we finally got it, right? And now it's time to upgrade this thing, all right? So blacksmith, please upgrade my gun. I don't, I don't know anyone that has upgraded, okay? Because it's so hard to upgrade. Like a dark fragment, like bruh. And I did this for 6% extra damage. It's not even that much. But anyway, craft it up and boom, upgraded weapon. There you go. And now we have 6% extra damage. I mean, hey, if we're trying to become the strongest in block shoots, we have to do these things. And now I officially have every single mythical weapon upgraded. Okay, look at this. All the mythical weapons upgraded. And a mythical gun, okay, which is really nice. And now we just gotta test the damage, all right? Well, and a cool thing about a soul guitar is that you can spam your M1 really far. Look at this. Look where it goes. Yo, that goes really far. And also the Z move, I'm pretty sure it goes really far. Yeah. Yo, that is insane. Okay, and starts right here. And A, hey, I bet you don't have the soul guitar upgraded because it's a hassle to upgrade, right? I don't. Yeah, it's actually hard to upgrade, okay? But I have five frag no dark fragments wait there's no way okay you're capping that is insane though okay let's see so the first m1 let's see it's 1.9k it's okay it's okay i mean first of all we did like 1.7 so that's not a big of a change all the upload did like 6.2k let's see let's see let's see let's see come on how much six oh 6.8 what the heck yo almost 7k damage but you need like a stun ability for that to do damage so kind of hard and then we have the z look at this look at this look at this boom just like that, okay? From that for 3.2k, hey, I'll take that. That's pretty insane, though. Holy crap. The soul guitar is an insane. And then M once, like, the M once just reach super far. Like, 2k damage like that, like, you can, like, you can, like, grab some, like, okay, okay. If, if I can just predict some, oh, oh, hit me. No, 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 okay. Come on, like that. We're going there. Okay, bro, he's hitting me. Yeah, the soul guitar is actually fun because of the M1. I, I like it. And there it is, guys. The only mythical gun in the entire game. And epic guitar hero 1v1. <laughs> actually real. And that right there, guys, we have unlocked the whole puzzle in this video. So you can actually see how you can unlock this weapon.